All right, all right, all right, all right. Are we live? Are we live? Testing, testing. One, two, three. I'm just going in raw. No starting soon screen. We're just in this. Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to the next live stream here on the channel. I don't know how everything sounds because this is the very first stream in a brand new apartment as well. Lots of really big, exciting things happening tonight. So uh, yeah, definitely an exciting stream. First one in a while. And I'm gonna be really, really relying on you guys to let me know if everything looks good, if everything, if everything sounds good, uh, let me know, let me know, let me know. Ah! This will be a fun stream. Hi, guys. How you all doing? I missed you. I have missed you guys, like, a lot. You sound great. You sound great. <laughs> I can't hear you. I read your chat message. <laughs> but I'm assuming that you sound great as well, Lexi. Thank you. Oh, man. Brother Piano MHA is a vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to be listening to all of the My Hero Academia openings, but in lo-fi version in uh, tonight's stream. I, I just have it on shuffle and on loop right now. It'll be fun. Hey, Jack, how you doing, my guy? Hi, Casey. Hi. <laughs> Where have you been? Man, I have been moving. That has been like a bulk of my time lately. If you guys can't tell. I have no idea if you guys can tell. <laughs> the background is super similar to my last office, but this is a new office. So it's bigger than my last office, which is exciting. Actually, not going to lie, the sound quality is even more top tier. I think I have been playing around with my settings with audio just a little bit. And on top of that, too, uh, camera as well. That, we actually were in a call for like an hour <laughs> doing brand new camera settings for the new office. And I think that everything looks crisp. Everything sounds crisp. I like the mood lighting. Yeah, it really gives a lot of sex appeal to the content these days, I feel like. <laughs> no, it, it's... I like it, I like it, I like it. <laughs> the office is like, I'd say like probably 70, 80% done. Like the shelves are still empty. I can still put some stuff in there besides a lone pair of bongos at the moment. I didn't know where else to put those things. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, basically, basically, this is the new place. This is the new editing dungeon. This is the new, I, uh, the new bat cave, if you will. <laughs> this is the new camp where we're going to be setting up and doing a lot of content moving forward. So, uh, yeah, so sorry for the inconsistency the past few weeks. It's been on this channel. I kind of been off on Mars, but in reality, I've actually still been working and putting out content in other places. So definitely make sure you subscribe to my friends because I've probably didn't. Lately, I've been doing a lot more stuff on other people's channels <laughs> than my own. This is my first thing of content for my own channel that I'm getting around to since moving to this place. You go to Mars every year? It, is it going to Mars if I'm on other channels? I feel like that's the, <laughs> I feel like that's fine. <sighs> okay, Ryan glowing up. I know it's purple. I freaking love it. <laughs> I freaking love it. Exciting, looking good, sounding good, Misty Bud. I think I already read that, but I read it again. I appreciate you. <laughs> 35 months, Arden. That is insane. That is absolutely wild. <sighs> anyways, anyways, anyways. Yeah. Uh, welcome. Welcome to the stream. This oh, is this kind of an update stream, seeing as how it's the very first stream here in the new words, office and stuff. To Ooh, new studio. Hey, Bobby. <laughs> Hey, so. new studio, same goon. <laughs> how you doing? But yeah, so th this is a little bit of an update stream, seeing as how we're in the new apartment and stuff tonight. Can you guys hear me when the uh, member alert is going off? Or or should I, like, not speak over it? Hey, no, Phoenix, you're right, though. The violet lighting for the violet stream. I like it. I like it. Yeah, you can hear me when the member alert is going off. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> oh, man. You set a pipe? It is. But alongside oh, updates and just kind of talking about what is going to be going on with this channel now that I'm pretty established here at this new place, uh, we're also going to be doing a lot of Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battles. If you have not been following the channel in a minute and you're just now tuning in after Ryan's been gone for a month, uh, we've been doing an excessive amount of Scarlet and Violet live streams uh, when we do go live on the channel. Like, literally, this is the only game I've been streaming lately. Uh, me and Frank are going to be going to a official Pokemon tournament this weekend in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, Pokemon Regionals is being held. It's an official event held by the Pokemon Company to compete. I don't know how many competitors there's going to be, but I better look out because me and Frank are hitting the Falcon streets uh, to prepare for the event this weekend, me and Frank are in a call. I'm deafened in the Discord call, so I could just shoot the shit with you guys uh, real quick. But me and Frank are in a call with the one and only competitive coaching god himself, Matando. Y'all know him, y'all love him. He's in half the <sighs> VGC streams here on the channel as is. And for a couple hours tonight, we're just going to be playing around in Pokemon, learning things about VGC, climbing back to Master Ball tier, stuff like that. 
Uh, I have a new team that I'll be bringing to the event this weekend, so you're going to watch me literally go into a team blind and just kind of learn the, any, the inner workings of it. Uh... I think that's everything to go over, though. And, uh, yeah, Bobby, 24 months. Holy oh, shit, you're dedicated, dude. Two, <laughs> two years, that is. I love it. Oh, wait, the pineapple slaps dummy hard? I, I, dude, I love it. <laughs> dude, I freaking love it. Yo, tie the guy. Oh, man, ride or die. Our boy. <laughs> how you doing? How you doing? I like the, the intense emotes. <laughs> I missed you guys. Ooh, good luck. Yeah, it's exciting stuff. I'm kind of bummed that I haven't gotten to like talk to you guys or hype it up more this month. My focus has been in like a million other places. But yeah, no, that that's gonna be the really really fun uh, series of streams this week leading up to the weekend. And while we're at the event, we're also gonna be filming and vlogging and streaming. Question mark. Basically. We'll be taking you guys along with us on the trip. It'll be a really, really fun time. Uh, but anyways, anyways, I miss being sleep deprived because I had to stay up watching you. I I've literally been a breakfast streamer lately. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, let me make sure that my controller works. Uh, guys, literally, since this is the first stream in the apartment, I had like so much setup that I had to do <laughs> before going live. And I'm so nervous that something's going to go wrong. Like I had to plug in the stream deck. I had to get the capture card going, my switch up and running. I had to connect it to new Wi-Fi right before we went live. <laughs> so essentially you're the new Wolfie Glick. No, it's more like Wolfie Glick is the current King Corfish. Anyways, I'm going to undeafen the call and actually get the boys uh, heard. And let's actually get into some battles. I uh, dudes. Ash. Okay. <laughs> my friend, say hi yeah, to the stream. Think... Hi, Ryan. Hello. Hi, stream. Hi. Hi. <laughs> we're just doing little, we're doing little call things. Yeah, we are just tearing up the showdown ladder right now. Yeah, no. And that was someone who was at 1400. <laughs> I was literally just yeah. telling the chat that you climbed all the way to Master Ball tier undefeated the other night, just because. No, 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 no. Okay, it wasn't undefeated. I no, mean, no, no. Like, know, I was telling them going to hop to this tournament this weekend, hit top 10, not even try. It's crazy. I was hey. actually thinking about just going in blindfolded. <laughs> just to give yeah, them a chance, huh? I mean, we, we're going to bake the playing ground fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we, got, we got to balance it out. Oh, geez, system update, yeah. please? Oh, my God. But, uh, what's up, chatters? How you guys doing? What's up, chatters? Hope you guys are having a good day. Um, did You, you already filled them in on the context, right? Yeah. I'm going to North cool. Carolina this weekend. And like I said, yeah. I'm top 10, not trying. Maybe I should <laughs> do this. Clean up. <laughs> I'm going to clean up regionals. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna we're going to make a statement. <laughs> how, uh, how many people were at, were at the regional you went to, Matt? Uh, so the regional I went to was a relatively quiet one, uh, like smaller one overall, but I think there was 113 people there. Um, oh, wow. And, okay. and I ended up finishing top 16. That's so hype. <laughs> yeah, I could have done better, but I had like some really tough opponents for my two losses. Um, <clears throat> one of them is like the oh no, that was for OCIC. Don't even get me started there. Oh, wow. uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, the, one of the rounds I had with my loss at Perth was to a guy James Katsaros. He's one of um, Australia's best players. Um, oh wow! Has like fit in the past, like always finished like top eight to top four in like most regionals i think he's won a couple of them um he's been like a day two worlds competitor as well mm, and then the other crazy. guy who, <clears throat> the other guy who i lost to uh was the guy who won the whole thing uh he was uh had flown over from the uk uh for the event uh mainly because he was in australia already for ocic and ended up coming over here because it was only like two weeks after ocic mm -hmm. um and is also like day two world's competitor really strong player overall that's sick that's cool so yeah it was good fun though yeah yeah they seem they seem really fun i like my, I, I keep I keep trying to figure oh, out like like reasonably how far we can make it. Yeah, yeah that's like the big thing. I think yeah, I mean because well, I heard I heard that um Orlando had like 800 people. Yo, wait, Grace, 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 Grace. Is it actually your birthday? Wait a second, happy fucking birthday! <laughs> this is a pleasant birthday surprise. We're back, baby. 
back like we never left. Wait, what the? Are you actually a year older? I, I'm actually baffled by this. What do you mean a software update's required? What all is... Oh, There's so much prep that has to be done just to play this damn game. <laughs> yeah, literally, Casey brings up a good point. Shelby, you gonna roast me for not streaming? You gonna roast me for being up at 8 p.m. like a reasonable person on, what, a Tuesday night? 22? Oh my god! <laughs> By the way, let me know, let me know how is the volume of the Discord call? Because I saw someone in the chat say that the boys are kind of loud. So I turned them down a little bit and here, I'm gonna unneff and, and yeah, just give me like a thumbs up if it's good or like a thumbs up if it's what the fuck, Ryan, you're amateurish. <laughs> I don't remember if it, I think it was Vancouver. I don't know if it's Vancouver or another one. I think it was probably Vancouver, the top, the two guys who were in finals at Vancouver. It was their first ever event. Wow. I'm pretty, yeah. wait, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that's, that's the team I yoinked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the, team, the, the team the team you've got is from the guy who won that event, who, uh, to be fair, he yoinked it from uh, another top finish as well. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's the big yeah. thing with, like, BGC. It's, like, you know, most people will be, take, like, they'll, like, take teams from, like, popular ones that are doing well and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. You want to use what's working. Exactly. Um, but yeah, so looking at the team at the moment, as I said, everything's like fairly airtight. Um, but I think, yeah, Arcanine was like a big struggle point. I, uh, looking at it, um, Is I'm not like... sure if Dragon Bolt's the answer here. I think maybe having like a, your own water type to go with it, whether it be Gastronon or Bundle, would probably fit a bit better. Mm, yeah, because I think... Yeah, I mean, I was kind of, I was thinking, I found, um, I mean, I, I'm sure obviously you have used this web website before, but like Picolytics, right? Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. that's not updated properly. Uh, let me find the one that does get updated, like, daily. Oh, is um, it not? Yeah, no, Picolytics literally... updates, like, at the end of each month, if that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I literally, I, I found this, well, I found it just on a whim when I was, like, you know, yeah. researching stuff, and it's like... I, I couldn't believe how in-depth it was. Okay, okay. So I just set it up so when I hit a button, I can just deafen on Discord, and then I can talk to you guys or be able to talk to them whenever. <laughs> Again, sorry for, like, kind of being all over the place. This is a bit of a chill stream for sure, but... But yeah. I, I kind of also want to, if possible, have Discord. Like, I have it on, like, a pop-out window right here. Maybe, like, I could have it chill in the corner or something. Uh, and then you guys could be able to see like Frank's screen so that way when like Matt's working with him and kind of coaching him around and showdown you can see what's going on there um but can I like click that yeah I don't know how well you could see that or anything but, but that's Frank's screen check out Frankie <laughs> um but yeah yeah so Grace I moved that's why we haven't streamed in like a month it, it's a basically new office it is a new office it looks super similar but <laughs> we're in a new place it's a bigger office than the last office and i'm excited about it but yeah uh ryan's volume is a bit low when he doesn't speak he cute though i appreciate the cute though at the end of that statement <laughs> let's focus on that one but wait a second so i'm looking at the audio right now and i feel like i'm a bit louder than them in the discord call when i unmute it love the purple so do i <laughs> Like on the, uh, the gastro, I have hard walls um, bundles on the enemy team. Okay. So, so it works out that it just deals with a lot of things, and also with Palafin being on the rise, uh, Gastrodon naturally hard walls all of the Palafin sets that are going around because most Palafins don't run any coverage moves; they just run like Jet Punch, Wave Crash, Haze Protect. Yeah. So. Like, if they have a Palafin, you slap in a Gastron field, it cannot do anything other than boost up your Gastron. Yeah, that's... that's not, that sounds really good. I, I wonder, though, so, like... So, like, how would how would you deal with, like, freeze-dry? Is it, like, do you just Terra at that point? So, you go... You go yeah, you go Terra Fire. You just go Terra Fire? And, Got it. And, yeah, when you go Terra Fire, freeze-dry, if you're... Like, at most, will do, like, 20%. Yeah, yeah. All right, man. Okay. I'm, finally, I'm finally getting the team in. <laughs> hey, 
Hey. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, well, as I said, with the team, though, for the event, right, you will need to have the actual ones. Like, you can't use rentals uh, with regionals. Gotcha, gotcha. So at some point, would you be able to trade these mons over and I could borrow them for a weekend? Yeah, that was the plan. Yeah, as I said, I already, like, downloaded the rental of my own team. Okay, uh, okay, I was going to send the mons to you. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> And then I'll like send them back after uh, and stuff too. Yeah, because you'll need them in game uh, beforehand. Is I do you know when team sheets lock for the event? I think it's right before something crazy like that. Yeah, usually it is, but like it's always safer just to have your team sheet entered in advance. Mm. Um, oh and boy, you need why, to why, have them in Uh, wait, let me see. Uh. Wait, when? So, like, how, how in advance do you normally have them locked in? Uh, you, most events uh, have them locked in, uh, like, about an hour and a half to two hours before the event starts. But there have been some US events where they uh, make you lock it in at, like, 8 p.m. the night before. Oh, okay. So, I'm, yeah. not, so I'm not sure what the lock-in point is for uh, this event. Tell them, tell them this to go yeah, higher Douglas. Oogulus Douglas. <laughs> yeah, Iron Jugulus. <laughs> I, I mean, I've, apparently he's really good. Um, I haven't used him actually. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, I, I remember. Well, I remember <laughs> hearing something about about the time. I don't remember exactly what it was. I'll have to I'll have to look into it. He's not very good. Well, people um, run him. I know. Jugulus has been picking up uh, purely as a like. It's like a fast tailwind snarl spammer. It's not really used as like an offensive mon that much. Mm. It's kind of just there as like support. So it kind of it's like a a talon flame that doesn't have gale wings and just relies on its natural speed. Is it? Is it? Is it? Mm. I'm like I'm worried about running a water type on a sun team. Is that going to be a problem? It's not that big a deal. Honestly, like Gastron, you're not really relying on doing the damage, like doing tons of damage. It's more so yeah. just wearing away at them um, yeah. and dealing with like enemy fire types. Matt, gotcha. how do you feel about these four? Yeah. So I like, just like the. Uh, let me see. What are we got here? Yeah. Gastron. Uh, so this is a good mons plus moss. Actually, this isn't even good mons. This is like a variation of it. Um. Yeah, Gastro Grim's a good lead. Uh, I'm not so sure about Talonflame in the back. I feel like he might get more mileage out of um, Arcanine. Okay, okay. Just to be able to snarl, yeah, just to be able to like snarl spam them because Talonflame doesn't have any fire coverage. It only has acrobatics as its attack oh, move. Yeah, my player's fire. Yeah, I think that's pretty go. solid. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, no, Talonflame. Talonflame doesn't have fire. Like it's literally just there to like set Tailwind, taunt things, and burn things. Am I gonna get banned at the tournament for my trainer card or what's your um, trainer card? I don't think... <laughs> no, like it, what did you do? It's a little out of pocket, I'm not gonna lie here. I didn't see it, so I have to see. Um they do get a bit iffy on nicknames uh, oh, and really? stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Okay, so here leading let's see, hands is definitely a bit of an issue, more so than Gastrodon. Yeah. Um, because you're both kind of in a stalemate at this point where neither of you can click water coverage. So I think we just need to ignore the Gastrodon and just like reflect and like earth power the hands. Okay. Okay, okay. And he's probably, I swear, if he Terra Grass is here. He's that guy in Dual Wealth. Terra Grass. It's Terra Grass. Of course it is. <laughs> oh, God, of course he thinks you're Terra Grass. <laughs> yeah. I haven't given you money yeah. in forever, so shut up and take my money. Yo, but please don't actually shut up, though. I will not shut up, but I will take the money, and I appreciate it. Thank you, Lexi. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Wait, Shelby, what move are you watching? Advantage. Oh. Wait, we took that. We're bulky. Yeah. Should I just have the light screen? Sorry, I think. Uh, no, because he faked out you, so your reflect didn't go up. Oh. So, yeah, I'd go reflect, and I'd switch Gastro on here into Arcanine. Actually, in that case, uh, it might be better to light screen then. Because it, like, 
Light Screen will take more damage from Gastrodon than we will from Hands if he decides to read the switch. What do you think of Light Screen and then I protect on Gastro? Like baiting a grass move from Iron Hands? No. He don't, Iron Hands don't have grass moves. Oh. Not even like Terror Blast? No. Hmm. So, so just bring in Arcanine, get the Intimidate off. Bro, there's going to be that one guy that runs Terror Blast Iron Hands. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, don't jinx it. <laughs> oh, God. Guys, here it comes. Trust me, I've I've stayed wild as shit. <laughs> Frick, I lost to a Tropius team. Yeah, right, there's Intimidate. A Tropius. Hey, Tropius is really good. Tro Tropius is really good at the moment. No, but like, is it just because? Right, so doesn't make, does it get chlorophyll? Is that why? Uh, it gets chlorophyll, but the main purpose of it is um. Okay, see, this Grim style is so fat. He's so fat. Alright, now we can set up the reflect before we die. Gotcha. Yeah, I was about to say, I think we're just sacking Grim. Um, then do we flare blitz the left? And we've got. We got. Uh, we can. We already have enough pressure on there, so he's probably gonna protect uh, or switch. Um, but we can't really do anything to Gastro on any which way, so I think, yeah, just flare blitz the left. Don't terror up like that terror here. Um, okay, okay. Because your terror blast. Yeah, there's the withdraw. Since the Terror Blast will just go straight into the Gastron Storm Drain. Iron Moth, okay, yeah, makes sense. Yeah, I was thinking maybe Terra, because Gastro is super effective on Arcanine, but like we have a light screen up, we should be fine. Yeah, but it doesn't really, yeah, we have light screen, it doesn't really do that much damage. Okay, okay. <coughs> <coughs> ah, excuse me. Wait, Grace, I think I know so the Tropius card good. you're talking about. <laughs> Alright, some good chip there. He'll let uh, take an effect from you because of you, Frank. Arcanine. Let's go. Wait, did we get our light screen up? Or, uh, or light screen reflect? Yeah, we got our light screen up. Yeah. I um, I think far. here we can just... <clears throat> uh, we can just go for the spirit break into... The gastro. Uh, it's not gonna do anything on Moth. It will lower the special attack on Moth, though, because Gastrons are usually Covert Cloak. Oh. So I'm thinking we go into the moth and then, um. I think we e speed the moth as well, just to try and pick up the kill. Alright, let's do it. Nice! Wait, 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 that's actually in range! There we go. That crit matters. Yep, in range. Aw. Oh. Acid spray, okay. Ah. Not that big a deal. <laughs> Shelby, I'll do 40 backflips, no joke. And Arcanine lives, because we bulky as. Uh, okay, I think we bring in uh, Dragonite here. So. Alright, so we've got the moth pinned down, so I think we Terra Blast the. Like, Terra, Terra Blast the Gastrodon here. Because that's just going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, East Bay the left, like, pincer that moth so that he has to either sack it or um, switch out. Mm -hmm. Or spam protect, in which case, Dragonite's just free to do whatever. Would I get banned if I. And now we see the power of Dragonite. If I brought, like, a Bluetooth earpiece and then me and Matt still discorded during my battles at the event? Yes. Yes. <laughs> You're not allowed to have, like, any wireless device on you. <laughs> Like, what's the <coughs> protocol there? <laughs> Plus, I'm pretty sure the judge would, uh, like, your opponent would be like, uh, judge, my opponent has Discord up and is recording my match. <laughs> and is talking to someone on headset. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's talking about right. maybe, uh... <laughs> See how fat that, that gas to the dragon is? <laughs> Super effective move into it? Nah, we take, like, not even 10. Alright, so we just do the same thing here, we just, uh, don't bother with that, just Terra Blast the Gastron, take that out, and just e-speed the moth again. Because now he he has to switch the moth if he wants to preserve it, um, and the Gastron dies to another Terra Blast. Which, there's no shot he's gonna preserve it at, like, no health. Uh, you never know, because, uh, what's it called, moth is really good for, uh, what's it called, like, going for, like, acid sprays to weaken stuff. Like, you know, you acid sprays the Dragonite, then, you know, Ice Beam might do, like, 40, if mm. that. But, I mean, that's still better than what it did just then. <laughs> yeah, see, so preserve the Moth. 
Uh, what's he for switching in? Flutter? Okay, yeah, fair play. Okay. Uh, it doesn't really change that much, because we still... And Gastron mm. just protects. Okay, easy. <laughs> Damn. Um, so what did he have in the back? He did have hands. Um, Which grass hands right now, actually. Ooh. Yeah. I'm just trying to think if there's any reason we may want to preserve Arcanine here. Eh, no, there really isn't. Are Wind Con's Dragonite on yeah. hands? Everything yeah, else? Dragonite's the Wind Con, but he, uh, his Flutter Bane does outspeed. Uh, it will do a little bit, but not too much. Um, Should I double in on the Flutter Bane? No, nah, because Gastron just protected. You definitely Terra Blast the Gastron slot. Um, and then I think he... Uh, I mean, if I don't he's probably going to Dazzling Blitz. <laughs> just Blitz. Ah, uh, Flare Blitz. The Flutter. Flutter outspeeds our um, Arcanine, right? He... Oh! Yeah, he outspeeds. Um, on, yeah, switch. He wants to reserve the Gastro. That's fine. No, <laughs> no, nah, it's small. Uh... He wants a safe switch into, uh, what's it called? Yeah, Dazzling Gleam. Makes sense. Yep, Bob, this Dragonite's thick. <laughs> and that was a crit. There you go, on that Dragonite there. <laughs> that that was a crit, that damage there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay, so Moth goes down. Alright, so we bring in the Gastro. I think from here, there's not really too much he can do. Um, so he's definitely going to fake out the um, the uh, Dragonite this turn. Okay, okay. Uh, so I think we just go for an E speed into the hands for the time being. Because um, I don't remember the priority interactions. Uh, actually, no, just go to Terra Blast in case he's dumb and tries to fake out the Gastrobon. Yeah, you gotta you gotta always uh, think about if they're dumb or not. Thanks, Frank. <laughs> yeah. No, because I was about to uh, not think, then, like, think they were yeah. dumb, and <clears throat> yeah, it was, it was already <laughs> down. Earth power the Flutter. What, is, what do I do? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we should have, uh, just Earth Power the Flutter here. Okay, okay. <laughs> Like, just get some damage. Just get some damage off. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So he's you know not entirely dumb here, but it kinda has the knee. That I said that flutter is definitely choice locked. Hi, hey, Maybuck, How you doing? Then. All right. So flutter isn't doing anything. We're free to just yeah keep taking out the hands. Um, Does hands get one shot by a turbo? I don't know. Honestly, uh, depends how much bulk he has. Okay, he's not choice locked. Interesting. Uh, but he doesn't know his priorities correctly because Dragonite is the threat here. Hmm. As you can see, Dragonite is the threat here. <laughs> <laughs> I like. I don't know. I, I've only done a couple matches with Gastrodon, but I'm kind of. I'm kind of. I'm kind of feeling him. I like him. Yeah, Gastron is like really solid as like uh, just a bulky like watermon that just does good like supplementary damage. Yeah, yeah, he's got I mean, he's got good coverage, right, like ice it. beam and earth power and. Yeah, uh, we just do the same thing here. Just earth power the flutter again. Don't muddy water. Do not muddy water. Whatever you do. I don't know. I feel like it would add a fun challenge to this. <laughs> fun <laughs> challenge, we, yeah. We're not looking for fun challenge here. <laughs> oh no. I feel like just throwing in a storm drain gastrodon just to throw him a bone, you know? <laughs> just to throw him a bone, yeah. Power gem, okay. <laughs> and Dragonite still takes it. So let's count what Dragonite has taken so far. <laughs> like, so far that Dragonite has taken, um, what was oh it? God. An ice beam, from, ice beam from Gastro, a crit dazzling gleam, a normal dazzling gleam, and a power gem from Fluttermane. <laughs> He's so thick. <laughs> yeah. Random question. And then you win. <laughs> Frank's in the call. Also, that's him playing Showdown right there in the corner. Hello. I'm just. I'm just really thinking. <laughs> I'm uh, like... Let's see Frank's match. Okay. Uh, Sarah is a problem here. Uh, definitely. Um, I, uh, flutter is I... a... His flutter's asleep. 
Um, I forgot he had flash fire, and I just flamethrowered into him again. Yeah, that that's something that you definitely need to be on, like keeping an eye out for uh, on the day. Um, I think he just moonblasts the uh, Terra Fairy moonblast. I think here into the that, Sarah Ledge. Yeah, you, you because he's probably gonna. Sh- no, 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 no. no. <laughs> okay. It's also yeah. Okay, so Flutter wakes Pick up. Cards. Text. There we go. Easy. <sighs> Nice. Because I thought cool. there was a ch- there was a chance he may have gone for the shadow sneak into the flutter to try and pick it up. Um, yeah, yeah. He used he used shadow sneak earlier against uh, Lilligan. I, I didn't even know he had shadow sneak. Um, yeah. Okay, so I think let's see. They got the they both got the speed boost. I guess we just so bundle will outspeed, um, but he can't kill you directly here. I'm gonna say like freeze dry moon blasts into the flutter. So I think we eruption, um, and then just because that'll blast. still kill the flutter, and then just moon blast the bundle. Yeah. Freeze yeah, dry. Yeah. So it's freeze dry and sh- shadow ball into the torco. Okay, he doesn't have he doesn't have any priorities. Yeah. So the play there for him, I think, was to try and take out your flutter main. Um, uh-huh. Although it depends on what he's got in the back. Okay, Garg. Ooh, that's I guess not good for him at all. Yeah, we just win. This is what we do here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we just click the win button. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, yeah, Jesus. Alright, good game. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> hey. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I um Yeah. I think I don't know. I'm, i I really am feeling this team. I think uh I think it has potential. Yeah, I think it's just about like being able to work around some of the other strategies that I, I maybe need to work on. Like, yeah, the big thing to note as well is that at events you're generally not going to face like ladder jank anywhere near as much. So like this, I'd look at and think this is ladder jank. Yeah. Um, and then on top of that, if you do see ladder jank because it's all open team sheet, you'll be able to see exactly what said ladder jank does. Um, yeah, yeah. And then from there you can like work around it. Um, so but I yeah, I just really see because what's it's colossal. Yes. What? Oh. <laughs> uh, um, I'm kind of thinking, kind of thinking Gastrodon, maybe. Yeah, Gastrodon's really good here. Um, I also and... I, I threw a, I threw a uh, like a curveball on him. I put counter on him. That's, Wait, that's kind of cool, actually. You don't want you don't want counter <laughs> on it. <laughs> No, it doesn't it, take enough damage for the ga- uh, counter to be worthwhile. What if he pulls off a really cool predict with it? <laughs> it's not worthwhile. <laughs> wait, wait, do open team sheets kind of nerf counter strats? <laughs> yeah, it, <laughs> yeah no. I they would see counter on there yeah. and be like, what the fuck? <laughs> exactly. That's so funny. All right, um, um, so there okay, is nothing then. stopping. Actually, no, there is something stopping. It's called Iron Hands. Uh, what terror is your Lilligan? Uh, ghost, so I could stop the fake out. Ooh. So what okay. I'm hearing is we tear a ghost and erupt, like, just go for after you eruption. <laughs> yeah. Because he's definitely yeah. gonna fake out here, so you just tear after you. Yeah. There's the wow. fake out gone. Perfect. Yeah, can't And now you because this Gastron's here. gone terror fire. <laughs> it's, it's crazy that, like, you literally base your, like, you could base your entire terror just around dodging one move. It's kind of, it's kind of <laughs> yeah. nuts. Alright, so um, I think here yeah, now, um, we can try and put gas on sleep with sleep powder and just earth power the hands. Because we are okay. killing the gas with an earth power, uh, but we will kill the hands at this range. Yeah, so we so can maybe think, just get just get a sleep off. Yep, yeah, so we just rely on hitting the sleep powder. Perfect, we never miss. Ah, uh, that crit really mattered. Like, I'm pretty sure Torko lived without the crit. Really? Um, okay. Yeah. All right. I think uh, we bring in gas. We bring in Gastro here. Okay. Um, I guess Earth Power. So uh, yeah, yeah Earth, like same sort of thing. We just Earth Power the hands. Um, yeah. And yeah. just put the hands to sleep as well. Ooh. Okay. All right, bundle. Nice. Bundle. nice. That's fine. Yeah. Goodbye. Hey man, can Iron Hand one <laughs> shot a gambit? Train punch. Um. With a swords dance boost, yes. 
without okay. it, it's not likely. Gotcha. Um, who who do you think? I also, gambits in? usually terrifier. Should I do um, hands or drag me? Sorry, I'm just. Um, uh, hands. Anyways, I think. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, Trey, I think we have Earth Power Gastrodon here. Um, because he's probably gonna wake up this turn. Uh, and yeah. then protect Lilligan, I think. Same thing. Just on the off chance that he tries to go for something. Oh, he stays asleep. Okay. <laughs> nice. Cool. Well, that's. Sam, I haven't even played the first. Well, I mean, I've I've played the first Breath of the Wild, but I haven't like beaten it. So should I play the second one if I haven't played the first one? It looks freaking great, but I don't know. I I'm also thinking they could be some fun member streams, just like chill at the end of the night or something. <laughs> Uh, okay. That Masquerada has. I'm gonna go for a double protect because I'm crazy. I don't think it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. Damn it, it didn't work. All right, kill Gastro. He deserves it now. <laughs> knock him off. Knock him off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we saw this. Oh, but the sun's gone now, so we're knocking out speed. This sucks. And then, um, yeah. Matt, the uh, Drake Punch actually O code Gambit. Bill. Hey, <laughs> I think that's a fair oh, trade. Jesus. Okay, so. okay, Dragonite comes in. Um, hey, what a coincidence! My Dragonite came in. So this is now a problem because now we don't have Terra for Dragonite to be able to deal with the Flood Main. Yeah. Um, A, A Speed does just pick up the um, bundle here. Um, I think yeah, we A Speed the bundle and then just try and put the Flood Main to sleep again on the off chance that he doesn't attack it. Maybe, maybe he just throws. But he's prob oh, nah, no, he's probably... Oh, no, I didn't go, kill. Yeah. Damn. The Dazzling Gleam, yeah. Oh, well. That was a, that came down to... Um, basically, yeah, RNG with that one there. Yeah, yeah. Um... Well, it just be like that sometimes. Oh, yeah, there's definitely, like, something. And that's the good thing with best of three, is that best of three, you... Even if you lose game one, you can still win game two and three to bring it back. Yeah. Oh, not the. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How do I? How do I? Damn it! I misclicked. Oh, dude, I'm ball. so mad at that one. Uh, click agree to open team sheets because he's agreed, so you can see his team sheet there. Yeah, yeah. So I'm if you, to if you, this, you can now see exactly what he has. He's got yeah, Terra Grass, PVD, Terra Grass, Armor yeah. Rouge. Yeah. It's like yeah. Uh, I never. Uh, I never know like. like... Wait, wait. What were you saying? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just looking at the team. Trick room oh. and. Flood of Main is interesting. Oh, yeah, that's weird. And Banded Azu. Okay. I think here we. I mean, he's probably going to lead Armorouge and Indy D, right? Or, or actually, wait, he's Torkoal Lilligant, too. Yeah. So I'm thinking we maybe go Lilligant Dragonite. Uh, actually, yeah, Lilligant Dragonite, I think, on the off chance. Uh, then in the back, I think we run Gastrodon, uh, and... Do we run Torkoal Yeah, I think we run Torkoal here. Is, um... So when you say Lilligan Dragonite, are you, like, what, what lead are you kind of thinking? So I'm expecting counter? him... I'm expecting him to think, uh, Lilithol lead. Yeah. Uh, okay, Lilligan get a zoom real interestingly. So we both kind of have the same idea of like relying on the opponent to have uh, talk ball with the lead. Um, yeah. So here, I think uh, I think we double protect here, just to see what the Azu locks into. Oh yeah, because it, it said it was choice. Because he's right? yeah. yeah, he's banded. Gaia team she is weird, knowing that he's gonna lock himself into something. After you play yeah. rough. After you wow. play rough, okay. Okay. Alright, well, so we, we now know he's locked into play rough, so we can for free just switch Dragonite out into Torkoal. Um, yeah. But for the, for the Lilligan, I think we sleep powder the Azu slot. Yeah, okay. And then just get Jeremy in here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, he had, he had the same idea. <laughs> Is he gonna sleep powder? No yeah. way! <laughs> No way, dude. Same wavelength, Thea. Same wavelength. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, Alright. Uh, I guess I we just whoever, whoever rubs first wins. 
yeah, both of, both talk are forced to take a sleep turn here. So I think we just leaf storm into the Lilligan just to break his sash. Okay, so if yeah. I take this, I do. And then just go for anything because it's just stuck to take a sleep turn this turn. Oh, it just doesn't matter. Just, yeah. Yeah. You're always guaranteed one turn of sleep. Hey, he missed the expected the switch. Okay. Ooh, nice crit as well. Interesting. Okay. Um. So now, now we can right. maybe start waking up. So. Um, yeah. So now we start after you erupting. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he got it. Yeah. The same. No. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> we got to wake up as well. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. We still got it. Nice. <laughs> Oh god, why are me and this other dude on the same fucking wavelength right now? I, are we are we sure I'm not just battling you? Like, is this not like <laughs> an old? Oh yeah, I am a giant, uh, what is it, giant Tom Bombadil? Bombadil fan. <laughs> that was fun. It's a G. Oh man. Right, uh, how's that L treating you? <laughs> you know, Frank. It's not Turf fairy. Well. That, that's uh, that's uh, some ladder jank if I've ever seen it. All right, um, mm. here I think. Mm, maybe uh, just does he have Aquajet? He's gonna probably Aquajet the Lil again here. Um, I think we double protect like again. We got hard read. We got hard uh, read to gas tonight. We don't need to. We can double protect here, and he'll be forced to lock into something. Oh, and then yeah, if he yeah. does lock into Aqua Jet, then we can switch in Gastrodon. Yeah, yeah, okay. Why'd you name your Turquoise? Yeah, so there's yeah. Aqua Jet lock in. Wait, what'd you say, Ryan? Why'd you name your Turquoise Jeremy? Because that's his name. Okay, fair enough. Alright, so, he so here we're now free to sleep out of the Torkoal and switch in Gastrodon instead of the... Uh, don't leave Storm, uh, sleep powder. Oh. Oh, I almost okay cool yeah and then yeah and then gastro. switch in gastro yeah okay so he terrifies we now get the storm drain buff oh uh, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> that's all right that's all right um yeah. it's okay because now he has to switch the um uh, we bring in dragonite here uh yeah. he has to switch as you out this turn um, so we can so should we double... should we Double We've double into, into the Torkoal. Oh, uh, not into that slot. Into Torkoal, like... Yeah. Oh, uh, actually, no. We double into the Azu slot, yeah. Because so, I mean, then whatever, whatever he swaps in, I mean, we can... Because... Yeah, if he has to swap, that's going to be... Yeah. So I think we Terra Flying, Terra Blast, that slot. Um, and okay. what does he have in the back? Uh, I think we just Earth Power that slot as well. But Earth Power yeah. hits everything, at least neutral, if not super effective. Yeah. Flutter Main, Main. Okay. Nice. Easy, nice. this thing dies. He's Get Sash, but doesn't sash. matter. Nice. Yep. Bob, I'm assuming we can't live stream yeah. our matches. No. Uh, well, at the event, no. They, they will have a stream going on. Um, so if you do well, you may get picked to be on stream. I mean, why um, do we do but well? Yeah. That'd be fun. Frank, what if we 1v1 on right, stream, though? So he... That would be... I, so he... I hope if we go up against it, it would be insane. Anyways, what, what were you saying? Sorry. Okay, so he, he's definitely going to lock into... Um, what's it called? He has to lock into Play Rough here. He can't lock into any of his water moves and Brick Break is useless here. So we, yeah. can, we can take advantage of that fact and switch in... Uh, actually, we can just protect Dragonite here. Um... And then Earth Power into the Torkoal slot. Does that does that kill Torkoal? Oh! oh why damn. would he go for the Gastron on the? Oh, no that... way. Okay. Well, okay. either which way, we bring in we bring in Torkoal here, and now we can just do the same thing again, except we just Earth Power with the Torkoal. No, so, Lexi, Lexi, yeah. Yeah. I, I saw a Wolfie video about Parasong Scream Tail. Like this is a thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing. People run. <laughs> But, I mean, the thing is, they don't run it as much now, um, but yeah. Oh, he got the speed tie. Yeah. Alright, um, we can yeah, still it's... just Terra Blast take out the Azu. Parasong, Shadow Tag, Gothic Hell is evil. And then, yeah. Damn. There's it. 
so many game, games will game. be lost. Yeah, so many games will be lost on sleep. How to misses? It's just the yeah. game player. Yeah. So, oh. Matt, how do I counter a pair song yeah. shadow tag team here? Um. So here's the fun fact: you don't. Whoa! I love <laughs> this game. <laughs> <laughs> not not with not with those two mods. Oh. Yeah, because I'm already yeah. locked into it. Like, There's no shot that I'm getting out of this. <sighs> no, you're not getting out of that. Um, I can set up my screens in the meantime, but... Yeah, make sure you get your screens up before Grim dies. Um, I'm assuming and with Gastro, I think... Uh, well, you can't really kill either of them at this point. The main threat is Goth, because Goth is the one that's trapping you in. Oh. Okay, okay. Because if you can get rid of the trap, then you're able to... Uh, I hate Sleeper. <laughs> I hit, the screen tail is so frustrating to deal with. <laughs> no, wait, I kind of like this team, though. <laughs> oh, it's very gimmicky, uh, but it really only works in best of ones. Really? Oh, yeah. Well, a second time around, yeah, I'm sure people would know how to play around it. The gimmick kind of wears out. Not to, men yeah. Not to mention, if open team sheet, they can see exactly what you're going to do. Mm. Just rail the goth, uh. usually wise advice. Guillermo, you are a god. I'll, yeah, I'll follow you to the end. Wiser, my guy. <laughs> yeah, and uh, wiser advice has never been said. <laughs> Just kill the god. <laughs> yep. <laughs> hey, freak. What's up? How's your battle going? Uh, <laughs> terribly. <laughs> no, it's fine. I, I, mean, it's all right. I just I just sleep powdered into a grass water main, but hell it, yeah, you know. baby world champ. It, it happens. Yeah. Yeah, boy. I think uh, I think you just protect. So you protect Lilligan. Yeah. Um, just finish off Grim Snarl. Uh, actually, off. actually, I think you need to switch Tusk out. Yeah. Because he's because uh, yeah. you're you're a steel type and he's using mystical fire on Fluttermane. So. Oh yeah. Okay. So, yeah. I guess. So I think we bring in Jeremy here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Point. Jeremy's got it. What what does Rabska do in, in this season? Revival blessing. For the pair. Yeah, he's, he's got the. <laughs> he's the got the revival. Uh, Matt, I should just bring this team, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> No, this no. is nasty. <laughs> this team is absolutely this, abysmal. This, this this team is the epitome of ladder jank. <laughs> I'm not even on the ladder. <laughs> um, you are on the ladder. This is the in-game ladder. <laughs> <laughs> That's a ladder, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> you don't wait shit, fair point. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, God. <laughs> Honestly, uh, yeah, just yeah, give yeah, a team yeah. that does one thing really well. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Oh, God. I just gave him Oh, no, a double special. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's rough. Yeah, I already know he's going for... Let's see. He's definitely going for Shadow Sneak here. I'm going oh, yeah, insane on where to put Frank's fucking showdown. Just, uh, just, uh, put it right in the middle. It, yeah. Alright, good read. Good read there. <laughs> it kind of works, actually. You, you can still see the health bars and the movesets and stuff. Read the text. Alright, so, so I think we switch Lilligan out into something else. Uh, which one do we go, though? Uh, maybe... Um, I maybe think Tusk. Tusk. Yeah. Yeah, we go Tusk. And then just, uh, Flamethrower into the Grim. Okay. Yeah, yeah. How does this work for you, huh? <laughs> Spirit break, I guess, fine. Oh, the special attack drop, that's annoying. Yeah, that's the joys of Spirit break. Right? Wait, does it always um, do that? Yeah, it always attack drops. Alright, so I think we can lock into... Do we want to lock into... Uh... You know I think I we lock into Earthquake here, instead of Headlong. And then protect. Yeah. <clears throat> Ryan, you might just want to hit the run button. <laughs> Thanks for the advice, Frank. 
No problem. Um, oh, damn, not quite enough. Call me crazy. Oh, I think I have. That's rough. Thought that would have been enough to take out the Serral Edge. Matt, what yeah. Scream's Tail speed okay. like? Dragon Knight. Very fast. Faster than an E speed? E speed is priority. Ah, he ain't that fast. I think if I knock out the Scream Tail so that way he can't perish song, I got this. R Rap's good, ain't gonna Ooh. do shit. Alright, I think. Uh, what are we does, doing does, here? Does E Speed beat Flutter? Does that kill Fluttermane? No, not at that range. Um, <laughs> you'd need to Ice Spinner it. Okay. I think. I mean, I think that's that's the. That's I'm pretty the sure it's a lost cause at this point. This game, but I think we need we need to switch Hawk all out. Casey, I like really? that. Like, you, need, you need you need Sun up, otherwise Lilligan's useless. Oh, uh, well, Lilligan's probably just gonna die, yeah. Hey, Matt. Yeah? Yeah? What do you do if you get Parashong twice? <laughs> How do I get myself out of this one? <laughs> God damn. He's got a lot of work to do. <laughs> Yo, Sean, how you doing? <laughs> See, what you do here is you click the run button. <laughs> Frank yeah. said, "No, okay. Call me crazy, though. I, it's only three turns of Parasong, and I have it more health." It is one turn of Parasong because they can press protect twice. So could I. That that doesn't that explain. doesn't make any <laughs> difference for you. <laughs> His Gothitelle doesn't have countdown on the uh, Parasong. <laughs> Damn it! I'm gonna double in on the Gothitelle. Oh. You really should have flare blitzed instead. He's gonna protect anyways. I'll play Ritz next time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn. So yeah, your your only win con here is Okoing this Gothitelle this turn. You know, I have faith. Because the, yeah, hear me. The win con here, if you KO the Gothitelle, mm. Screamtail is the fastest thing on the field, meaning it dies first to Perish Song. <laughs> You know, that is your win con here. You need to kill this Gothitel this turn. <laughs> my win con is getting outsped by the Scream Tail. That's really what we're coming down to. Is Terra Blast yeah, my so strongest move here? Yes, yes. Terra Blast is your strongest move. But the problem is, because you fucking locked into Snarl. Oh, wait. He's going to encore you into Snarl. No. Or he's dude. dumb. Oh. He is dumb. Oh, man. He threw. He threw. Oh, the attack dropped though. No, it's fine. We get the card. That's not good. Oh. No. If we get the crit. <laughs> if we get the crit. Oh, we got a berry. We need a crit. We need a crit. Come on. Chat, chat. It'll crit, crit, crit energy. Here it is. I believe. It Terror crits. Blast. Terror crit. This is def definitely crits. For the wind gone. For the wind gone. Guaranteed. No. No. Yeah, we got to work on that crit chance of Dragonite, Matt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we got to bring it back to the lab. Yeah, we, um, need, we need to work on the uh, Parish Endurance as well, so it gets an extra turn. The Parish Endurance? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, Sean, yeah, how are you doing today, dude? Uh, no shot they protect. Okay, well, that was a fairly passive hurt. Um, there we go. <laughs> you look at that crap. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, wait, this, this Town Flame outsped Chlorophyll Lil again. No, it was priority because it's full health with Gale Wings. So, but he's oh. definitely gonna jet. He's definitely gonna jet punch your Lily at this turn here. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah, you're right. Uh, so we just. Uh, I think honestly, we can Terra Fire Eruption here. Yeah. And then just protect Lily again. Just protect, yeah. Because <laughs> we can read the jet punch. Okay, he protects. Oh her. wow. Right, either which way it doesn't really matter that much, we're still high enough HP. Alright, Golden Gear comes should back I, in. Should I try to preserve Lilligan or no? Just. Um. I mean, if I just flamethrower Goldango and then I guess. Unless I go for the double protect. Nah, that's crazy. Now nah, they'll never see it coming. Nah, see it coming. That was crazy as shit that happens this weekend. <laughs> I'd say we go for the double. Yo! Alright, run it. <gasps> run it, run it. Oh, he's telling uh, No, it landed though, it landed though. So you get the double. 
Except it doesn't uh, matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Damn. We'll get That's it. well, but now, uh, no. He's All right, just... we bring in Tusk. We bring in Tusk here. Call me crazy. What I if think we? What if we use triple protect? No, no. You bring in. Hear me out. Bring in Tusk because you've got oh. one turn of sun. And that or... one turn of sun. No. Uh, bring in Tusk. Trust me here. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. He's mad. Frank, no, trying to go off script. Your scarf Tusk. He's trying to go off script. Bring in Tusk. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Protosynthesis, you get an attack buff. This one turn, you hit much harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. What, what okay. We, 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 hit, uh, we hit Earthquake. Yeah, because I mean, Lilligan's going to die anyway. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Unless we get triple protect. Gonna... Come on, triple protect. No. no. <laughs> this turn, we sleep out. We sleep out of the Palafin slot. Uh, <laughs> just, just for the fun of it. Because you're dying case. anyways. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You see, I was thinking if we went for E speed though with Dragonite, we could have prevented the jet punch. Yeah, but there's no point of. Okay, that did a lot more damage than it should have. Jesus Christ. Nah, that's alright. He, he cleans us out. Dragonite cleans us out. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, fucking bonnet! Very bonnet! I mean, who do we. Do we. I guess we Ice Spinner and. Uh... No, we gotta get Goldango uh... out of there. Yeah, the problem is we don't have... Is we, we, his special attack's lowered, but we also just can't really do anything to it. Yeah. So I think we Ice, ice Spinner the Bonnet here, because he's probably going to protect Goldinger. Rage, Rage Powder. Powder anyways. Jesus, he ate that. Oh my There's god. Nasty so <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got I feel like when I bring Dragonite, I just... I Like, he, he's kind of useless without the Terra. He needs the Terra. Yeah, that's the big issue with Dragon. Especially if you don't, like, with the set you've got at the moment, because you don't have any move that it does, like, tons of damage outside of, um, outside of just, uh, like, Terra Blast. It's a bit tough. What's yeah. this guy gonna do with a Sloking? What? Uh, Sloking, sloking sets Trick Room. Um, and has like ally switch, but ally switch isn't really that use, like isn't that prevalent at the moment. Oh. Um, we definitely just set reflect here, just so that we take hits better. Should I protect Gastro? Um, no, no, I think we can just earth power into the pass. Uh, yeah, that's slot. Yeah, I don't know if I should be nervous about the sloking or not. Mm, I don't know. Do they come with parasol? Like on one, on on one hand, sloking doesn't really do that much. On the other hand, I also use sloking in a doubles thing, and it was my kill MVP for a week. <gasps> okay. All right. That's why we set the reflect. <laughs> All right. Do you... Oh, it's chilling snot, chilling reception. I forgot about this. I love this move on Slow King. It's so funny. Wait. Why? What? What is it? What does it do? So it's so you know how they changed teleport to be like a really slow pivot move. Uh, it's basically yeah, so. it's base it's basically it's a negative priority um like pivot, but it also oh. sets snow. <laughs> oh. And, and ice body at the back of Yeah. Ugh. And the whole thing is, it's a reference to the second movie, the Lugia movie, where the Slow King just tells bad jokes all the time and is just left in the snow. Wait, that, that's actually like... Oh, I was going to oh. say, that's so cute. I love that. Yeah, so the whole thing, Chili Reception, it tells a really bad joke and summons a <laughs> snowstorm and then just leaves. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> it's, it's so good. <laughs> so, okay, okay. Uh, he swapped into an Iron Bundle, so... I'm assuming I should just click the light yeah. screen with Grim and Gastro. I'm concerned because I Terrifier. can't... Terrifier. Terrifier. It's a water type, right? Sorry? It's gonna Do you have like... Storm Drain? Wait. This is what Gastro does. Gastro Walls Bundle. Really? Because... Really? When you go Terrifier, when you go Terrifier, Freeze Dry does no damage to you. Oh. Also, in general, Icy Wind does no damage to you. And if he goes for Hydro Pump, because you have Storm Drain, it does nothing to you, and you get the Spectacular. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. 
So this bundle slot is literally useless. I mean, he's so Unless he runs a Roar Veil for some reason. Let it check in its finest, everyone! Are we gonna... Okay. What are the chances I feel like we're gonna need Ladder Jank when we're at the tournament, do you think? If uh, You will see Ladder Jank once you go 06. <laughs> in like the last three rounds. Good to know. <laughs> Duly noted. So Ladder Jank just means shit teams. <laughs> yes. That's Shit so gimmicky teams that work on ladder but don't when you can see what they do and have to play multiple games. Like this! Ladder jank in fucking Grafia! Yeah, Jesus. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Um, Slow King in 2023. See, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna play on, uh, I wanna practice on the actual ladder, but... I You're don't not have... gonna get much experience with the ladder, eh, the ladder really. Your best bet, honestly, is to play like best of threes against um, like actual teams. Yeah. yeah we can try to scrim. Which? Break. Well, which we can do here. Like we can scrim. So yeah, you we should. Have different uh, teams? Yeah, we do. Wait, we should actually Ryan and I. We I have the. I mean, I have the rental team that. I mean, doesn't have the Gastrodon, but it has the King Gambit. We should run it. Sure. Matt, do we have this team on a showdown? Sorry? Do we have? Ah, uh, yeah, team? I can get the. Yeah, I can get the team on showdown. Nice. Um. Uh, I just, I've, I've just been like staring at this. I haven't even decided it. I think I'm just gonna go. Um. So he one shot Gastro, I guess. I can. What? <laughs> I guess. Did he want a glaive rush or something? Uh, I'll be honest, I wasn't looking. I, I assumed that I just wasn't going to get one shot. <laughs> um, I don't think that's going to fly at the tournament. I wasn't looking. <laughs> yeah, you, you need to be looking at the tournament. <laughs> I, know, I, could try, I could try to pull it, see what the ref says. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can definitely try. Like, I don't think you're going to get very far, but like, you can try. If I don't see it, it didn't happen. It was All right, so we spirit break. We we spirit break the bundle here. Um, there. Uh -oh. Also, this is probably gonna chunk. Or just kill, because... Oh wait, it's plus two! Should I what do we even do it? It's plus two! Should I have Terran there? There's no shot that I was gonna take that, right? No. Okay. <laughs> it was plus two, and the... It's, yeah, very much... So, yeah, it, this game's lost. Like you can't touch this Bax right now. <laughs> oh, so what's the win card against a plus two Dragon Dance Bax Galiba? Don't what let it get to plus two. <laughs> <laughs> you have Arcanine in on the field earlier, so that you can mirror her copy its buff. Oh. Honestly, I feel like I'm just not choosing the right leads or like the right team in the back. And also, I wasn't looking. That's like some. Yeah, that's something that we can work on, though. So, uh, let's just... Because at, right. at the moment, it's like, you guys are just both laddering, and so it's hard to kind of, like, go between the both. His Wi-Fi turns off! That is the wind god! <laughs> <laughs> the wind god is the one! That's so yeah. funny. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm fighting a Paris Trap team. We're gonna get some ex experience against this. I think... Oh, yeah, welcome to Paris oh. Trap. Okay, you've definitely got a much better lead here. So, the idea, you nuke that Gothitelle. Just straight, just go straight into Gothitelle, don't even worry about you, it. Should I, yeah, should you... I Terra here? No. Terra still? No? No. Just yeah, you just nuke that, him. nuke that Gothitelle. Fake out. Okay, there's okay. the fake out. Okay, Good. there we go. Now you're no longer trapped. <laughs> okay, okay, right. okay. So he brings um, in Annihilate. Alright, uh, at this point... Uh, the thing is, at this point, he's probably gonna just protect on both of them. So maybe, we can start maybe I... we can start switching out stuff here. Yeah. Okay. So maybe yeah, switch out and then just switch out both. Awesome. Screw it. Yeah. Not gonna lie, I'm not sure on the Lilligan pick here. Like, generally speaking, you don't want to be bringing Lilligan unless you have Torfoil with you. Yeah. Without, yeah. Without Stun, Lilligan doesn't really do anything. Yeah, I'm realizing that wasn't. Wasn't ideal. He protects. Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, All right. I think we yeah, we definitely flying, right? terra flying. Yeah, terra flying terra blast into the Amoongus um, here. Amoongus. I think. 
Yeah, I mean, he might yeah. rage powder, but I mean, yeah, exactly. And then we just, then... Uh, I think we just try and sleep powder the annihilate, but I don't think it's gonna get very far. Oh, we got okay, it. Okay, well, it. we did, we got it. Hey, exactly. Chat. If if we didn't see it, it didn't happen. <laughs> Y'all got the right idea. We got the right idea here. <laughs> I'm trying to set up my window so that way. All right, cool. I have it so I can easily deafen and undeafen in the Discord call. I can have like the big screen toggle on and off. Or like I can keep it small when my game's in focus. Or like keep it big when it's Frank's game. And I can see the chat easily too. <laughs> but like I said earlier in the stream, I was like, yeah, that, th this one is a better setup. I have one less monitor than I did in my last office. So uh, all my windows are just set up in a very different way than I'm used to. Um. Hey, let me unmute. I like to sleep again. How do you like? How, how are you? How are you so confident he's going to protect just all lefties? Because, because, yeah, he needs lefties recovery to be able to take another Terra Blast. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then wait, what did you say with Logan? Uh, sleep powder into the annihilate on the off chance that he doesn't and goes for a bulk up instead. Oh wow, he did. Oh, there we go. Nice. What happened to the other monitor? At my office at the last apartment, my hey, let's go full cam. <laughs> my third monitor was a TV that I had mounted on the wall, like above my setup, and I just didn't want to mount the TV at this place. <laughs> I just said, "All right, let's just go with a two monitor setup instead of three this time around," because I really only used that TV for Scarlet Violet whenever I would stream. But now that I don't have that TV, I just have the game take up this entire monitor, and then I'm doing everything else on this one. <laughs> All right, all right, we found it. We found, we found our next battle. <laughs> Let's unmute. Uh, also, thank you for the super chat. I he has it. literally no attack. I don't know what he's thinking he can do here to win. He has no attacks on that thing. Like he cannot mm -hmm. attack you at all. Hey Matt, question. Yeah, was he? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Uh, let me see. Okay. Uh, Dozo Tatsu Bundle, okay, um... So, the Dozo matchup is definitely a lot worse now overall than it was before. Mm. Um, but I think, we don't lead Grimstyle. Um... So I think here we lead Arcanine Talon. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, just, just in case so we can try and catch Dozo with the burn. Okay, okay. Um, in the back, we have Gastro. And then for the last one, I want to say Dragonite. I spin would be but good for... By the same token, Hands is also a lot better into Dozo overall. Then I think I'm leaning Hands. Because the only thing here that would counter would be the Don Fan, right? The Iron Tusk. So. Tusk. No, don't lead hands, because hands can't really do that. It doesn't apply enough pressure. Well, not Just stick with this, it'd be fine. It'd be the fourth. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Did Frank just win? Yeah, buddy, that yeah. was a free one. Dude, did you just fuck up the Parasong team? Yep. <laughs> that was a freebie, it was a freebie. We just, we just, we just clapped it. <laughs> oh, and now oh, Frank's yeah. against the Dozo as well. Oh my god. Oh, no way. <laughs> I feel like, oh yeah, I feel like I do this and then Gastrodon. Boys, I'm doing well. Then... Thank you for the super chat, my guy. The only one because he's not rise right. match, yeah. <laughs> All right, here, I think we, I think we need to deal with the, um... no, I don't tarry yet. Okay, okay. Because we can, uh, we can afford to have um, Arcanine go down. That's, yeah, yeah. I think we Tailwind here and full. We Flare Blitz or Snarl? I mean, Snarl. I think we Flare Blitz. Yeah, but it doesn't really do that much. Uh, I think, yeah, Snarl overall uh, and Tailwind. It's a tough lead to face down bundle. Wait, where, can, yeah, so he switches to us. Sorry? Can Talonflame take a Hydro Pump? Uh, no, but not normally. But the big thing is what you can do is Tailwind here, Snarl, like Arcanine should outspeed, uh, and Snarl 
Uh, I can lower this attack. Okay, okay. Oh, they didn't even. Okay, the bundle is still faster, and he goes to the icy. Wind. All right. <clears throat> he he was probably expecting Talonflame to be Sash, so he's wanting to try and break Sash. Gotcha. Or lower speed. Yeah, well, lowering speed just um, is like a byproduct more than anything. Um, okay. So here, I think we can switch Arcanine out. Like we yeah. want. Like now, we can preserve Arcanine. Also, we now know he doesn't have Dozo with him. So here, we can bring in Gastro. Yeah. Gastro. Because we can read the Hydro. The Iron. We're reading a Hydro. Pump. Yeah, we're reading a Hydro Pump this turn here. Um, uh, I, can I just think go we damage. can. Um, bundle. Uh, uh, I think we want to protect. Uh, so taunt the uh, Arcanine. So that we can stop it from will o wisping uh, on the other other ones. What makes you think they're gonna will o wisp? Uh, well, it's not so much a matter of it's gonna be this turn. It's a matter of stopping it for like a few turns in case we need to bring hands in. Okay, okay. Do a lot of arcanines run will o wisp? Yeah, they almost all of them run will o wisp. Sours. There's the hydro pump. Oh, <gasps> nice yo! Green. There we go. <laughs> all right, Does... and now he gets. Now you get to play the I I want to say screw you bundle because now we terra fire and just earth power into the uh, what's it called we terra fire earth power into that arcanine slot. Bam. Then and watch. Acrobatic. And just uh, no, don't even touch the uh, bundle. Just acro the uh, uh, what's it called the um, arcanine as well. Because watch, he is going to tunnel monkey brain into freeze dry gastrodon. I don't know if our team could beat the 96 Chicago Bulls. They, they were... <laughs> they, they were pretty good. They, they were oh finalists in that season, right? Yo, that man. is so funny. Oh my god, Gamora <laughs> took an Earth power. I'm so... See, there's the freeze drag right? into the gas <laughs> Go on! And that's, and that's the most damage... That's the most damage he can do, and now Arcanine dies to a plus one Earth power. <laughs> Damn. They went down like the 97 See, the, bowls. This, this is what Gastro does. <laughs> and now, as long as Gastro is on the field, that bundle cannot do anything other than icy wind freeze dry. Let's go. Try a last ditch effort hydro pump. Ah, uh, yes, another nice hydro pump. Gastro. <laughs> His wind con is if I miss uh, badly. Yeah. <laughs> Which is entirely possible. Like, like really badly. Like, I, I fall when I hit the power button right. badly. So here we can just. Um, honestly, I think we can recover Gastro just to really stall it out a bit, um, and then switch Talon Flame out into Arcanine. Gotcha. Uh, <laughs> so I, don't, I don't know how many turns of Tailwind we have left. If we have one more, we will outspeed the Flutter Main with Arcanine, but. Either which way, like, we're not relying on Tailwind here. Hmm. And the, the best part is, we technically have two fire types on the field and he cannot hit Hydro Pump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. This might hurt a little. Yeah, a bit. Holy, is that a crit? A bit more than a bit. That's probably, um, Specs. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, Tailwind wore off. There it is. Um, so... It, at this point, I think, uh, yeah, Earth Power into the uh, Flutter. Just ease back. And... Does Arcanine seem to go down this turn, right? Yeah. Uh, what do we have in the back again? Uh, hands. Talent Flame. Hands has full health. I think we can switch in hands here. We need to keep Arcanine around um, for Tusk now that we're Terra uh, Terra Fire. Ooh, he swapped. So that there's the, there's the switch in, yeah. Oh, that was a good swap then. Yeah. Because because now uh, even though like we're all still weak to Earthquake, um, we can intimidate him uh, next turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is definitely Specs, Blood of me. So the Great Test can probably Oko the Iron Hands, right? Uh, yeah, so that's why we hit Muddy Water and switch back into Arcanine to Intimidate here. 
Um, because if we switch back in, yeah, Arcanine will die, but we get the minus one attack on him. Gotcha. Um, gotcha, gotcha. You're free. What's up? How's your match going? <laughs> this one's bad. I've had, I've had a couple Ooh, of good ones, but this one... This one is, I, yeah, they, they just completely messed me up with Drizzle. Alright, I want to say that, that real quick, Brian, what happens this turn? Did he... Okay, does he protect... Yeah. yeah. Oh, he protects Toss. That's very strange. <laughs> Shadow Balls the Gastro. Yeah, no, Shelby, it was crazy. We're going undefeated. Haven't even had him on Fate yet. All four O's. All right, and okay, cool. We've killed the flutter. Hi, Bry. All right, so this turn we prote we protect Gastro. Wait, how come? Uh, and then uh, because he's definitely just going to protect Bundle and go for like an earthquake with um, Tusk. And we cycle. No, we cycle out back into hand so we can get another intimidate. Okay, okay, gotcha. Do they have two months left or three? No, two. Those are the last two. And oh, bundle's okay. useless as long as ga as long as Gastro is on the field. Bundle is useless. Gotcha. All right, all right. Yeah, I see what you're saying because of the storm drain for the bundle, but then also they can't switch. So I just want to keep intimidating. Don Van totally going yeah. down. Yeah. Which regional are you guys so going here comes to? The we are going to North Carolina Charlotte Regionals this weekend. Yeah, but oh, I'm gonna freeze. Yeah, Ooh. buddy. Yeah, Frank's aiming for top two. <laughs> we told them aim high, but you I'm probably gonna... won't win this, you know. I, I feel like at that point I should just be shooting for for one. No, no, no. We're keeping it realistic, <laughs> just in case. Like, yeah, yeah. We can't be, we can't be going crazy. Yeah, can't get your expectations too high. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Jesus, dude. I, man, if I'm in the top 50%, I'm happy. This is, uh, this is abysmal. With how much we play this game, I, I think we have such a good shot. Yeah, you'd think. And also, me and Matt are going <laughs> to Discord, so there's that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is a tough one here. Hear me out on this. Oh, no. Switch Gastrodon into Arcanine. Whoa, 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 whoa. I kind of like that idea. He's going to expect. And then we drain punch into the uh, what's it called? Not the bundle. Yeah, not the bundle. The, the elephant. Yep. <laughs> so we get. I'm hoping that this intimidate is enough to make it so that um, we live uh, the that we live the what's it called? Uh, in earthquake. Freeze dry into the hand. We take it. We live. Thank you, Shelby. Headlong rush into the, uh, yep, the Arcanine, so into Dang. the Astro slot. He's got minus one defenses. This won't kill, but this will at least give us um, a good chunk of health back here. Gotcha, gotcha. Ooh, almost 50. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> How's he doing? Yeah, no, this, this match is pretty much, pretty much a wrap. Um, do I want to send Gastro yeah. back in because of my Storm Drain? Um, wait, we have Talon still in the back. I yeah. completely forgot we still have Talon Flame. Yeah, like we have a mod. Uh, <laughs> no, I think we go, uh, Talon Flame here, actually. Uh, I, I have a hard question. swap Talon Flame into Gastro predicting a Hydro no, Pump? No, so hit. So what we do here, what we do here, uh, Will-O-Wisp into the, uh, Tusk. Yeah, but, but, but imagine if, if the Gastro... No, because we swap, we swap hands in, we swap hands into Gastro. Yes, I want to see it happen, I want to see it happen. <laughs> Come on, do it. Come on, do it. <laughs> Gastro, wait here. <laughs> Click Hydro Pump. No, you want, it's super effective. What else are you going to do? He's got a monkey brain into the super effective button. Come on. Come on. Come on, click it. The text is right there telling you it's super effective. <laughs> um, I, I have a question uh, regarding... 
one of the smart monkeys. One of the ones that can like do sign language and ask for grapes. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, 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 oh, I have a That's good. Yep. Uh, I have a question regarding a comment that my opponent said in the showdown chat. <laughs> he, he said, <laughs> "Why, <laughs> why do people tear a torque? You don't get the boot. Do I not get the boot? Am I missing something?" <laughs> No, he's dumb. <laughs> Wait, why does he think I don't get a Terra boost? I don't know, but he's dumb. <laughs> okay, oh. I, I hope I I hope you have a good day, sir. <laughs> All right. So so what so what happened this turn, Ryan? Oh, uh, so okay, someone... Gastro's dead. That's not fun. Basically, um the Okay, so this turn we need to yeah, yeah, yeah. tailwind. We need to tailwind here and, and drain punch, drain punch the. Yes, yeah, drain punch the bundle this time. Because yeah. burned and neg two, um, like hands should be able to take a ground move from Tusk. <laughs> There's the Hydro Bomber! You know, I, I kind of was asking for it. No, but that's fine, because now we just get all of our health back off that uh, thing. Headlong, we should take this. Come on, we're thick. Come on, we're thick. Come on, we're thick. Oh, no. Ah, so Anyways. close. Back to Frank. How you doing, dude? Uh, so far, so good. <laughs> got, got the Iron Monster <laughs> out of here. It's, it's uh, so yeah. far, so good. I says Lilligate got O-Code. Okay. Nearly okay. No, he's no it, it survived. It didn't even get brought to Sash, it just didn't do enough. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so now we just, uh, after you erupt on these guys. Yeah. Yeah. There's really really not much you could do. Oh, well, that. Oh. We could do that. Okay, I forgot about E Speed being a thing. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> well, we, we, broke, we broke the multi skill. I think that's uh, a win. Uh, <laughs> that, that was a uh, certified Matt Monkey Brain moment there. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, I'm, I'm thinking of Rock Slide right here. Yeah, I think we tear a Rock Slide. Yo, this guy's um, bringing the Jugulus without the iron. And then here, the Torko. We can just we can just protect Torko, honestly. <laughs> he brought the Jugulus, hold the iron. <laughs> Thanks for <laughs> <me>. <laughs> Oh, no. Alright, nice. Nice Rock. Ah. Oh, That's goodness. okay, we killed the Flutter. That's what matters. Terra Blast. I went for the Terra Blast. Alright, the Shroom is annoying. So, we Rock Slide, Hope for the Flinch, and Flamethrower at the Shroom. Flamethrower, yeah, we get a Flinch here for sure. Yeah, we get the Flinch. Damn. Or we die. But we get the Flinch. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Okay, so we just Rock Slide again, kill the Dragon Eye, and then just Earth Power oh. this Amoongus until it... Oh, Ice Beam, actually. I forget you have Ice Beam. What if you click Counter? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what like what? What other move would you run besides counter? Uh, money. Uh, well, protect is the big one. Um, protect. Uh, otherwise, if you you know don't want to use protect, then uh, muddy water is a good shout. Chilling water is a good shout. Chilling water. Just yeah, it's oh, a it weaker move, attack. but it lowers attack. Hmm. Oh, interesting. What was the argument? I kind of, I kind of. I kind of like I kind of like just protect. Yeah, protect is definitely a safest option. Uh, Hydra got a special right. attacker. Garchomp could be run either or, right? No, Garchomp's always physical. Oh, okay. So and uh... at the moment, they'd be. Um. Oh yeah, I think we reflect because Garchomp's more of a problem. What is that name on the enemy? <laughs> I wasn't gonna bring it up, but like. <laughs> like some people, I swear. Alright, I think we just protect here, I think. You could go with Gastro. Ooh, they swapped. Okay, so he withdraws Garchomp. Into bundle. Oh, okay, cool. So we get to wall another bundle. Nice. There's the booster. Uh, do I want to terrify them? <laughs> Yeah, next time we terrify. Oh, please don't be terror steel flash cannon. Oh god. Oh, it's poison. Terror poison. 
No, nah, but Terra Poison, Terra Blast does the same thing. Oh, and I can't Earth Power it because of Levitate, right? Yeah. How will Spirit Break do on it? <clears throat> Not much. Damn. But that's requiring Grimstyle to live this turn. I don't think we live this because of going for the Reflect instead of Light Screen. Yeah. Oh, shit. Hey, we live it. All right, so now we Light Screen. Um, I I made an insane lead. Uh, actually, don't Terra yet. Um, just switch out, I think. We can switch out Gastro. Really? Yeah, we can switch into... Uh, Arcanine. God, this poison... Dragon's gonna be a problem. Yep. Holy he's shit, probably gonna... Shoki, holy, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I have PayPal money right now, so this is for you, I bread. I thank you so much. <laughs> Increment sounds good. <laughs> it's like a lease, how you pay off a car. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Shelby. <laughs> yep. So there's the freeze dry. Cool. Ooh. There's the Terra Blast. It's probably gonna kill the. Yep, kill the Grim. Yep, there it is. And the thing is, now we can bring in Gastro and uh, Terra Fire. Okay, okay. Actually, no. We don't even need to. We can bring in Dragonite here. <clears throat> so, what's the plan to take out the Hydreigon? The Hydreigon? Yeah. Uh, we Terra Fly, uh, Terra Flying Terra Blast. Gotcha. Do I want to? And then this. Uh, we just. I think yeah, we snarl. Yeah, because yeah, snarl's a safe play. I don't think the Terra Blast is gonna Oko it, so. Knock it down. No, I, I, I think Terra Blast, Terra Blast will work out. You think so? Yeah. No, it's stab, but it's not super effective. It, You'll bet! It, it's, it's double stab, though. Ooh. Ooh, wait, yeah, right. That's why Terra Flying Terra Blast is such a nuke. He read the switch into Gastro. Ah. Nice. But the good thing is the Snarl here breaks any sashes as well. Dragon Pulse. Oh, that was a good Terra. Yep. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> and now this Terra Blast should just occur. Okay. Oh, oh a so that's a bulky High Dragon. Uh, could I Terra Blast bundle and then E Speed? <laughs> and A Speed. Yeah. Yeah. He might protect or something, but I could just do it again. Yeah. So why Terra nah, Fly over Terra Normal E Speed? Because Terra Flying, uh, Terra Normal E Speed gets hard walled by, um, what's it called? Uh, I forget the name. Um, Agron. Like, psy yeah, uh, psy like Psychic Terrain uh, on Indeedy, uh, Ferrigera, anything that denies priority. Uh, and with how much Terra Ghost has been running around, um, it's just not as strong uh, overall consistent as Terra Flying Terra Blast. Mm. And it's one of those things where Dragonite's own this is a Dragonite's only flying coverage that it really has. Like the next best flying move it has physically is wing attack. Hmm. God, yeah. So, yeah. Especially I feel like there's a lot of ground. I mean, there's like a Moongus and um he, What's his name? And the, just Terragrass in general. Terragrass in general is also just really oh. prevalent for the um with how much uh good predict. Because they knew I was gonna click E speed there. Yeah, brick break is annoying. They broke my. He just gets rid. Of, gets rid of the screens. Reflect. And that brick break was a crit as well. But I mean, at least the Garchomp goes down here. Nice, <laughs> guys. What do you mean? Read the chat. I literally have been. <laughs> I mean, not this a wrong is an answer. <laughs> it really isn't. That that was a good inference, Frank. Oh, God. This I, I I'm just I'm just fighting my team. You're fighting a mirror. <laughs> it's very it's very similar. I literally I'm this kinda, is the mirror, wait. but with but if you went with bundle instead of the gaster. Yeah, <laughs> which is kind of funny because I, I I am maybe thinking about trying bundle. Um, <laughs> the thing is like okay. bu bundle flutter is a really good combo in general as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he he does seem. 
I, I just, I don't know. I feel like, like, I really like Gastrodon, but I feel like he's not taking hits as well as I would have liked. I mean, it depends on what build, like, spread you've got on it, because I think you've got a lot of special attack and spread, which is the issue. Yeah. They swap the... Oh, they didn't. I thought that they were about to swap Goldengo back into the Hydreigon, predicting my ground. <laughs> Show me, I literally just read the super chat. Did you not hear it? Okay, so we're just after you erupt again. What'd you say? Ye oh, I was just talking to Frank. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Terrifying. Great. Whoa! Oh, okay, that did way more damage than it should. Jesus Christ, okay. Oh, wow, this guy, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> Damn. No, this he guy. just has ladder jank. This is just ladder jank. <laughs> And there's a reason Any he rejected team sheets. <laughs> Anytime we're losing, Bladder Jake. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so here I think we can just we can just after you um again and then just uh what's it called? Like Terra Flying Terra Blast the Torco. Yeah, yeah. So boys, we won the game. Let's go. Hey. Easy dubs. Easy dubs. All right, there's the there's the flood of main switch. Nice. Then switch. See, that, we're just gonna do that a it's... lot of times this weekend, and then we're set. <laughs> <laughs> he's also special attack boosting flood of main, so he's not max speed. So tusk will outspeed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So maybe All I right. just earth earthquake here. No. Uh, actually, wait. What's his team? Uh. uh he's so got... if we. Okay, so here's the predicament we have. If we lock into Earthquake, um, and he kills Dragonite, we lose to Talonflame because we can't touch it. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, we def. I mean, unless unless we just do we just rock slide, right? I mean, that might be safer. Well, the thing, actually, no, the thing is, we can lock into Earthquake because I'm confident that we can take some hits. I feel. So okay. lock into Earthquake, and then I think we Terra Blast the Flood Main. Terror Blast Flutter Man, yeah. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> Welcome back to Jenkin with Franken. <laughs> <laughs> Jenkin with. Yeah, buddy. Oh, Jesus. This stuff oh, is okay. insane. Oh, boy. I did not expect that to still outspeed. Matt, who do you think their lead's about to be? Okay, so I think we lose. <laughs> Um, nice. Um, okay, so lead here. Um, Murkrow Goldengo is a very good, like, common lead. Um, just Murkrow something here, I think, is your, the lead that they have. So, because um, I, I thought it was going to be, like, Murkrow or Bungus. No. You never lead two passive bombs. You always lead with some kind of aggression. Mm. <clears throat> um... And then in the back, what do we want? Uh, Gastro is really good in the back against these guys. Um, Dragonite for the Garchomp might be nice. Yeah, and I don't know if Dragonite or Hands is better here. I think honestly, Hands may be better overall. Okay. Wait, how come? Uh, because Garg is a big threat that Dragonite can't really break through. Whereas hands, if you get to plus three, like plus two hands, drain punch will kill. Mm -hmm. um, plus four, ha plus four hands, uh, wild charge will kill. Hmm. Bob, I didn't get a bidet, but I think the Frank did. I yeah, I, ha I haven't set it up, but apparently, yeah, apparently it is nice. Yeah, he ordered Ludwig's, and I'm excited. I feel like it'd be a yeah. changed man the next time they go to Frank's place. All right. All right, so we re we reflect here and bring in um, what's it called, uh, Gastro. Uh, cool. Because yeah, he's the big thing. One of the other advantages with um, Gastro with uh, Covert Cloak, mm -hmm. uh, you he doesn't take any salt cure chip. Because yeah, wait, Cloak negates additional effects, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Oh, and he, tr he tried to Thunder Wave the Gastro, and now he can't Thunder Wave either of your mods at this point. <laughs> that was great. Should I just set up my so screen? So, um, actually, I think here we should set up um, Misty Twin. Uh, 
Actually, yeah, no, set up the other screen first. I sh wait, no, we can just spirit break the macro, honestly. Well, that'll count. Like, spirit break the macro. Uh, it won't okay, but it'll do a good chunk. Uh, and then we can just muddy water. Yeah, and that'll definitely kill it. <laughs> yeah, so he's done. <laughs> no, <laughs> he doesn't realize that uh, you can't prankster move into a dark type. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Good night, Shelby! Uh, oh, of course it missed the Garg. That's annoying. Wow, I Iron Bundle has like no coverage. No, no, literally bundle you only run that like, you run four out of the following five moves of uh, Icy Wind, Freeze Dry, Hydro Pump, Protect, and Encore. Like you just pick four of those and run those. Encore sounds pretty good. Um Freeze Dry, per Hydro Pump. Is that is that really the best one? I mean, yeah. yeah. Hydro Pump is your only water move. The next best option is Chilling Water. Mm. That's how they balance uh, Bundle, was just by giving it terrible move slot, like terrible move coverage. Yeah. What terror type are you doing on the Iron Bundle? Um. It's saying well, uh, ghost, um, ghost is fairly common uh, at the moment, mm. just to yeah, like, stop the uh, fake outs and uh, fighting coverage from hands. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Ghost sounds pretty good. I'm pretty, I'm pretty on board with that. Um... <laughs> Phoenix, you're not yeah, even. You definitely want <laughs> icy wind. You, you definitely want icy wind uh, with your bundle. Uh, you don't want to focus band either. My like, band is just not good. Yeah, I know. That's just my secret chili pepper. <laughs> Your chili pepper? Oh my god. That's my the focus Hold band. Up, my, cook, my... <laughs> I just, I, I kind of, I'm kind of in the mood just to bring focus band on one Pokemon, just because if it pops, it'd be the <laughs> hypest thing ever. Oh my god. You always do the <laughs> signature Orenberry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, it's like it's a go-to move. Uh, okay. He has to stay on brand with this. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, I got muddy water. Did you get your light screen up? Ah, uh, that's what I'm doing this turn. Cool. And I'm actually okay that he protected the guard because I muddy watered instead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> your secret, huh? <laughs> 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 That's funny. Are you fucking? Can we please work on this muddy water accuracy, Gastro? <laughs> <coughs> now you know how I felt. No CIC. Uh. All right, so we just erupt and Terra after you. Um. So I got both screens up. Oh, oh. said Terra after I, you. I <laughs> I completely yeah that makes sense. <laughs> That's Damn okay. It. Um, uh, big reads. Yeah, he's very fat overall. This might have been a dumb switch, actually, but but big reads. Then just after you again, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Damn, Jesus. Yeah, this, okay. He, he's just gonna style spam at this point. Yikes. <laughs> Alright, I think we. What do we bring in here? Uh, yeah, Phoenix, it's not edible. Honestly, I feel like Tusk would have been a better mom to have in the back here. Oh my god. I swear yeah, to god, we, we, bring in, we bring in Bundle. Garvin Apple brought his fucking swimming trunks to this battle. What the hell? <laughs> right, uh, we can switch uh, Jeremy into Dragon Eye. And so, just, just Dragon uh, out here. Matt, what's the win con yeah. when you miss three Muddy Waters and one Gargan Apple? Uh, you don't care because it's Garg and it does nothing. In succession. <laughs> do not, do not tear water. No, no, I'm mad. Now, now I want to just... Do, do, do not tear water. No, Matt, I'm playing with aggression now. All I can see is red, dude. <laughs> if you want to play with, if you want to play with aggression, what you do is you flare blitz the, <laughs> what's it called? The flutter main. And then you, you just recover. Do not tear water. <laughs> oh my god. I think... 
See, this guy's dumb. He doesn't know that Covert Cloak is the thing after seeing Salt Cure not work on it. Like, you could abuse the fact that this guy is dumb. I could have Terra Watered. <laughs> yeah, but Terra Water Salt. Like, if he Salt Cures, Terra Water does a quarter of your health instead of an eighth every turn. Wait, what? Yeah, so the way Salt Cure works is that the residual damage that is doubled if it's used against a steel type or a water type. Am I cr yeah. Why do I- That's wild. Does it say that so in the move description or something? Yeah, in the in the move description, yeah, it says this move's power is increased against water and steel types. Um... Alright. So now we switch. <sighs> yeah. I kind of want to go Grim and maybe- Yeah, we go- Get yeah, just go right Grim and... If I could. Yep. And then we just spam Muddy Water here until we get to like half health and then we recover. Gotcha. And what happens when Muddy Water misses? We don't care because we're Gastro and we live everything. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we make this guy's. Okay, he white guards, who cares? <laughs> this is where we make this guy's day a living nightmare. See, the thing is. He... That could be an issue. <laughs> is it? Because we still have Intimidate in the back. Oh, we have Intimidate in the back, but, yeah. like. What else do we have in the back? Do we have Dragonite? Uh, no, we went hands instead. I feel like my hubris is coming to eat me now. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Alright, um, okay, we Misty Terrain here just to weaken Dragon coverage, in case he, for whatever reason, decides to Dragon move. Should I just uh, ignore the Garg instead? Yeah, uh, uh, no, no, ignore the Garg. Oh, the Garg is useless. That was a misclick. Yeah. <laughs> the Garchomp is the problem here, not the Garg. Yeah. Yeah, because the Garg's just going to recover this Earth Power back up, isn't it? Yeah. Man. Switch but the good, the good thing dance. Ooh. Oh, we could. It's okay. He's protecting. Okay, okay. we're good. That's good. Unintentionally red. <laughs> <laughs> Unintentionally through. <laughs> No, because he just pro he just protected that guard shop. Me doing this, he's probably so mad. Like, why the fuck did he yeah. have power of the guard? Like, that kind of makes no sense. <laughs> oh yeah, hundred percent. Nice. But yet, do you think we can mirror herb the guard shop? Uh, we can mirror herb if he is swords dances again. Is the big thing. Got so it. what we do here, we switch in, we switch in, oh no, we set up Reflect against what we do here, oh. and sack the guard, uh, Grim, and, uh, then... and now we Earth Power, no, now we Earth Power. The Garchomp, right? Yeah. Yeah, because he can't protect again. No, but he can wide guard with guard, so that's why we don't, uh, Muddy Water. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Okay, he goes with the, he's probably gonna tear a ground earthquake here. Yeah, tear a ground earthquake. So guard's probably gonna uh, wide guard here just to protect against the earthquake. No. Or he's gonna protect, okay. Either which way. Realistically, wide guard was the better move for him there, because wide guard would protect him not only against his own earthquake, but against your muddy water. Hmm. That's cool that wide guard works still on your own side. Yeah. Well, we'll take this. Oh, wow. Oh, the reflect yeah, was down. That was why. No, but you got the reflect back up. That's just plus two Garchomp with life orb. Jesus. <laughs> but it's okay, because we're, we're fine. So now we bring in Arcanine just to get another Intimidate off. Mm hmm. So we bring in Arcanine, and we do not, the key thing, we do not Terra. Say, say that one more time. Do <laughs> not Terra. Frank, I don't know why, but I'm feeling compelled to hit the R button. Don't do it. <laughs> You're better than that, Ryan. <laughs> so we just Blair Blitz the uh, Gacho. Terra first. No. I doubled it on the Garchomp. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Because the big, th the big thing is, is that uh, Hands wins in the back. Mm -hmm. There's the Dragon Claw, half damage by Misty Terrain. Then... 
and oh, it's like this should get the kill. Yep, and flood. This will kill. Yeah. There we go. Even without the crit, that killed. Nice. All right, and now we bring in hands, and hands wins. Woo. Here we go. Yeah, Grace, things are definitely going well. We have plans to do some more solo streams, more or less after this event right now. But yeah, tonight's stream is just, it's a chill thing of just kind of practicing for the event. I was debating even going yep. live with it, but we, we, All right. we decided to do it. So, so, hmm? so now I give you permission to terror and terror blast. Yeah, fuck that guard. Wide guard this. And sword, sta sword stance, sword stance, sword stance, sword stance. Yeah, because he's going to recover this back. <laughs> No, not even a matter of recovering back. It's just a matter of, like, if you, like, even, I can tell you right now, you will get so much more satisfaction getting to plus four, letting that guard get to full health, and wild charge one-shotting that thing. <laughs> Take that from someone who did that three times at OCIC to a guard. Actually, that's great. <laughs> yeah, the one matchup, the one matchup at OCIC where I faced someone who had both Don Dozo and Garg, um, he didn't bring Dozo to any of them. He brought Garg to all of the games. And every game I had hand set up to plus three and wild charge one shot it. Jesus. Sorry, plus three. And a plus four. Plus four, yeah. Cause, Cause it's a plus two boost. Yep. <laughs> That's great. So, question, at this event, like, I'd imagine at a certain point me and Frank are gonna get, like, split up to do our matches, right? Yeah. Am I able to, like, how close am I going to get to Frank's match to be able to watch his and vice versa? Like, if I'm not doing one. Um, okay, so I'll, first of all, let's just finish this match off. So just Terra Blast and Swords Dance again. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so basically with these events, um, so everyone gets, you get put on your table, you have your match. Once you finish it, you hand the match slip up to show the result to the uh, judge so they can enter it in the system. Mm -hmm. Then from there, Generally, you're allowed to like go and watch other matches from like a like decent distance. Like you're not allowed to be like right up like in their grill coaching them and stuff like that. But you can like stand back and as long as like you don't say anything, uh, you can generally like watch matches okay. Um, okay. and just go keep like a at least like a arms distance away. Gotcha. Um, the weak thing is just depends on um, how spread out the matches are, because usually like the tables are like very close together. Um, yeah. And so if there's like multiple, like if the if they're still playing like either side of Frank, it may be a case of you might not be able to um, like you might not be able to watch if there's other games going on alongside as well. Okay, okay. But like, no, an arm's distance <clears throat> though. That's actually way closer than I was expecting. Yeah. Mm. Would uh, would they would they let Ryan point a camera at me from a distance? Like, no, obviously not filming the match. Uh, <clears throat> no, I reckon they would. Yeah. Generally, they allow like filming within the event for the most part because they're also filming stuff. Nice. Yeah. Uh, most of the time. Gotcha. Yeah, it'll be it'll be a good time. I'm excited. I think. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think I think it'll be I think it'll be really good. Yeah. Thank you, Vandalism. Yeah. yeah, I'm proud of this thumbnail. It was such a last second decision in general. <laughs> I thought of it on my walk like, um... two hours ago. <laughs> Alright, so do, do we want to start getting some like SN3 practice in? I I'd be I'd be down. I um yeah. I'm trying I'm still trying to figure out because I, I, I wanna figure out like this this last team member. I just I mean King Gambit makes sense, but I just I don't know. I'm trying to do something. something. I mean, it's one of those things where you don't, like, it's not always a case of, like, you don't always have to change up the team, even if you want it to have your own flair. Sometimes you can just, like, look at the moveset and adjust something, or, like, a terror type and adjust something that you want to be more your playstyle. Yeah. Like, let me actually, let me look at King Gambit, see what else I could do with him. Because, like, what was the set that was on it before? Uh, I think it was Ironhead, Sucker Punch, Kowtow Cleave, and I forgot the last move. Wow, people, wait, people run guillotine on him? Wait, what? <laughs> for the fun. Yeah, people run guillotine for the fun. Like, it was an old coverage move to, like, deal with, um, Don Dozo. Oh, that is fun. I might do that. Yo, that <laughs> is some chili pepper, dude. <laughs> that is chili. Guillotine, Focus Band, King Gambit. <laughs> They're not. They're not ready, dude. <laughs> oh my god. 
the uh, the assault. Okay, so yeah, pretty much everybody runs assault vest. Yeah, assault vest, terror flying, or terror fire is generally like the common ones. Terror flying. Uh, yeah, let me let me actually find the original team. Hey, hey, fun fact: if you scroll down enough on that page, you'll find my team. Really? Yep. So if you just Wait. keep scrolling down until we see, yeah, see there you go. As boy, oh, you went past it. There you go. Matt Anderson oh. down there. Oh, you. <laughs> That's cool. Top six. That's so sick. <laughs> Why well, you, you use Sandy Shocks? Uh, the Sandy Shocks is spa for a team. It's fun, but it's gimmicky. Is it? Basically, the the idea of it is that um, Sandy Shocks is the fastest hip, uh, fastest gravity user. And so you use it along, alongside speed boost to spar throw and just uh, gravity hypnosis put everything to sleep. Oh. And hey, man, with speed boost on a spar throw, you're just constantly outspeeding everything. Could I terrify Gastrodon here? Yes. Sweet. And then I want to earth power Ryan, with iron can... hands. Ryan, yeah. you could do anything you want, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Perhaps I could support dad out of the outfield. <laughs> the outfield. <laughs> I don't know why we're at a baseball game, but let's go with it. <laughs> well, look, because I went Terra Fire because I still want to try and bait a water move from the Iron Bundle, even though I kind of feel like he's not going to click it. Yeah, he freeze drove, freeze dried instead. Yeah. Yeah, they're always going to do that. The amount of monkey brain you will see on ladder mm -hmm. of. Unga Bunga, I have bundle. I go freeze dry into Gastrodon. Oh no, it's Terra Fire. Unga Bunga. <laughs> Unga Bunga. Uh, I could probably right, uh, We could just recover. Yeah. Because yeah. I want damage on the, the hands this time. And now he's forced to just Icy Wind. Dude, he lowered my speed on my Gastrodon. He didn't lower your speed because your Covert Cloak. I didn't even lower my speed. <laughs> Damn it, my jump didn't even land. <laughs> <laughs> I know! <laughs> I'm gonna be like, what am I gonna do? Because Gashadon's already so slow, but it didn't even lower it. <sighs> yep. Oh, this thing is broken. What if I just brought six Gastrodons to the tournament? You would not be allowed to enter. Why? Because you're not <laughs> species species clause. No, no, no. What if I thing? do East form and West form? Are those separate species? They are no. They have the same dex number. <laughs> Um, Alright, so what's that King Gambit set that, uh, on that one, uh, Frank? Uh, right here. Cut okay. So yeah, it's the Terra Fire, Terra Blast. Um, yeah. If you want to add a, you want to add a bit of spice, swap out Kowtow Cleave for Assurance. Assurance. Yep. Part so Assurance target is damaged. So if you if you attack, you like say you want to attack something, like use a spread move like Eruption or something. Uh -huh. um, if that attacks before King Gambit, then King Gambit uses Assurance and it does double damage. Oh, okay. So you can, um, you can pair that alongside like Great Tusk, where like you fire off a Rock Slide, it hits both of them, and then Assurance will do double damage. Or Flutter Main, Dazzling Gleam, Assurance will do double damage. Yeah, okay, I like that, yeah. Okay, yeah, let's try that. I bring six Gastrodons named other Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know what this is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, it, I feel like won't. that'll get by. <laughs> and so you got to make sure the team's listed as a VGC uh, Series 2 team. Yeah, oh, so yeah, I've got a format there. there <laughs> so I go. got both my screens up. I, I feel like all I can really do with Grim now is Spirit Break. Uh, hang on, let me go back to yours. Like, um... No, you can set, uh, set, uh, what's it called, Misty Terrain as well. Do they even have a Dragon type? Because that'll, that'll stop, no, not for that, but it'll stop Freeze Dry from freezing you. Ah. Do I want it with Power or Muddy Water? So we can... Oh, actually, I want it with Power. Uh, I think we recover. Oh, I was going to say we recover. <laughs> oh. That's fine. I guess, well, maybe he wouldn't Wide Guard because Muddy Water would go in on a Water type. And Icy Wind again. <laughs> Bonk. Frank's fighting a Grievered. 
I feel like I'm oh, on the sand rush. Team. Yeah, the sand rush. The thing is, you can abuse that by having Jeremy in the back. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, I do like King Gambit, maybe. <laughs> exactly, mate. <laughs> um, maybe great. I don't, no, I don't think King. I don't think you want King Gambit here. Um, I think we lead Tusk. Uh, I think Tusk Lilligan, and then in the back we have Torkoal, and last one. Honestly, could go either Dragonite or King Gambit in the back. Up to you, really. Uh, I'll try Gambit. Yep. <laughs> There's right, the two leads. Talon, Talon Bundle. Okay. Interesting. Um. So I think here we Terra Steel Rock Slide. Yeah. And then, and then I guess pr protect. just protect. Yeah, just protect. Oh, it didn't let me. Rec it just tried to fake out the covert cloak. Matt, what wh who are we fighting here? Yep. What are we doing here? You're fighting you're fighting ultra tier, like ultra bolt tier. <laughs> <laughs> also, this is them rank rank seven plays. Rank seven plays. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a such a heavy insult. It really um is. I think I think I gotta switch Jeremy in here, right? For sure. Well, Sorry? No. Yeah, now we switch in Jeremy. Yeah, we switch in Jeremy and do Sleep Powder the, um... Uh, which one? Uh, I think we Sleep Powder the bundle. Oh, you see, yeah, I, bundle I, always, just protected. I always forget, so if Jeremy switches in instead of the drought, I'll have the chlorophyll on that, like, that turn, this turn, right? Yeah, yeah. Because of, yeah. ever since Gen 8, it's now dynamic speed changes uh, in turn when it comes to stuff like that. GG, Cyrus. Yeah. So I think, yeah, we sleep, we sleep powder the bundle. Yeah, 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 because I'm used to, I mean, God, I haven't, I haven't done this in so long. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God, you still have speed. He's bad with the cork drive. Yeah, that's like max speed bundle. Damn, right. okay. um, interesting. So now, now we can just um, eruption and what's it called? After you. Yeah. Because Titar also doesn't have sand to boost its special defense anymore. Yeah, yeah. Rock slide, okay. That's fine. Yep. But now we can bring in Tusk because he's Terra flying. And yeah, he I'll now. Because he's down to his last two mon. Oh, that's why he outspeed. He has Tailwind up. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I think we can protect here and just rock slide. Yeah, okay. You think they're gonna lead in DD Screamtail? Matt, right, I think I'm right. looking at some ladder jank here. No, that is oh. a definitely ladder jank. That is ladder jank in the <laughs> finest form. No, 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 I think we might be fighting a rank six team here, dude. <laughs> I mean, okay, but look out, look out for NDD armories though. That shit's crazy. That is yeah, true. DD armor is big. But that being said, there is a very more likely chance he may go DD Zorok disguised as Armor Rouge. Mm. Yeah, you also got to get in the head of the jank, you know? Yeah. So I think we uh, Grimmsnarl. <laughs> I think we Grimmsnarl Dragonite here. Uh, and then in the back, we Arcanine and. I think can. Maybe, maybe Gastro, actually. Gastro I think Gastro. Gastro will be good for the... Because Hands, like, he has three psychic types and two, like, sorry, four psychic types and two fairy types. You do not want a fighting type there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good God. No, so Frank, one of my first teams in this, I guess it was Matt's team, was doing Indeedy with Hatterene. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. That's Man hit cool. like a truck. Um Was it was it like a trick room team? It was. Trick yeah. room follow me. It was like trick room. Yeah. Trick room sets up and then uh what's it called? had up Oliver in the back for that one. Mm -hmm. Uh so we light screen here hundred yeah. percent. Um and then we terra flying terra blast the what's it called? The armorage slot. Wait, really? Uh, actually, no, we do it into the, uh, yeah. Because yeah. I think it'll Oko the Glade. Oh, shit. 
Yeah, I was thinking it might be, um, that might be a Zorok. Oh. Oh. Well, I feel like it'll still unco Zorok. Isn't Zorok really frail? Yeah, but he could protect. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking he was going to protect in Trick Room. Spirit Break, Arm, Tear, Flying, Valiant. See, Grim, I, like, at least will wait until turn three to start Spirit Breaking things. Usually, like, it's really not an option. Yeah, you always, you always, you always want the screens more than anything. Like, every okay, once he didn't in a protect, while, well, that's good. Yeah, every once in a while, I'll go damage with, like, the Spirit Break. Like, oh, oh you turn. Like a specific oh, game. no! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> it's the weak armor set with weakness policy. <laughs> oh I hate this. This is why you. This is why DD armor is the ladder hero. <laughs> so wait, I'm about to find you, out. Because you right? turn. Because he's gonna hard swap in now. I'm no, about to learn. <laughs> no, he's he's about to bring in DD now. Yeah. Uh, which sets psychic terrain, and now he has weakness policy boosted uh, expanding force he in terrain, me, and so he's I, plus two. I won't even be able to touch it if you follow these. Yep. Oh god. There's the expanding force. It doesn't affect Grim Snarl, but this is gonna hurt. We're thick. <laughs> we are thick! <laughs> I say this. Matt, we yeah, I say that. this is gonna hurt. <laughs> yeah, but keep in mind, that was with multi-scale as well. Oh, fair. Alright, so now, this turn, we Misty Terrain. Gotcha, because we want the terrain control again, and then I feel like just going... Yep. And then ter Terra Blast into the Armor Rouge slot, and then if you follow me, he's a little way. Then we'll still, then we kill. still kill the DD. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait till y'all learn about Incineroar. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> wait, so. Get out, Incineroar. Is Incineroar like the same bullshit Gen 8, or did he come with new strats? <laughs> uh, no, but the thing is, Incineroar isn't in the game yet. Yet. Yet is the key word, yes. Oh, oh, they double protect. Okay, so he just double protects. I think they're just like, yeah, scouting what I'm going to do. Or... Oh, wait, oh, no, I'm going to stall out my... Yeah. So he's probably going to swap out the DD this time. Yeah, because he's going to want that... That's good, control. because we get... we get. It's good because we now get free Terra Blast into uh, Armor Ridge again. Yeah. Um... And we just spirit break as well. Uh, so double into the armor rouge with like spirit break terror blast. We could reflect because um, there's a good chance he may. No, no need to reflect on this turn because um, he's got no physical attackers on this uh, field, and what's it called? Um, he has no way to oko you this turn. Ooh. So follow me. The terror terror blast should kill the DD here. I and love then, this dragon yeah, so terror blast. He just takes it's his. so thick. <laughs> yep. So there's that dead, and now the spirit break goes into the armor rouge, gets the neck once per attack as well. Nice. <laughs> Almost. That was a crit. <laughs> that wasn't even a crit. That's just natural grim style attack. <laughs> and because he was weak armor, he was neck one defense. So he is very much in E speed range now. Hey freak, how you doing? And because he can't. Because you can't set terrain, you're fine to just e-speed. Nice. I uh, I'm I'm doing good, I think. Um. All right. So what hit the field here? Got uh, Gluttermain, Gleet. Roaring Moon. Oh, unless. All right. Uh, we we reflect this turn and e-speed the um, armor edge. Oh yeah, because the weak armor boosts Actually... speed. So like, we need to go for priority. Uh, in, I... Yeah, uh, in hindsight, I really should have expected that. We can just see speed next turn. No, because he's probably going to kill the Dragonite with, um, what's it called, Valiant this turn. Is he? And we've got to reflect up. Maybe we could take it. It depends on if he's physical or special. Ooh, oh, he's dumb. Okay. Hey, he well, was assessing easy. the threat. We were getting them screens, dude. Yo, I mean, the screens don't mean shit all. Who do, who do we have in the back? Oh, bring in Arcanine. Arcanine can ease me. Let's get it. Logan, I like the new profile picture, dude. I know that's Pikachu, but what the fuck is he holding? 
Alright, so this time, already? yeah, e, e speed into the armorage with Arcanine, and then we can Terra Blast the uh, other slot. Yep. <laughs> we good. That way it forces the switch into Zoro or Double Protect in this case. crazy. Hey, freak. Uh, but any which way, we should live, uh, whatever yeah. this thing throws. What are you doing? Oh, this is a miserable battle. God. Oh, he's, he's got a tailwind up. That's just yeah, crazy. that's that's just like goodmods.com pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Alright, let's see. He's got... So we can definitely after you here, yeah. Oh, he tried to protect. Spoiler. And he just sent the Zorark in raw. Uh... Yeah, hey, yeah, he kinda had to. <laughs> Alright, and you, you're good to just, um... Protect? Yeah, e-speed the, what's it called, armor reach again. Uh, I don't know, it's terrible. <coughs> yeah. GG's. <laughs> and battles cancelled, there you go. Good game, good game. Brian, we should uh we should battle. Yeah? Like like no like no mad help, just like raw dog it. Dude, let's oh, do yeah. it. <laughs> that, that's that's what I was gonna say. You guys battle and then I'll take notes for like each turn. I love that. Um and yeah, kind of that'd like be... point out some stuff where I can. Yeah, I that'd think... be that'd be good. Do you wanna do you wanna do it on showdown or do you wanna do it on the actual I mean I could I could just boot up the rental team. Can we battle with If you do it in game yeah, you can battle with rental teams in game, but you just can't on the day of the tournament. Okay, okay, let's do it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. After after this, I'll go ahead. I'll boot up my switch. Sweet. Um, I think that's the perfect time. I think I just hit Master Ball. Yeah. Hey, we did it, baby. That's we sweet. back. <laughs> we back like we never left. Back in the game. <laughs> oh, I missed. Oh, that's rough. Come on. Come on. Alright, what does he have potentially in the back? Um, we <coughs> we can just earthquake, lock him to earthquake here. Yeah. Uh, maybe Great Tusk might. Ah, uh, does he have? What is, is a tail? It, de still it depends on. No, Tailwind's not up. So you should outspeed with Scarf. The big question is, what's his last mon? Yeah. Ah, oh, Moongus takes it. Come on. Ah. Yeah. Now let's see what's the last one. Hands. Hands. We may still we may still have this. If you wake up quick, I we think have you to got wake this. Yo, belly trunks. Oh, we Stop. we may not we may not have this. No. no, no what if he wakes up this turn? Because he has speeds. He has speeds. You will not that, Oko heads. He, it's not perfected. That's that's crazy. This, just, this motherfucker yeah. had citrus berry and then pollen puff. <laughs> Oh, and yeah, he's Terra Grass. <laughs> oh, yeah. no, no, bad. dude. That was just yeah, disrespectful. No, you were not winning. You were not winning that. There. I felt that. I, I just can't believe he did me like yeah. that. That's crazy. Uh, honestly, <laughs> do you want to like unsign up for the tournament right now? We we don't have to go. No, you guys will be fine. As I said, ladder jank. <laughs> also, I want to get you like when you guys do this best of three, do an open team sheet as well, just so you can get some experience with it. Okay, bet, bet. Yo, but yeah, Dan, thank you for the five, dude. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Oof. Okay, I'm I'm booting up I'm booting up my switch. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think actually, yeah, my screenshot's already in the, the group chat. Yeah, I already put the group chat for Ryan's team. Um, and then Frank, you've just got the rental, right? In game. Yeah. Okay, let me pull up that. Where is it? Uh, Vancouver. Holy shit, yo, two super chests. Thank you, Carrie. Appreciate it. Congratulations, Ron. You got this with Frank too, my friend. Hey, I love the positivity. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Alright. Alright, let's run this, Ryan. Um uh, Yeah, I think I think, uh, I think uh, we can, so we can, it. Let's see. Um Okay. <laughs> Alright, there we go. I've got both of the teams listed there, so just open each other's team sheets. Got it right here. And then you guys will be fine. Right, sweet. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Um, Yo, cool. Man. Yeah, and then I'll... Let me reshare my screen, and then I'll... I'll we could both deafen and um, okay. make it happen. 
You don't even need to. You don't even need to death them, honestly. Like, because at the tournament, obviously, you're going to be talking, and like, your opponent's going to be sat right in front of you, anyways. Wait, I can shit talk. Uh, yeah, you can shit talk. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I, I was gonna. Like, I, was gonna say, uh, I yeah, wouldn't suggest uh, it, but you can. <laughs> right, then we got to get into the heads, Frank. Fuck. We got, we got to write down some one-liners. <laughs> Ryan's gonna get decked. <laughs> That's the title uh, of my video. See the, 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 I started see a the bar one fight at Pokemon Regionals. <laughs> so the, the one liners is just this probably kills. <laughs> yeah. This probably kills. Okay, I'll uh so Matt, I'll just Actually do you do you do I even have to, have to show my screen? I guess not, right? I'll just I mean, make you sure don't have to. I can yeah, as long as like Ryan doesn't start fucking with the screen, we'll be fine. Okay, okay. Okay, I'll just I'll just I'll just make sure I'm not looking at Ryan's screen, obviously. Okay, cool. Ooh, so you yeah. did run Kowtow Cleave on that gambit. That's just well, the this is just the what's it called? The um the rental. Oh, okay, gotcha, Yeah, gotcha. like this 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 may or may not I mean I'm I'm gonna probably make tweaks to There'll be some yeah. There'll be some tweaks to this, but this is like the rental team. Gotcha. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, Poke Portal, let's see. Are we even friends on here? <laughs> Um, I, I can't even remember the last time I used my Switch. I might be friends with your uh, other Switch if I'm being honest. I mean, you, you don't need you don't need to be friends on there to be able to battle. Really? Yeah. Okay. You yeah, just yeah, go just... to yeah. You just you just go link battle and enter the same link code, and just make sure that no one on stream snipes it. All right, uh, Ryan. The code is uh, don't tell chat. All right, Wait. chat. Uh, cover your ears. <laughs> We're going by honor cover system here, guys. <laughs> We're going by honor system. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, ready? The, the code is 536 Oh my god. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, no, never mind, never mind. Let's do something easier. Oh, no, 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 we got this, we got this. <laughs> no, 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 no I'm, I'm, I forgot. Yeah, I, hold on. I, I, will, I will put a code in the chat. Uh, here, use that as your link code, just those four numbers. And then I'll read it out loud so chat can hear. Oh, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's already done because I input matter. it for the most Ryan's got on screen. <laughs> all right, okay. All right, guys, it's seven five. One. You know, how about we all do the battle, the ice? <laughs> Everyone's invited. Let's get, every uh, let's get everybody involved. Let's bring the whole family oh, cheaper man. by the dozen, you know? <laughs> cheaper by the dozen. All right, Ryan, I'm searching. All right, me too, me too. Prepare to lose. Ooh. All right, Brandon has been found. Let's see. Let me know if you like my pick. All right, there we go. <laughs> Wait, is that your asshole? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Are you for real? I might get banned at this tournament, Frank. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, you, Ryan, you can't bring that. <laughs> you haven't even seen my trader card. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> nah, dude. You just... I think you won before the battle even started. <laughs> I'm going for the KO before the battle starts, all right? <laughs> You know what's so crazy? I had the same idea. I ended up, I ended up changing my, um, like my my other picture. You'll see. It's just unfortunate, like. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Good luck. Have fun, right, bro? They get you, Frank. Um. Hey, Matt. What do we think for a okay. lead? <laughs> Wait, you can't just do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm I, joking. I'm joking. I, 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 <laughs> all right. Let's, oh let's, let's, let's stay. Let's stay focused. Let's stay focused. Um, all right. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like actually, really try to think this through. Um, um, should I stop sharing screens? By the way, or is it fine? No, well, no, so, keep uh, sharing screens just because I need to see so I can take down notes. Oh, uh, gotcha. Hmm. Everyone's gonna have to peak entertainment here. <laughs> Yeah, sorry guys, we're going focus mode. Uh... <clears throat> Chat, who do you think's gonna win? <laughs> okay, yeah, pl place your votes. Place your bets. Place your bets, here we go. A real clash of titans. <laughs> 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 Oh my god! <laughs> you like it? <laughs> I, I thought it really it emphasized the confidence. It really does. Trader card asserts dominance more than anything else. <laughs> yeah. 
So yeah, Matt, you think they should uh, get changed before the event or? Uh... Um, I, I don't know if that's the best. Probably. <laughs> Pro probably, I would suggest changing. Um, like you wouldn't have to worry about them being on screen on stream because they don't show the like pre-battle stuff on stream. I thought um, they did actually. But it's one of those things where you know, no, not anymore. Oh, uh, they geez. used to, but ever, they don't anymore now. Ever since the change to the Switch. <sighs> interesting, interesting. Hmm. Click muddy water. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think you I'm are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Matt. Can, can I say shit like that at the tournament? If I see their, <laughs> like, if I see their open team sheet, I can literally look a dude in the eye and just be like, "Tara, Tara, oh, Tara yeah. you won't do it." <laughs> <laughs> Light screen. Oh, okay, yeah. fuck it out. That's fine. I'd, I'd much rather you light screen. Ooh. See, but. But now your elephant has no defenses, Frank. By the way, so yeah, he, he yeah, said he to do it, up. so I did it. Like, I... I yeah. He challenged oh, me and had, had to rise action. the occasion. Oh. You're right, you're right. <laughs> Cannot have you getting up double screens. <laughs> God damn it. I'm one mod down. I, I need to actually, like, not be bullshitting. Um... I can hear Matt judging us. I know. I'm just <laughs> typing. I'm just typing out at the moment. It's actually a really good, really good play. Okay. Okay. Arcanine. Yeah, Arcanine. Arcanine does numbers. Fight if that happens at the event. Like, uh, you're not allowed to bring wireless controllers for the event. Yeah, everything has to be wired. Oh really? Oh my! I ran yeah. out of time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ran out of time. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. It's fine. Or even Wolfie gets timer stalled sometimes. <laughs> I was just—I was so just distracted. Oh, actually, you. Mm, okay, hang on. We might we might still be in this. Okay, that that was oh! not a wow. I'll have you know I was oh! this close, and I mean this close from clicking protect on Gastro. <laughs> but I was like, ah, he's probably not gonna go for Gastro. If he does, he won't kill. But the fucking crit, I think that mattered. I'm not gonna lie, letting the timer decide actually was a sick play. <laughs> yeah, man, you didn't even choose that. That wasn't you even your like discretion. That. <laughs> So fun, so fun fact. No, no, challenge um, on the play. That wasn't, that wasn't even legal. <laughs> he didn't even choose If that you one. time out, so if you time out, what happens is that the game auto selects the move in the first move slot. Yeah. Okay, that's crazy. Cool. Um... At least he can't protect the Torkoal twice. He'd never. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Ooh, he swapped. Yeah, I mean, he can't... Yeah. <laughs> so, as a little gentleman's agreement here... Uh-huh. Can you explain to me what after you does? 
It so, makes it uh, so that immediately after you, uh, like after that mod attacks, whatever you target after you into, that Pokemon will move next. So wait, Lil so, gets about to go first because he hard swapped into it. Well, so Lilligan, Lilligan has chlorophyll, which are, which makes it really, really fast. Mm -hmm. And so if you use after you into a slow Pokemon like Torkoal, then all of a sudden Torkoal is now the second, like it, it goes right after Lilligan. So it outspeeds anything. It, it like brings it up to Lilligan's level. That's why you hard swap the Torkoal because now you can have a free switch into that. E yes, I guess. Oh, but he did it. No, I mean Torkoal can't really. Torkoal can't really do anything here. Miss, miss. Oh, yes. <laughs> that was huge, actually. I don't think we take Moon. Wow, we're thick. We're so thick. Oh, that turn went so much better than how I thought it was going to go. I kind of thought that was GG. Because, like, the water Arcanine with the super fast Grass Lillian, I don't think I deserve this win. That that miss was huge. Hey, it's all right, y'all. That's two out of three. Oh. Yeah, that's what it is on the day as well. Yeah. Jesus. <clears throat> um Was that Ryan, was that with multi scale or not with multi scale? Was that with Holder? <laughs> just want just wondering. That was with <laughs> It does have multi scale, you can check on the team sheet. Alright, okay, cool. Tight, tight, tight. What are you scheming there? Wouldn't you like to know? That's why I asked. <laughs> Gonna lean, gonna lean over to your opponent and be like, hey, what movie are you going for? <laughs> <laughs> hey, gentlemen's agreement. I'll tell gentlemen's you if you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got timer stalled! Wait, 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 oh that's my actually god. Good. That might be good. Yeah, protect that tar Then we take this, you right? See, yeah, we don't take it. No, you do not. Yeah, no, I don't. For what it's worth, though, Dragonite's the one that got timer stalled, so I'm fine with him going down. Because if this kills, which is stab... Oh, but it's in the fucking sun. Oh, it's in yeah, the fucking no, sun. What were they thinking? Yeah, we got bulk. We got bulk. Matt. I mean, the sun's gone now if you want to try again. Yeah, second time to try him, huh? I mean, you, you're not getting the chance to, but if you wanted to maybe try again. Does my dragon take the moon blast? Grace, he's built for bulk! All right, so in the notes, Matt, I think the first thing was don't get timer stalled, huh? That was a uh, thing for both of you. Um... <laughs> Next time, don't let's, let that right, happen. Man, uh, let's let's run let's run all three games. All right, we'll... then, okay, so I, I've got the game one notes there in chat. Or, yeah, um, yeah, Frank. Let's so wait to read in those. the Discord here. Let's, let's wait to read those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's run let's run them all and then we'll. Yeah, we'll do it. Do, do, do. Uh, but okay, now I can look out for for things like the chlorophyll speed strat. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so you think there's more where that came from. How did you even take this picture? <laughs> <laughs> I just like you. Oh, okay. I think I want to lead these guys this time.
Gotcha, gotcha. Thank you, Fire Farmer. <laughs> oh. Hey, Bryce, how you doing, my dude? I like those emojis. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't like your Arcanine. <laughs> I don't like your fucking Dragonite. Well, I don't know. I just picked one. Fair. It's valid. Now, if I'm being honest, though, you could do the same leads, and I'd probably get fucked. Oh, you did it! No. Mm. Get the attack boost. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this. Yeah, I see you get. No, but this is what. <laughs> see? What? And I oh, got the attack boost. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, God. That's that's crazy. Call that the mirror herb strat. 23. That That is, that is what that mirror herb arcanine is for. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I probably should have noticed that sooner. <laughs> Damn. Okay, cool. Um. You don't know me. Got your whole you don't know what I'm here, dude. <laughs> I'll show you did know. <laughs> oh, you would do that. <laughs> oh, you would do that. Damn, maybe mm -hmm. I should have reflected. Damn it, you Hope did power jump. <laughs> Hope this kills. Let's go. Had to assess the threat there. Matt, where did it all go wrong? Shit! Um, but okay. Interesting. <clears throat> Are you going terror? You're going terror flying right now? Terror flying right now. Moonblast my dragon Valid. again. I dare you. Your choice on the flutter main. I, I, cho you're fucking power gemming. You have to fuck me. <laughs> The open yeah, deck sheet's right there! Like, I yeah, knew! Yeah. What's up, how you doing? Ah, but we're thick. <laughs> oh! You ate that with the multi-scale. Yeah, I saw that coming. Alright, why didn't that, that do shit? Mile away. Why didn't that do shit? I mean, King Game is kind of bulky. Oh, you have Ass Vest. That's also on the open team sheet. I need... Uh... Well, that's only for special attacks. Um Now I'm just kind of scouting damage. Instead of doing this top, the might be just a bit more. It did about the same, actually. <clears throat> Interesting. <clears throat>
we took it. Oh wow. Damn. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Gastron's kinda scary. Wait. That thing could just been O code this entire fucking time. Yeah, yeah. Well, Farman has like no defenses. God, fuck you. See, are oh, really nice dodge, nice dodge, calculated dodge. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 come out of silence. Say that was bullshit. Just, just validate me, <laughs> Matt. Matt. It was. Uh, it was. Un it was unfortunate. Thank you. That's on record. <laughs> Notice how he didn't say it was bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pull that shit out uh, of it. <laughs> You're gonna call Matt mid battle and be like, "Come on, Matt, validate me." <laughs> validate that me. was fucking bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> that was bullshit. Uh, that's funny. Um, click recover. Stop it. <laughs> Get out of my head, Frank. <laughs> Earth power. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that stresses me out more. Okay, we both east speeded, so I feel bad. I'm less bad about that. Did we speed tire or we built differently? Uh, built different. I don't know. Oh, built different. <laughs> I'm so mad. Bro, you, yeah, you, you had to, you had to get that King Gambit out of there earlier. Yeah, but also the Flutterman was there, power gemming me to death. Matt, can we do a fourth game or a third game? I mean, if you want to do a third game, go for it. Just, just for my own sake. Uh, on the day you won't be able to. On the day you won't be able to. But yeah. What if I ask nicely? And it was like, hey, rep, that was bullshit. Yeah, I'm gonna get there. Bullshit clause, we have to. GG. Bullshit clause. Like, Good game. Well, we could we could run it back again. Yeah. No, I think we should run it back. I say, do you, do you, I, do you I wanna read the notes now or? Frankly, yeah, frankly, yeah, let's. So there was, was, all right, there was quite a lot that was preventable. Yeah. Um, uh. So overall, overall. Um, so game, we'll go for game one to start with. Um, so game one uh, really should have gone for what's it called? Reflect instead of the uh, light screen and Earth Power the Torkoal. Because um, Earth Power and the Torkoal, you're guaranteed to get the kill and you outspeed. Mm -hmm. um, that was the turn that I muddy water and sad and it was in the sun, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah muddy water in the sun. Yeah. Yeah, so you basically don't give in to peer pressure there. Uh, yeah. yeah, that was the turn Fergus going, go for yeah. muddy water. Like, I know this turn you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but yeah. Uh, yeah, Frank doubling in onto the Grim Snarl before it could set both screens. Pretty much perfect play. Um, Arcanine swap in when Grim went down was good. Uh, good shout. Turn two, don't fucking tear your Arcanine <laughs> in that situation. You know, yeah, uh, you using water made it like, a lot the, easier. The, yeah. the tusk was already Terra Steel. Um, oh, because then and I it was one of those resisted the headlong rush. Sorry? I would have resisted the headlong rush, right? No, you, you wouldn't have resisted the headlong rush. Uh, but it was one of those things where he had to deal with... Like, the Gastrodon was more of a threat than the Arcanine was. Um, so he dumped, and as such, he t targeted in, well, he timed out, but, um, it ended up targeting into the Gastrodon. Um, okay, okay. Which ultimately, targeting the Gastrodon was the good play there. Um, and then he protected the Torkoal, so you should have flare blitzed into the Tusk to try and take it out. Mm -hmm. Um, ultimately, yeah. you know, it would have been better if the Torkoal was dead from the previous turn, Earth powering into it. Would have been um, but it's one of those things. Yeah, one of those things in which way. Um, and yeah, as I said, with the Frank, uh, timeout, uh, timeout was rough, but it played out well in the end. Um, turn, turn three, I don't, I don't remember the play that was made, um, but I've got a list here, Ryan made the good play. Um, what's it called? Uh, Tusk was obviously locked in to a uh, headlong, so did the best it could just attacking into the Garchomp, because you can't attack into the Dragonite. Um, I did yeah. think switching in Lilligant was a bit risky, but it played out in the end. 
Um, yeah, turn four, uh, both of you made the correct plays. The Leaf Storm miss was pretty rough, but didn't matter in the end. That was uh, so obviously Leaf Storm miss. Yeah, Leaf Storm miss would have just killed the um, what's it called, the uh, Arcanine off the get go. Yeah, um, that's that's why I was so glad you were water because I knew Lilligan could handle it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, turn five. Uh, what's it called? You um, the timeout again. Uh, but even though you timed out, you are already locked in with Arcanine. The um, I think it was you Terra blasted into the you Terra blasted into the Torkoal instead of like while Sun was up. Yeah. Really should have just flare blitzed into the Fluttermane because that would have one shot. Yeah. Um, like when sun when sun's up, like you can't really use water moves that well. Oh. Um, gotcha, gotcha. And so it was one of those things where you, you still had Dragonite up at the time as well. And Dragonite, like if you really want to damage onto the um, what's it called, the Torkoal, could have just e speeded into the Torkoal that turn. Uh, obviously, it went down to the Flood Main. Flood Main. One thing, like even as bulky as the Dragonite is. Proto special attack boost and choice specs will two hit KO as you saw there. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, um, okay. Now, now obviously that was without terror because um, you had you'd already terrored your Arcanine. Mm -hmm. That was another thing. If you hadn't terrored your Arcanine, you could have terrored the Dragonite. You would have taken two hits. Um, gotcha. But over, like yeah, if you'd flare blitzed into the Fluttermane, that would have gone down, and you could have beaten the Torkoal in the end. Um, and with Frank uh, on that turn, because you had the momentum there, Frank, uh, you could, like, you were definitely killing the, um, what's it called? The uh, Dragonite that turn. Oh, Dragonite. Yeah, you were definitely killing the Dragonite because he wasn't going to be able to outspeed you and kill you anyways. Um, so it was one of those things where I thought you could have gone a bit more on the offense, um, knowing that... Okay. The f knowing that Torkoal lives whatever hit is sent out, uh, and if he flare blitzes into the um, Flutter main, like should have, he's going to take a lot of recoil and Earth Power would have finished it. You could have locked up the game there, but you still won in the end. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. Uh, okay, so that was cool. game one. In, yeah, that was game yeah. one in a nutshell. Um, game two, Ryan, perfect lead adjustment um, with the, like, picking the Mons at the very least. Um, uh, so Frank's lead adjustment could have, like, in any other situation against any other Arcanine, would have been the best play as well. It just so happens that my Arcanine, specifically because I faced that exact King Gambit too many times at OCIC, I made yeah. it specifically to deal with that King Gambit. Um, hence the Mirror yeah. Herb, Terra Water. Mm. But this is where things change. Turn one, um, oh, if you see that, the like, there. yeah. Frank, perfect play. Identifying that the Arcanine was the problem at plus two, you needed that dead before it could do anything. Yeah. Frank, that's no, right, Ryan. You really needed to reflect there instead. Mm -hmm. Plus one King Gambit is always going to hit much harder than a Flood of Bane. Yeah. Um, My idea was light screen uh, to protect myself from the, the Flutter Main, and then I was trying to Oko that King Gambit turn one, which didn't happen. Yeah, which it's one of those things where once again, if you look at the team sheet, mm -hmm. you see the Terra Fire. If you see a King Gambit, it's you know facing down a plus two Arcanine. It's gonna Terra Fire to resist the Flare Blitz. Mm -hmm. So that's what that's the one time where you proactively Terra Water your Arcanine and go for the Terra Blast into it. Good to know. Yeah, that would have been. Yeah, that would have that would have been. Well, it's not going to be the rest to counter this King gave it specifically. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's why you run. Yeah, if you reflect, sucker punch isn't doing much more than like thirty percent. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the power gem would have done more than what it would have, but it's one of those things where um, I feel like you had a better chance of surviving if you'd reflected instead of um, light screen. Yeah. Because it does have, I believe this Arcanine is more specially bulky than physically bulky, because physically it relies on Intimidate. Um, hence, we put more investment into special bulk. Um, yeah. But either which way, yeah, Frank Frank had like the perfect turn one play. Um, turn two, one, you even said it yourself, 
Uh, Ryan, you should have read the team sheet and noticed the choice lock uh, with power gem. Um, yeah. And so if you if you targeted down the uh, flutter main, would have been much better. Mm. Um, Frank, that was this was where my big like gripe with how you played t- uh, game two was. Once Grimstyle got its first screen up, you should not have bothered trying to kill it. Um, Just because if you kill it, before, worried about it, no, because it was one of those things. Especially when you have King Gambit on the field, Grimstyle cannot touch Gr- King Gambit at all. Like yeah. So your best bet there was just to keep doubling into the other slot and just give King Gambit the all my friends are dead syndrome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I, I, I realized, I think, I I mean, I looked at the team sheet, but I don't, I don't think it fully clicked with me that, he, I mean, he has no way to do damage. Yeah, well, or, it's I not mean, even I mean, so much a matter of doing damage. It's one of those things, even if he goes for Spirit Break, his Spirit Break always lowers special attack, which will give you another plus two Defiant buff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think it really like, cannot touch you. Assess the Grim Snarl, it's gonna keep setting up screens. I don't I don't know what I was thinking. I think Well cause well cause was that was that the screen or was that the, the turn you set up the reflect? Probably. The yeah, that was the turn you put the reflect up. Mm. Yeah, so I, I guess I probably should have I should have realized. If you doubled I mean, the, yeah, if you doubled the Dragonite, Dragonite would have died. Yeah. Um, and then from there would have been a uh what's it called 2v4 you would have had much more momentum overall um, yeah yeah but yeah that, uh, that, make, that makes sense yeah it's like why why target a pokemon that you know it's gonna get the screen up anyway like it doesn't matter yeah uh and then yeah uh turn three uh right as much as i said should have targeted down the flutter main from the get-go right the fact that you doubled down going into the uh, king gambit was a good play um because it's one of those things where it's like if you're going to like if you try and like half ass both of them, mm. you're not going to kill anything. If you double down a bit, low, we're definitely trying to take out this slot. Yeah. You've got a much better chance overall than being like, oh fuck, I should have done this last turn and trying to make the adjustment. Mm. Um, so definitely, you can say that was good play there. Um, and then Frank, same thing. You just kept trying to take down the Grim Snarl instead of the Dragonite, um, which was just like one of those things where could have like yeah you took down the dragonite that turn but you could have had to take it down a turn earlier um and the king yeah. gambit wasn't and, like the grim star was doing nothing overall um yeah yeah turn four muddy water mist was rough like that really like mattered quite a lot thanks um i did as i didn't want to say anything at the time obviously but yeah it was it was a rough miss um because other than like you'd made the correct play overall that turn um, and well, yeah, Frank, mean, technically now I can think about it. Double... Like next time I might want an Earth Power instead of Muddy Water. Yeah, that was something I considered, but Muddy Water was just safer to cover the fact that if Frank had made the correct play, which was that turn, you like like Frank doubled into the Dragonite, but didn't suck a punch, and that was the problem. Was that if you'd sucker punched as well, yeah. it would have died um, before you took like before it took out the Flutter main yeah um, i don't i don't remember exactly why i didn't yeah but and and yeah because if you yeah sucker punch it would have taken it out beforehand flutter would have survived would have been able to like in a much better position overall yeah. um uh turn five came down to the e-speed speed tiers um that's just because once again the dragonite that ryan has it uh being my one is just much bulkier and is meant not meant to speed creep much outside of tailwind um whereas i'm pretty sure the one that frank scott has much more speed investment um yeah so do you uh do you have the exact evs there uh on hand frank um yeah it's oh wait oh, okay it's 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 a uh, 68 speed yeah, so we only have 28 speed on mm. our Dragonite. Um, I e-speeded it as it. well, so I just assumed that yeah. e-speed time. Yeah, you made, the, you made the correct play, and it's one of those things where if it was a slower Dragonite, like more bulky one, mm-hmm. it would have played out in the end. Um, it's just unfortunate with the speed tiers, but yeah, both of you guys played the end game correctly. That's good. It's oh, a good game. So overall, Dude, GG's. Yeah, overall, it, was very, it very much came down to more of um, identifying 
what is like essentially it's identifying like what your win con is mm. um so yeah. in a situ like in a situation like um if i look at the t if i bring up the teams again side by side um so for frank the win con really is how do i enable um like my sweepers to nuke the rest of the bonds because Lilicole can break through the team quite easily, but there is a lot of priority on my team as well, which can just take out the Lilligant before it can really do anything. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of like damage mitigation. So it's like realistically, the Flutter main was the big MVP in the set there, um, as well as just King Gambit as well. But King Gambit was a, it had risk because of the. Um, like purely because of the uh what's it called the mirror herb uh but it paid off in the end yeah and then, but yeah the, the mirror was was really crazy yeah like you won't see mirror herb arcanine at all uh, if you do it'd be very fringe it'll be pretty much when you face ryan on the street yeah. baby <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then yeah for you ryan um the win con very much is i need to deal with this like these mons and keep my stuff alive so obviously setting your screens correct plays there um i think a lot just of it was, like i didn't what, know how what is the actual threat yeah that especially because i didn't know how easy it was yeah. to oko the flutter main early on yeah or... yeah flutter main for reference um like night unless it's a really bulky one um Terror Blast will always Oko or bring it to like very like one hit range sort of thing. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, like just not like, money water in the sun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That that was just Frank just got in my head, dude. <laughs> yeah, like uh it's one of those things where Torkoal <laughs> like Torkoal overall is not hard to deal with with our team, Frank. Um because set up light screen and snarl, Torkoal does nothing. Like even if it gets yeah. um but even if it's at full HP still, like behind screens and neg one, it is not hitting very hard at all. Um, and so I had one instance where I like at Perth Regionals, the final round I was against a uh, Torkoal. I had Dragonite on the field. It was terra, uh, terra flying, so it didn't resist. Um, and it was, it had multi scale broken. I had light screen up. My opponent, full HP. Terra Fire Torkoal, Choice Specs, In Sun, Eruption oh from God. Full Health, did 30%. That's crazy. 30%? That is Jesus. how... Yeah, as you can see, yeah. And that was, yeah, full HP, no Spatak drops or anything, Terra Fire, and Choice Specs. Jesus. Wow. Like, this Dragonite is very fat, and Torkoal just, yeah, it does, like, it seems scarier than it actually is. Yeah. Uh, also, too, but, I mean, if I don't if I don't have Lilligant there to give me the speed with it, it's like it's he's just kinda, very he's much just kinda, sit he could, there. yeah. And that's the big downside with Torkoal in the current meta is that it's very reliant on either like some like some heavy form of speed control to enable it and get it online. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Can we run it back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's let's run it. Do you want to just do another? best of three yeah let's do it okay yeah because yeah, i feel like i feel like that was a really good yeah i feel like that was a really good round we, we learned a lot no the yeah. time i'm straight definite not dealing with their money water <laughs> bullshit. I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 down, I'm down for that keep it keep it focused keep it sweaty um matt how uh i mean obviously we don't want to we don't want to keep you if you have to leave oh, or anything I, I i don't have anything i'm fine as long as we need Okay, yeah, I mean, we, we could probably wrap up in the next, I don't know, like 30 minutes or so. Um, yeah, this is getting pretty late, but... Yeah, yeah. I was, I was going to say, if you guys want to, we could have, uh, like, instead of just scrimming each other, I could use some different teams and have matches with you guys as well. Just so you can get experience against, like, people who have a bit more experience as well. That would that would be fun. Um, Ryan, what do you want to do? Hey, I go where you go, Frank. <laughs> No, oh, yeah, I'm not for anything. Because after this, I'm I'm just going to bed. So it's like I'm down to stay up however long we are. We're down. Okay, let's uh, let's well let us let us run let's run our stuff back. Okay, okay. No, I want to. I feel I feel like we learned a lot. I want to try some stuff, and then uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, and then we'll we'll see where we go from there. Yeah. 
I'm yeah. deafening. Uh, all right, sounds good. Yeah, I'll, I'll deafen too. Good luck. Have fun, Frank. Uh, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get some rentals. <laughs> Guys, okay, we can't lose fucking twice. <laughs> This is between me and you guys now. We're deafened. We can't discuss. Ned ain't here. Me and Frank aren't going to be bullshitting with each other because I swear to God, like, I... <laughs> he played so damn well that first match, but also, he was like, oh, you woke over muddy water. Like, he taunted me into muddy watering in the sun. We're not going to deal with that this time around. Anyways, welcome Raiders. You guys actually raided at a per perfect time. Literally at a perfect time. Chris, I'm so sorry for missing your text. This is my first stream in the new apartment. What do you think of the new office, my guy? This is literally my first time streaming at the new place. So very, very soon, we'll be getting more stuff off the ground. So like, that's what I need to text Chris about. And I'm sorry for not, but thanks for being patient. How was your stream, dude? <laughs> if you're just tuning in, uh, me and my boy Frank, AKA Asteroid, are in a call right now, but we are muted because we are learning competitive Pokemon. We are gonna be competing at an official Pokemon regionals tournament this weekend in North Carolina. And tonight's stream is all about prepping and learning. And uh, yeah, me and Frank are about to 1v1 right now. And that's why we're muted in this call. And uh, here it is, here it is. <laughs> Thanks for the raid, my guy. Yeah, what were you streaming? How did it go, dude? It looks dope AF, bro. Dude, thank you. I'm proud of the lighting. <laughs> right, flex real quick, I'm good. Get me hyped up. I'm gonna get a kill real quick and then I'll do the flex. All right, Bobby. <laughs> All right, up front though, is anything really stopping me from leading Grim and Arcanine again? Cause if he wants to lead with that Gambit, he could, but now I know how to deal with it. Cause I still feel like this lead actually counters him pretty well. Um, Gastro really countered him as well. And my other mod, I'm actually, Part of me is, it's weird, right? Because these are the same four bonds that I brought in that last battle. The fuck's on this talent flame? Um, I don't know. Looking at talent flame, the the hype thing would be to like pull up a will o wisp on the gambit and like burn it. I kind of want to ask Matt if that's maybe a a strat against King Gambit. But anyways. Here we go. It's the perfect time because Ryan and Frank are about to battle for the first time today. Yeah, it's a warm-up round. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, he won fair and square, but I'm just saying it was bullshit. <laughs> I know that that's the game that we play. We're playing bullshit the video game. That's what Pokemon is. There's RNG involved. You can crit, you can miss, and Muddy Water just doesn't want to cooperate ever. That's how this game works. I get it. <laughs> but I'm still going to call bullshit where bullshit's going to be held. All right? <laughs> Bet we'll do a ramp. You know what's crazy? I haven't even seen Rocky. I know the Rambo reference. I haven't even seen it. Tusker Torkoal start for him. Uh, he actually did Gambit in the main. Um, just leave losing for content at the door. Exactly, exactly. All right, we're we're throwing today on the stream just for fun, but at the tournament, ain't gonna happen. <laughs> um, so up front, up front. Now we've learned we want to reflect against the fucking gambit and not tear a water. I almost tear a water. Matt told us right before this battle that Fluttermane. Nope, Defiant. Bet. I shouldn't have done this. Because if he has the fucking uh, grass type, the Lilligant, Arcanine's going to get countered. Um, But I think that the Water Terror Blast should secure the kill on the main, and then we'll get the Reflect up. Uh, Oh, he terra is he going to tear a fire? Should I have Water Blasted the, the Gambit? I guess perhaps I should have, but we're going to see how it does on the main anyways, because if I can Oko the main next turn, hypothetically, I should be able to just Water Terror Blast kill the Gambit, correct? Uh, we got the Reflect up, which is good against that Gambit. He suckers into the Drax, which is okay because we got the Reflect up. 
Shadow Ball, he doubles in on Arcanine, knowing that it's a threat, but it fucking kills! God damn it! <sighs> Fuck! <laughs> All right, all right, fair enough, fair enough. He rainbowed, guys, he rainbowed. Like, look, look, so now I'm gonna get into this call with Ben. So you're like, all right, so Ryan, I think that you're turn one. You probably shouldn't have gone for that terror water. Ah! <laughs> Matt tells me specifically, like, almost never terror water. Why am I so tempted to water Terran Arcanine? Uh, 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 no. I mean, I'm not gonna send in the Dragonite. <laughs> <laughs> well, he rambled. I know. Um, I can get my light screen up and. And Sarah water the list of Colossus, I guess. Well, I mean, I can muddy water because knowing he can't do anything on the gar on the on the Gastrodon. Muddy Water will hit both. I don't know if it's going to get the kill. He could maybe do like a hard swap predict. Um, and then like get the sun up, but I'll still Muddy Water regardless. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> I'm so mad. I just, I, ugh. Oh, there, now we're light screened up, so this shouldn't be too, oh my God, that did so much. I don't even think the kills. I should have just earth powered in on something. I'm playing like shit. I'm playing like shit. I'm not playing well. No, because you know what he's doing? He's not he's not doing anything with the Grim. That's what he's doing. So I hard swap you now. And then we protect Gastro. That's what that's exactly what he's doing. That's exactly what he's doing. He's ignoring the Grimstall. He's letting me get my screen. We discussed this literally in the call beforehand, but now I'm gonna catch him on it and hard swap the Dragonite. He withdrew the Fluttermane. I mean, I guess that's okay. Espresso. That's his Dragonite, which I hard swapped into mine. Uh, I know that he outspeeds mine, but I'm bulky. And I protect the Gastro because I think that he's going to try to just get the kill with the Countdown Cleave on Gastro. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> so at least I did do a predict and had like a clean switch in with the Dragonite, which we take those. Now I'm scared. He's probably just going to go for the kill on the Gastro again. So I could... Oh, oh, I'm going to do a big hard swap. I'm going to do a big hard swap with the Gastro into Grim. And I could just ignore... Dragonite. If I'm not mistaken, I think the his has Ice Spinner, though. Yeah. Dude, Frank's fucking good. I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm so fucking mad. I think instead of Muddy Watering, I should have just Earth Powered, though. Um, I'm gonna do that. I am just, I'm just a stressed boy. So he sucker punched Dragonite. Damn it, I could have fucking recovered! Probably isn't going to get the kill. I have, I have so much practice. I have so much practice that I gotta do. I have so much. I'm, <laughs> I am not. Okay. I'm not winning this. Because <laughs> he's going to outspeed the Dragonite anyways. I'll just fucking... Double in on the fucking thing. Just, just, just kill me, Frank. Just end it. Just end it all. Yeah. <laughs>
Because now he had speeds in the fucking car. Guess done. GG, yeah. I need a new career path. Just... <laughs> I, I just... Enemy double kill. I, I, I'm finding a new career path. I'm just, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> good, good game. Good game. Good, good four zero there, buddy. I. Uh... All right. <laughs> I I took some more notes there. Oh, did you? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Please, please. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, for the most part, every turn Frank played pretty much played optimally. Yep. Um, Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Can I take Brian... a guess where I went wrong first? <laughs> where? The muddy water was not it. I should have earth powered up front. I think that was a big one. That that was one of the two calls. Mm -hmm. The other call, turn one. So, basically, um, obviously, I just mentioned about how to play it out beforehand. Mm -hmm. Knowing that right, uh, knowing that Frank also knows that information and is going to adapt to it, I feel like you the better play there would have been to E speed into the King Gambit. Because E Speed has higher priority than Sucker Punch, meaning that King Gambit does nothing that turn. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, okay. as a result, you're only taking the one hit, and you're getting a plus two E Speed into the King Gambit. That's doing a solid like 30, 40%. Mm -hmm. um, and, and on top of that, uh, and it's one of those things where it played it, uh, like Frank made the correct adjustment as well with uh, selecting the moves. Picking Shadow Ball for lock in two, as opposed to any of the other moves, definitely was the best play for him. Because they're covered if you went Terra or if you didn't Terra. Yeah, um, that's, that's what I was thinking. I didn't want to lock myself into Power Yeah, because if, yeah. if you'd gone for Power Gen, he would have survived, and he targeted down your Flutter Main that turn. That was the other thing you should yeah. have targeted the King Gambit. Like, the Flutter Main was not a, like, not a problem gotcha. in that turn. I was also, uh, like, what I, what I, 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 like, I ended up regretting tearing with uh king gambit because yeah cause I, like, it just I, I like knowing like i because i i terra assuming like if you wouldn't terra but since mm. you did terra it was like okay i shouldn't have, you know what i mean it was kind of like yeah you know, I, it's, it was, it's very much the terror the game of terror chicken yeah, yeah. um but no, it's no, one of those so things like, where like that belt you damn near ignored the grim snarl the whole time and that was like exactly what we talked about the last call yeah yeah that was perfect yeah and that fucked me up because i yeah. realized what you were doing like three turns into it and i'm like okay yeah i'm already like i i well, fell into your trap yeah. completely with that yeah well because i was like i was like well okay the grim Snarl can't do anything which we we learned in the last set yeah and yeah. and and also too um with the screens up i feel like i had to kind of double into everything or else they weren't gonna die that's something i didn't do this bad like i i hit both sides yeah. off him yeah. Yeah. Okay. So and that's the one thing. The power of doubling into one is so helpful in just neutering. Like, if there's a threat that needs to be taken out, you double into it, get rid of that threat. So, okay. I have a question. And I know we're like in the middle of the best two out of three here. So I don't know if I should like ask this with Frank. But I guess I will, whatever. When do I like call it quits and stop leading with the Grim Snarl? Like, do I uh, keep it, doing it's that? Like, how do I where... like adapt with that? Or should I adapt? You know? So, yeah, so it's one of those things. If you notice that Grim Snarl didn't really provide enough, like, do enough for you in the match, mm -hmm. um, you, you can always change it up. Um, not to mention, if you're expecting something like the Flutter Main uh, King Gambit lead, um, you could always, uh, like, try to apply some more pressure or try and, like, split the target diversity by choosing a different lead uh, that applies as much offensive pressure. Because obviously Arcanine applies immense offensive pressure turn one with the um, Mirror Herb. Mm -hmm. But the problem is Grim Snarl doesn't apply any pressure. Exactly. So as a real, it be, makes it a very easy decision for Frank to just double into the Arcanine. Yeah. Take it out off the get-go. Yeah. 
Whereas, yeah, say, if, say if you had led in, uh, if you led like um, Dragonite uh, Arcanine, mm. you're still applying that offensive pressure with Arcanine into the King Gambit. But then you've also got the supplementary pressure of, okay, Dragonite's on the field. Is he going to Terra the Arcanine take out my King Gambit, or is he going to Terra the Dragonite take out my Flutamane? Mm. What am I willing to sack at that point? What should I have focused my efforts on? Is there ever time to bring Grim in the back, or is he always just a lead? No, you can bring Grim in the back as well. Um, like, if you feel like you always want to have at least either Grim or Talonflame uh, for like 99% of matches, okay. it's just a matter of whether you prefer having the damage control or the speed control options more than anything. Like, Grim damage control is just a lot more reliable overall, especially with screens. Mm -hmm. uh, like, sorry, with um, Light Play, because it, it lasts much longer. Yeah. Um, and having the Misty Terrain avoid status conditions in the face of things like Amoongus and stuff like that. Um, Talonflame is good if you see that their team is very frail but reliant on speed creeping and hitting speed tiers. Mm -hmm. um, you, uh, or in the case of like Trick Room, if they need to get their Trick Room up, you can just taunt them uh, and deny that. Um, like Talonflame is very situational. I find that was the one I brought the least to any of my matches. Mm -hmm. um, but when you do, like when it was brought, it was like very pivotal. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that was. I think. I think that was a good battle, though. I think. No, dude, you I think, played well, I, great. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Yeah. I, well, I think. I think I'm. I think I'm kind of starting to at least understand like. Like trying to like prioritize, you know, like what what yeah. needs to get done. Yeah, um, it's, it's one of those things where, in all honesty, I actually would uh, wouldn't mind having a match with um, Frank using the team as well, just to see how like still having like at the knowledge of how the team works, um, but um, like just a different mental play style sort of thing. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'd be I'd be down. Ryan, do you want to do you want to just we could just each battle Matt and then we can call it. Yeah. Yeah. We finished yeah, this exactly. opening, I, <laughs> as a, It's one of those things, if you want, I can get my um, street, like, well, kind of, like, I have a, cap, like, capture window that I can put up. Sweet. If um, you want to show the match still uh, yeah. on stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Frank, Frank. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be good. Can we finish this two yeah. out of three, though? <laughs> I can yeah, come back. I can still pull this back. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, so we'll, we'll do this, and then we'll each battle Matt, and then we'll, we'll call it. Perfect. Yep. All right, sounds good. Let's do it. Good luck. Guys, guys, all right, we're not playing around now. <laughs> all right, let me, let me, I'm looking at you. Everybody watching this stream, like, this is, we're not fucking around anymore. <laughs> all right, now is when we fucking try. <laughs> right, you can get this. Oh. <laughs> I'm so fucking mad. No, because here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> I'm convinced at this point now that Frank's been putting a lot more prep into this the past few days than I have. <laughs> All right. Like, this is really putting into perspective how much I want to practice this week leading up to the weekend. Don't let Frank be inside my head. He's always inside me. So we're going to lead Arcanine and Gashinon this time around because both apply a lot of pressure on his team and I hate that fucking King Gambit. Uh, in the back, Dragonite is still such a solid option. I could try the Talonflame, mainly because I'm not bringing Grim this time and like Tailwind speed control might be nice or getting acrobatics off for like the Lilligant could be the check for that. We're going to do that. We're going to bring it. We're going to bring it. And, um... If it doesn't work, hey, whatever happens, happens out there. It is what it is. <laughs> All right. It's either you win or you don't. <laughs> you like my little proverbs? <laughs> just some, just some confidence preaching real quick. <laughs> ah! Here we go, boys. Can I have like... He stop fucking leading with this goddamn flutter man. At least I'm not looking at the at the damn king gambit anymore. Um, 
Am I crazy for wanting to turn one Terra fire this Gastrodon and just to not eat a Leaf Storm? Because I know that's what that Lilligan's running here. Um, yeah, the Leaf Storm's the strongest thing they could do. So he might like protect or something like that. We could snarl turn one, lower this thing's special attack, and then it'll stop being a threat. And in... Honestly, what if I don't Terra and I protect the Gastrodon and I want to just scout out what he's going to do? He might Leaf Storm. And if that's the case... That's going to hurt. the stupid shadow ball damage i basically just sacked the arcanine that's what happens when you don't stream for a month yeah <laughs> yeah yeah i basically just sacked the arcanine At least, though, we're going to eat the Leaf Storm. Like, that was a nice... Lower that special attack as well. Uh, now we Earth Power in on that Mischievous. Basically, it's at a... It's in range now to where it could be killed by something. Oh, yeah. Probably not the Acrobatics Town Flame, I'm assuming. My thing is, I need something that's going to eat the... Goddamn shadow balls uh, from that mischievous. I think Talon Flame out speeds. Um, we'll be able to take like leaf storms or whatever. So dead ass, I'm doubling in on that mischievous now. It's not worth it. Money water. I wish that I could protect the Gastrodon. Honestly, instead of protecting, I could recover it. Because I think the Gastro's thick enough that it'll take a Shadow Ball if that's what Mischievous decides to do. And then I can get health back. Um, Which I think can... Ugh. Talon Flame got priorities, not that speeds. Oh, he withdrew. Something has to take an Acrobatics on Switch and then break through. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. I still... Oh, that didn't do shit. Maybe I should have just acrobatics to the left. I hate this fucking sleep powder. Uh, actually, surprisingly decent turn on my end, though. What's he trying to do with this Torkoal, though? He's trying to put Talonflame to sleep, though. I could taunt you and then Earth Power you because it's the sun and we can't go for water anymore. Having the full health Gastrodon fire Terra out against this Torkoal protect, I guess that's fine. Then Leaf Storm. Oh, he... Did he think I was going to switch? Wait, with the Spatak drop? I don't know why he Leaf Stormed. I'm actually so okay with... Uh, with taunting the Lilligant that turn then. Because now he definitely cannot uh, sleep powder. So now I'm in a situation where 
I could kind of tailwind if I wanted for free and could still earth power the right side because what's going to do double protect he might like hard swap something in on that right like if he I don't know if he's bringing Dragonite have I seen all four of his bombs Ooh, you withdrew he probably didn't like that spatak drop and he wants to keep that Lilligan around just in case for that uh trouble hey chat what type is iron tusks isn't he ground fighting I believe it's ground fighting protosynthesis so that boosts his speed in the sun I think but we got a tailwind up so everybody's fast as fuck this <laughs> turn we o-code the Torkoal awesome that is good looks that is good looks open sheet rye thank you thank you for the reminder Casey, I need you at this tournament this weekend just to be like, open sheet, right? And then I'll be like, oh yeah, that was the sheet. <laughs> he got an attack boost, not a speed boost. Thank you. I did not know that. Um, So he's going to have big ground move, everybody ground move, big fight move, double rock move. Um, Y'all think he's going to rock slide? Because I think he's going to rock slide. I can just will-o'-wisp and protect. Where's my other mon? Dragonite. Oh yeah, you don't want to take a rock slide either. I'm literally gonna burn that elephant. Uh, so that way his rock slides won't do nearly as much damage. Ooh, who's he tearing? Who's he tearing? Okay, so you become a steel type. Ooh, wait, that's gonna make him weak to my earth powers. That's good, that's good, because I protected Gastro this turn, next turn I'll earth power the left side, and then I want to land the Will-O-Wisp. No! Man, okay, that made me mad. why I will a wish the fucking elephant! I'm not, I'm like, I, I just, the game, this game, this fucking game, this is, that's right here. That is why, because Will-O-Wisp drops the, its attack, and then Rock Slide wouldn't have killed! The Rock Slide would not have killed, what the fuck is 85 accurate, my ass? Dude! Dude! No, but if I lose this entire match because of one unlucky turn, Fire Farmer, I'm not going to this tournament. Yeah, that was just unlucky. This fucking game is unlucky. No skill, all luck. It's just if you can dodge your Will-O-Wisp, you win the tournament. I'm fucking mad. <laughs> all right. Um... In all honesty, though, I actually think we could still win this if we double in on the left. Because the Lilligan can't do anything against a flying type and a fire type except that. <sighs> no, I don't think the rock slide would have killed though. Because if it's a split damage move and the physical attack would be put in half. Right? Either way, I still O-code it. Um... Which is cool. What's his other mon? Isn't it Mischievous is his other mon? Jesus Christ. Uh. <laughs> I am so upset <laughs> over that fucking <laughs> will o Protosynthesis and Quad Week still picks up KO. I didn't think about the protosynthesis. Man. Like, god damn. I mean, maybe we'll wake up turn two and then we can ice spinner this and protect. We'll see. What's good, man? It's been a while since I popped into the stream. How's it going, elusive? I guess you've been elusive in the streams. Not much has changed, clearly. How, how you doing? How you doing? Yeah, Dragon, I didn't wake up. I, I needed that wake up turn two, basically. He locked himself into Power Gem. 
interesting. And then we resist the Leaf Storm at least, so that ain't gonna do much. I guess he's doing that because the Lilligant really can't do anything else. Um, I guess we just try this again. Recover. You asshole. Did he really try to double sleep me? Dragonite's still asleep! Oh, no! <laughs> Dude. So now I'm forced to have to click E speed because Dragonite's gonna die this turn. And I have to go in on that. Lilligant resists both Earth Power and Muddy Water, but Earth Power won't fucking miss. So we'll do that. Oh, yeah, now you wake up. Yep, mm-hmm. Yep, good, good shit, Dragonite. Good wake up. Really putting in that hustle. Really putting in that work, Dragonite. Thank you so much for being attentive and alert. help but notice if Dragonite would have woken up like one turn previously we would have gotten the fucking kill and won the game like like has anyone else noticed that that if if Dragonite would have woken up like one turn previously we would have won this fucking game <laughs> I'm, I'm raging so much because in reality Frank's playing well and he's out playing me. I'm fucking mad <gasps> We're not winning this. Yeah. Yep, and the crit, and the crit, yep. I don't even analyze that All right, all right, Matt, one. where did it all go wrong that time, my guy? No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, Matt, that was that was the shittiest battle I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I literally, I, I like, I couldn't even believe the plays that I was making. Uh, I like, I yeah, even... that was an that was an interesting battle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I feel like that match was the war of who can throw the hardest. Oh, really? <laughs> Literally, because I don't even know if I was throwing. I, I mean, Dra Dragonite staying asleep three turns and missing Will O Wisp no. on Talon. Guy already did no. that. No, oh no, uh, Brian, you got all your throwing done at the start. Oh. You just got really shit luck at the end. Oh. That's so funny. I I want y'all to know the turn where I I went for um, I doubled in a Dragonite with Leaf Storm. Or no, sorry, I went for Leaf Storm on Talon Flame. I was I was trying to break the Gale Wings. Oh, didn't, didn't yeah. work. Anyways. Oh, oh, well, that, that was certainly a set. I've got notes there if you want to read them. It's a whole lot to break down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, think, I don't think any of those turns were a good play. <laughs> no, there were some good plays. There were good plays in there. Oh. There was just a lot of questionable plays as well. I literally, I what was the one? Oh, so with the Dragonite, right? I was like, I went for uh, Leaf Storm and um, whatever, or whatever else I went, or Power Gem, right? I thought, yeah. I thought Lilligant, I thought the sun was up. I thought Lilligant was gonna outspeed, break the multi scale, no. and then Power Gem it would do just, a lot of damage. Yeah, it had just but. one off. Like it, it made sense on paper. It's just a matter of keeping track of your turns on anything. Yeah. Damn. And it's like, if, well, if that was, yeah, if that was the play, if, if that was like the thought process with it, you would have been better in that situation to power gem into the Gastrodon and switch in Tusk. So that Tusk could then outspeed with the Rock Slide, pick up the Gastron kill, and then get the power gem to knock out. Yeah, yeah. That, we, we have a lot of work this week. <laughs> any, any which way. Um, <laughs> so, what's that called? 
Who wants to go first? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll bite the bullet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, All right, good luck, champ. Okay, uh, Ryan, do you want to... Which team would you like to face overall? Um... Well, I mean, we should like, do what a kind of match, team? right? No, we're not doing the mirror match. I'm just think, looking at, like, rentals. What kind of a team archetype do you want practice into? What's going to be most likely... People aren't going to do, like, the Screamtail team. Uh, there's a lot of Talon Tusk around. Um, the Screamtail team's not very common. There's a lot of Talon Tusk. Uh, there's a lot of good mons as well. Mm. <clears throat> I want to I wanna fight the uh, Armor Rouge NDD. I'll the do the DD armor? All right. I'll take on the talent. Alright, I need to... Okay, let me find... Some... So, like, how did I throw turn one? Board. That What What? What went wrong there? <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> so, basically... So, basically, you just played very safe turn one, was the big thing. Okay. Um, as I said, like, it wasn't so much a bad play, it was just a safe play. Um, and Frank just punished it really well with the, um, the sleep powder and everything. Yeah. So the big thing I said there was, um, is, to e-speed to at least break the sash on the Lilligan first. thing? No, there's no sleep claws. That's why yeah. sleep is so prevalent in BGC. Uh... And that's the one good thing with Grimstyle is that Grimstyle lets you, um, What's it called? It lets you just set uh, Misty Terrain so you don't get slept at all. Gotcha. Right, so I need to find a good Talon Task team. Um, let's see, what's this one here? Frank, I can tell you just uh, one of this past few days on this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've been just doing practice battles. Alright, this is. Of course, the one good fucking talent us team I see has no fucking rental code. <laughs> oh no. You build it from scratch. Uh, uh, I do not have the stuff to build talent us team from scratch on the spot. <laughs> this one, uh, that's a bit questionable as well. Okay, there we go. This should be a good one. Uh, and of course, fucking Alex Underhill doesn't have a rental car. God fucking damn it. Man, he's... They gotta start putting out rental codes. Yeah. the hell? Matt, is this message at 1138, the battle we just had? Um, yes. Yeah. God, there are no good Talon Tusk rentals. Yeah. We should have, like, while you guys are battling, I'll take notes for both of y'all. Yo. <laughs> and, then, and then, and then vice versa. Yeah, then Frank could tell yeah, us where we went wrong. <laughs> okay, well, got a, I've got a DD armor team there that I can get a rental of. So let me get this one at least before I lose it. Uh, G J H C. We're reading all of these turn notes. <laughs> Man, this is say, it'll be good as well. It'll be good to look through those notes as well with the replay of the stream match as well, so you can mm. see it turn by turn. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's that's super helpful. All right, I guess I'll just do this one. It's not the best talent toss team, but it it's a talent toss team. Is um, there's like a there's like a random question, but is. Like, are Maridon and Crydon never going to be allowed in VGC? Uh, when they come to a GS Cup format, yes. Yeah, well, That's going to be absurd. When did, like, Zacian and all the Gen 8 legendaries get allowed? 
uh, once again with a um, uh, what's it called the GS Cup format. Mm. Okay, so that team. So that great. I find one decent talent us team, and the rental doesn't work. Oh no. <coughs> was it series twelve? Series twelve was when both were allowed. Uh, like you were allowed to restricted. <coughs> uh, oh. This one. No, a rental team, of course. Wait, that says February 2022. So, like, this time last year was when... Yeah, and it went all the way through to Worlds last year. They had just one format for, like, all of last year. Huh. Um, okay, this is, uh, it's not Talent Tusk, but it is arguably the better version of Talent Tusk, which is Bundle Tusk. Ooh. Yikes. You better All look right. out, Ryan. <laughs> I'm about to get bundled. Alright, let me get the paste for this. Alright, I will put that there. Yo, Jacob, thank you for the 10, dude. Seven, five, four, three. Yeah, this is okay. surprisingly longer stream than usual. I'm, I'm yeah. glad to cure you in your hangover, I guess. <laughs> I am searching when you're ready. Oh, is it same code? Yep. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you, thank you, Jacob. <laughs> Yo, bet! <laughs> no, I'm convinced Frank's actually going to hop into this tournament and just secure a top four. Okay. Um, so after you guys, uh, do you want me to deafen and you guys like talk it out, or do you, uh, Ryan, do you want to deafen and have your match and then I kind of like talk with Frank how my thought process is going? Uh, I'll deafen. I'll deafen. Right. Easy. Yeah, that'd be that'd be good. I'd like to I'd like to hear what you like what you're thinking as you go. <laughs> yeah. So obviously this isn't the same team that I'm used to. Um, on the fly. <laughs> All right. Good luck, cool. Matt. <laughs> you, you two, I get to face my own team now. <laughs> you don't even need open team sheet here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't actually... Wait, do I have an open team sheet? By the way, thank you so much for the membership, Jacob. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, dude. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, he did send it. So here's the sheet. Let me get that open. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with, and looking at it, I don't really know who his lead could be. Who is his lead here? Honestly, for that reason, I don't see who he would be leading with. I might just want to go with the Grim, because that's always a safe, and probably the the gastro because gastro would be super effective on a lot of the things i'm looking at here and it counters the bundle bundle's a strong start okay so if that's the case i'll definitely lead gastro in the back hmm. i think arcanine with flare blitz will be nice and That was a panic pick. I don't totally know who the fourth mod should have been. Let me know in the chat what you guys think that should have been. I guess I just went Dragonite because it's relatively powerful. I don't know. It's really actually not very good on this team now that I'm looking at it. We'll find out. We'll find out why or why not. I mean, it's going to still have Terra Blast uh, flying, which would be super effective on like, the hands. Uh, so he leads hands and the elephant. Uh, let's see, what is he running here? It's gonna be Terra Fire, Protect, Brick, Break, Iron Hands, Drum Punch, Volt Switch, Wild Charge. He could fake something out here. 
Um, it's either gonna be Grim or. Hmm. Status conditions and half. Okay, so he's not gonna go for any status conditions here. I'm not gonna spirit break anything because it's not gonna do that much. He's gonna probably fake out my left side here because it's going to be screens and. God, I hate this fucking timer. Bop. We're gonna do that. That's okay. We didn't even target the elephant. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. He's probably gonna fake out, though. Knew it. I knew it. I knew that he was gonna do that, but I didn't really know what to play around it with. My other thing was like, okay, maybe I got hard swap the Grim. Um. But it's like, what would I do? And then I would like take a fake out on one of these guys and then we'd just be in a new turn. I. Uh, Huh. If I double in on hands, I'll actually get a kill. So I'm gonna do that. I don't really know what the Great Tusk could do. I guess... No, I actually don't know what it could do. He might try to brick break and break a screen or something. Yeah, I don't think that he had anything he could do with the Great Tusk either, and so he swapped it. Uh, sending in the bundle. That's actually shocking, because doesn't Gastro counter bundle nice yeah i think that we just secured the kill on the iron hands he volt switches damn it we did not secure the kill on the iron hands uh does he have a flying type no so no matter who he sends in it's gonna take earth power on the right side which i'm okay with uh unless it's the great tusk yep which he'll he'll, he'll eat that up he will eat 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 that up oh wow that actually did more damage than i thought that it would i'm okay with that uh, so what's he trying to do with that Dilly Bird? He can maybe protect, I guess. But I don't think he's going to do that. I think that I can keep doubling on the right side. That ass. I know it's weird to not go for my screens. Like, I rarely do offensive Grim Snarl. But what's stopping me? And Cork Drive. I could... Is this neutral? I'm going to do that to guarantee damage. Because my thing is, he can't... Oh, he Terra's. It'll be either Terra flying or wa uh, water. Or fire, I misspoke. But, okay, you're still weak to Earth Power. And Earth Power won't miss. Earth Power won't miss. So he freeze dries you, which... Oh! Are you fucking serious? That Oko's... I, I guess I should have terrified there predicting. Why didn't I know that he was going to fucking freeze dry the water type? I'm looking at the open team sheet and I see that he has freeze dry, which is super effective on my water type. I like should have just known this and then done the correct play to prevent that from happening. Uh, no, this is... <sighs> I get heated when I play Pokemon, but in reality, it just means that he's playing well. But like, I, I'm so mad because I knew that the fake out was coming turn one, but I, I didn't really know how to prevent it or play against it. And now like, the same thing just fucking happened here with the freeze dry. I, uh... I'm gonna Terra water this Arcanine here. Maybe I shouldn't have even sent in the Arcanine. No, 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 I should have because ice is super effective on, um, on the Dragon Knight. Dude, if I tear a water with the Arcanine though, I'm gonna die to a fucking freeze dry. He's gonna actually get try to get the kill on the Grim this turn. I don't think the e-speed kills. Oh, you withdrew. Oh, you withdrew. Actually, I think e-speed kills this thing. 
And I guess if I picked the turn to hard swap, this would have been a good turn because he also hard swapped. It's like the best case scenario for a free switch for Dragonite. And he protects the iron bundle. That's so okay because I didn't get targeted. I actually am just going to get the kill here. I'm going to delete my channel. <laughs> really? Really? I couldn't even kill the goddamn Iron Hands. No, no, that, that'd be way too much to ask for in 2023. What am I doing here, chat? What what am I doing here? What 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 are we what what are we doing here? Um does the unbundle have a water type move? Yes, hydro pump. He does. Um I guess we get the kill here. And then we'll Snarl to drop the Deli Bird special attack. Snarl will still kill, but that flinch made me mad. <laughs> That's gonna be times four on my Dragonite, actually. Maybe I should have Terra Flying, but I don't think I should have. It's gonna lower my speed as well. Ugh. No, because if I would have just became a fire type with the Gastrodon, that. <laughs> Why is he so bulky? <laughs> I just, I just, I just. I also don't know how to help me feel better, <laughs> Casey. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> Happen like every time I stream Scarlet Violet, where I'm like, yeah, I'm, I need this stupid new game. I'm like, God, fucking, fucking, fuck. <sighs> I mean, I guess the Great Tusk is low on health. <sighs> so am I with all of my mons right now. I haven't even seen his fourth mon. I literally do not even know what his fourth mon is. know what to click because I know that I'm not winning this. He's just keeping me alive. I think maybe he could have clicked freeze dry hoping that I well he was going for a move that wouldn't miss. But maybe he was like he could tear water some. I mean I might Like, I have an E-Speed that should get the kill on this fucking Iron Bundle. Um... Because the thing is that Deli Bird's fast, so I need to go for the priority move and make sure that I can get that kill. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> I'm taking a Pokemon break after this weekend. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, genuinely, we will stream something else after this. Like a new Nuzlocke or something. Yo, 
your price. I appreciate the 37 months. <laughs> uh, this isn't going to do shit, but I mean, I, I clicked it anyways. Should I just like undefin now? Or... <laughs> it was goddamn Sylveon. <laughs> Does like still Pokemon? Yeah, but but a different Pokemon. I could win that one. <laughs> All right. So now looking at, see, he's gonna expect me. Uh, he's gonna be wanting to play around the bundle a lot more because bundle just put in a lot of work that match, uh, and he's gonna have to respect um, the Tusk a bit more. Yeah. I don't know if I should have heard that, <laughs> to be honest. I guess I just stay deafened. I I, I don't want to like hop in there and hear something I shouldn't hear. Should I undeafen? No, I guess I don't undeafen. All right. <sighs> I just don't even know what to do. <sighs> At least, though, I can kind of see what he's going to do again with, like, the fake out lead. I just don't have a counter for fake out. Like, I don't have a ghost type or anything like that. Um. Hmm. <laughs> I'm thinking instead of Dragonite, though, I bring something different. Like, maybe I'll do the the Iron Hands instead. Because, like, the Wild Charge admittedly could be nice for that Deli Bird if he decides to bring it again. I just don't think that he's going to lead with the Deli Bird, so I'm not going to lead with the Hariyama. But I could try to, like, do the fake out predict thing with the Hariyama and hard swap it into my Hariyama or something like that. Anyways, yeah, no, happy birthday, Grace. <laughs> yeah, no, <sighs> Bob, we have been. I didn't expect tonight's stream to go for like four hours like this, but I mean, I'm not mad. <gasps> like, I'm down for these longer streams. I, I definitely do like want to go live again, but not with a Discord call and stuff like that. So I kind of should get to like talk and hang out with you guys as well. Uh, admittedly, I wasn't entirely sure if this was going to be the first stream back or not for the channel. Like, we, we didn't have, like, a official first stream at the new apartment to, like, actually update you guys and talk about stuff like that. But it, it was more like I was going to do this tonight anyways. Could I hit the start stream button? Yeah, and it would be fun to catch up with you guys. So, like, that's kind of the point of tonight's thing. Ah, oh, they led with the Iron Bundle and Sylveon this time around. I think, honestly, that just right on rip i get the light screen because what are they going to do with you protect hydro pump protect terror blast hyper voice quick attack exactly so they're not exactly gonna fake me out or anything it's not that i can't light screen on that um god i hate that it keeps pulling up the discord i'm also running out of time this game stresses me out dude I'm gonna actually target another Sylveon. I think that thing is a low-key threat. Mainly because if I have the iron hands in the back. God, I made the same fucking mistake! Man, can we just run it back but I don't get freeze-dried by the fucking <laughs> deli bird again? Because I swear to God, it's like, I, I know that this is going to happen and I should just tear a blast because I know that's fucking super effective on me, no, but I didn't fucking... Dude. Yep, terrify <laughs> You always terrify <laughs> I'm going to just delete my channel. I swear to fuck. I'm just, I just... Ugh. Casey, I just need to play a different game. <laughs> I just need to play a different fucking game. <laughs> what do I even do?
do? I can reflect. I mean, though, Sylveon has, like, quick attack. I guess. So, 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 did that, yeah, that, did crit... that crit matter? Or, uh... <laughs> so, well, I was just saying, the crit mattered for the kill. Okay. It didn't matter in the grand scheme of the match. Oh, though. okay. Well, if it didn't matter in the grand scheme of the match, then... <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not processing any of this. I'm just getting smacked around. <laughs> no, I'm doing a fucking another match after this, but I'm just not going to let myself get freeze-dried. I'm... So... What do I even do here? I just got so far out. I didn't even land any moves on them. I literally did not land any freaking moves on them at all. I mean, I could snarl, which will lower their special attack and prolong the inevitable. I could e-speed and guarantee that I will get a hit off. If I become a water type, freeze dry is super effective on me. If I stay a fire type, hydro pump is super effective on me. It is a lose, lose. Just, just, just let it happen. Move time, mate. <laughs> oh wow, I guess I should have Terra watered. No, but if I would have clicked Terra water, then the iron bundle would have whipped out a freaking freeze dry on my ass. I'm telling you. I'm telling you guys, there's no way to predict it. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just never playing this fucking game again. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's, uh, that was yeah, that, that was crazy. Yeah. That was crazy. I mean, GGs. That was that was. Yeah. <laughs> that was, it was it was really it was really like it was really it cool. Tough, it, it, yeah, yeah. it is a tough matchup overall um, for uh, for the team. So do we want to go over notes or? Uh... <laughs> um, so I kind of like I didn't really take the notes as I was playing because I was just no, kind no, of no, like explaining Frank, my thought Frank, process. Please, Frank, Frank, please don't be... Oh, my notes. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Uh, you just gotta do better. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm gonna focus on that one next no. time. No. <laughs> no, I was. I honestly though, honestly though, like, cause I like hearing, um, hearing you, Matt, like, yeah, think through it all was was really helpful. I think. Um, I I think now you know now if we do this in reverse where it's me versus Matt and then Ryan, you're hearing. Matt think through his process, I think it'll be really good. Can, can I, be, I just yeah. think it all was downhill when I didn't tear a fire. Like, it was just, that, that was all what? Yeah, that... I mean, it's it's, one of those things I, 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 even I, with I the light screen up, I still get O-code by, uh, by a freeze dry. Actually, wait, no. the freeze dry outsped you the Grimstar, right? Yeah, the free... Yeah. yeah. No, the Grimstar got light screen up, freeze dry didn't kill, it was what killed was I followed it up with Hyper Voice. Yeah, which was gonna hit both, regardless. But like, how would yeah. that turn have played out if I did Terra Fire like I was supposed to? If, uh, what move were you clicking with Gastrodon? Uh, who was your leads? It was the Sylveon Bundle. Uh, it was Sylveon Bundle. bundle. Um, yeah. And then I had Gastro and who was the other? Yeah, Gastro Grimmsnarl. Gastro Grimmsnarl. Okay, okay. I want to say I Earth Powered the... Iron Bun I guess I'd have to rewind and check. No okay, now that I'm thinking about it, I guess even if I did yeah. Terra Fire, I was still... Because I could have just gotten Hydro Pump like the next turn, huh? No, no, because you've got Storm Drain. That's the whole point of uh, the bundle, is it's meant to wall. Like, when you Terra Fire, you wall bundle. 
we just like rematch real quick? Cause I, I, uh... <laughs> I mean, if you want to rematch, I'll give you a rematch and we'll play out that turn one the same way. So you can see how different it would have played out if you'd like. Well, I, I don't know if, cause that was why you didn't hydro pump then as I'm assuming. Yeah. When okay. Gastron's on the field, you don't hydro pump. Like you freeze dried, I guess, hoping I wouldn't Terra, but even if I should have Terra, you still no, would have been able to it, it was, I was, I was covering for if you did Terra. Okay. Gotcha. So I, I even mentioned it to Frank. I was like, in hindsight, I could have, like, if I had read the Terra was going to happen, um, I could have, instead of going for the freeze dry, just hard swapped into the Tusk instead. Mm. Um, okay. But yeah, it's one of those. I said, if you want to run it back, we can run it back and you can get some experience with it if you'd like. I don't think we need to run it back. <laughs> not, not, okay. 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 <laughs> okay. The first right. game, though, uh, when you faked out um, Grimstarl, I yep. literally said out loud and predicted that you were going to do that, but I didn't know how to play against it that turn. Um, so that's part of the... Re like, if Grimstarl was... Like, if you needed Grimstarl to get screens or whatever up on that turn, mm -hmm. that's why Grimstarl's Terra Ghost. Gotcha. So you, you can, you can Terra been, like, Ghost to avoid it. But would it have even been, like, worth it to avoid it for that first turn, and then now I don't have Terra for the rest I, of the match? Under I videos. don't remember. I honestly don't remember how that turn played out. Um, if, like, it could have it could have been helpful, potentially, if um, I'd gone on the offense, but I don't think I did. Yeah, either which way, it's just one of those things where it's more like momentum, because it, like, puts you back a turn Yeah. when it comes to setting up screens. <laughs> Although you didn't even set screens in that first game. Yeah, because once I got faked out, then I was like, okay, yeah, just abandoned that idea altogether. And I ended up going for a lot more spirit breaks. Uh, yeah, which, in all honesty, you, if you'd gone for more screens, the match would have been much different. Huh. Like, you, like even if you get faked out, you still go for the screens. Because my, my thought process was, I thought you were respecting the fact that I had brick break. And so my thought process was, I thought you were wanting to take out Tusk before you set screens so that that way you wouldn't be brick, have them brick break. Um, but it was one of those things where, um, as a result, the way I was playing was very much trying to conserve uh, Tusk. Okay, okay. Damn. But, yeah, it's, anyway. it's crazy. Yeah. So, Frank, you ready for the match now? Yeah, let's do it. Let's run it. All right. I've got the team pace there for the DD Armor team. It makes me all right uh, yeah this do I, I like god okay well i'm gonna i'm gonna lose to you and then you're gonna tell me how to beat armor and ndd <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> okay all right, all right I'll, I'll see you guys later <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh wait, wait what's the link code wait actually uh, the same code just uh 7543 all right tight to tight all right see you on the flip see you on the flip yep all right, let me get your. Sorry, I did press the right one. Yeah, I did press the right one. Oh fuck, he didn't. Uh... Okay, search for the battle. That full screen. There we go. Matt, all right, can you right click like on your OBS preview? Uh, okay, and then does it give you? Oh wait, on the screen? preview. Does it give you like a full screen option? Um, not that I can see. No. Okay. Did you say full screen projector preview or something like that? I think you're on a different kind of OBS. Uh, projector. No, I'm on Streamlight for OBS. Yeah. Wait, do I do official rules uh, three? Official rules one. Oh, okay, cool. Here we go. Look at that. All right. So this is the team here, I believe. Let me double check. Is this the Ice Spice team? The best name ever. <laughs> yes, this, this is the Ice Spice team. This was, uh, for reference, this team was used by the highest placing Aussie OCIC. Hmm. You got a top eight overall. Huh. Okay, where is the Lilacol team? There we go, okay. 
Um, so what is he going to potentially lead into me? He wants to stop my DDR. Uh, what ways does he have to stop it? Um, I guess he could sleep powder, but I can just follow me that way. And am I Terra Grass on? I'm Terra Fairy. Okay, that's not great. If I was Terra Grass, that would be a lot easier. Um, so we can. DD. I think we DD armor lead and then in the back uh, we want to task and do we flood a main here or do we bundle? I'd say because <laughs> then the bundle will be super effective yeah. for Dragonite, right? <laughs> yeah, but so is the flood a main as well. Oh. Uh... Oh. Um, all right, I've got to go let what's it called family member in, so I'll be right back. Gotcha. So he decided to go with the Fluttermane instead, though. Man's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, after this battle, we'll be uh, we'll be wrapping up the stream because we just hit the four hour mark, which is a little bit crazy. <laughs> Yeah, Fluttermane's super effective on three mobs with just stab. Well, the thing is, is I'm assuming that his Fluttermane is going to be choiced. So he leads with the Kowtow. What is it? What's that? Thing? All right, I am back. Okay, what have we got here? Yeah. King Gambit, Fluttermane. All right. Uh, how does this stop Trick Room going up? Uh, what's Fluttermane have? Dazzling Gleam. That just doesn't stop it. King Gambit. Yeah, he can't stop Trick Room going up here. So we will follow me and Trick Room. Gotcha. Is this team similar to the, the Hattering team we did earlier? Uh, to an extent. Uh, this one's more of a soft Trick Room rather than a hard Trick Room. Mm. Um, But hard trick room very much would be more so like your DD armor, Torkoal, uh, Hatterene stuff, sort of stuff. Oh, he terrifies. Okay. Oh, he's crazy. Yeah, Terrifier King again. I don't agree with the Terrifier here. Um, the big advantage of King Gambit in the face of Psy Spam is the fact that the Dark type means you're immune to expanding force. So because he's gone Terrifier, that's really, I think, a misplay. Hmm. I can understand he didn't want to get hit by the armor cannon, but uh, as a like, yeah, Dee Dee goes down here. I don't need Dee Dee to survive. I just need Trick Room up. Gotcha. So wait, now that you have the Trick Room up, who are the other two moms you brought? You have Fluttermane and so now you're doing and the Don fan, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because the Fluttermane is really fast, even though, so wouldn't be smart with the Trick Room. Yeah, Flood, Fluttermane's fast, even though, uh, what's it called, Armor Rouge is faster than um, King Gambit overall. Uh, his King Gambit can't really do much in this scenario here. Mm -hmm. uh, so what what move did he use last turn with uh, Fluttermane? Was that Moonblast? Uh, I remember Kowtow Cleave. I don't remember what Fluttermane did. Yeah, I, I think he moon blasted. All right, I think I'm going to protect with Tusk here, and I'm gonna Terra expanding force. Do I want Terra expanding force? Yeah, I'm gonna Terra expanding force. Hmm. Okay, he withdraws Flutter into Torkoal. Wait, did you tear grass so that way the Moonblast wouldn't be dragon eye. super effective on you? I, I, tear, I tear grass because so that Kowtow Cleave wouldn't be super effective. Because mm. I know that King Gambit moves before Armor Rouge in Trick Room. Okay, okay. 
Like, it's one of those things where, in hindsight, I don't think this was probably the best matchup for Frank to practice into, because this is very much a matchup that Frank has the advantage in. Mm. Okay, so he went for the Sucker Punch, but I'm protected by its Psychic Terrain. So as you can see, even with Assault Vest, because he terrored there, uh, like, uh, Expanding Force just did way more. <laughs> now I have the issue in that he's likely going to Terra Fire Terra Blast. Actually, wait, no, that's not an issue because I'm Flash Fire, so... <laughs> Yeah, you're set. He's probably going. He's probably going to. Um, uh, I think I want to taunt the Dragonite slot just in case. But I really, it really doesn't matter what Dragonite does here. What not attacking move would he go for? Protect. Uh, uh protect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he went for the Terra Blast. Forgot about the Flash Fire. <laughs> you know that and the Sucker Punch yeah. back to back is. Yeah. Yeah, just not not the best look for the king game it tonight. <laughs> no. Double kill. <laughs> if he'd gone for the Kowtow cleave on either turn, that would have been a much different match out there. <laughs> but it failed. <laughs> yep. All right. So income. So trouble is his own task, which is Scarf, which you don't want in Trick Room. Um, and he's he's already gone for his Terra, so he can't even Terra out of... Uh... Uh, I think I'm just going to Headlong here and Expanding Force for the win. Because he's double choice, so he can't do anything here. Headlong gonna Oko the Mischievous? Yeah. I mean, it's why I think Expanding Force is probably going to Oko it beforehand, but if it doesn't, then Headlong will finish it. Mm. See, I think just like a huge thing, I don't know, like, specific... Jesus, that did so much damage. <laughs> yeah, Expanding Force is a really strong move. Like, that's the reason why back in, like, Sword and Shield, why we had Expanding Force on Calyrex. Oh, yeah. You yeah. double killed him twice. Kill. That was the. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Hey. So Matt was yeah, just telling so... me how your team has the advantage on his in this battle, actually. Bro, I swear <laughs> to God, if I forget about Flash Fire one more time, <laughs> it wasn't even just Flash Fire. It was also the Psychic Terrain. Um, so one thing to note with Psychic Terrain, you can't use priority moves. So Sucker Punch will not work in Psychic Terrain. Yeah, yeah, I, I realized it right after I. I was like, yeah, I was that's like, always yeah. when you realize it, huh? <laughs> but one thing, I, one thing I will say as well, I'm pretty sure King Gambit is slower than Armourish, so it will move first in Trick Room, so you don't even need to click Sucker Punch. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't realize that. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I don't. I just like with that, especially when you lead. Um, I like, I literally can't even, cause I was sitting there at the team preview. I was like, I don't even like, I knew exactly where you were leading, but I was like, I have no idea. Like what, 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 like what would you think is like the best lead for me versus, um, <clears throat> I think the best lead for you into that scenario, um, would be Lil Lilligant Torkoal, I think like just Lilical, um, and essentially going for just the sleep powder into the like the sleep powder into the um in duty and then protect yeah uh, because if you because if you, if you put in dd to sleep it can't follow me on the following turn and i don't want to set up trick room in the face of a torkoal because torkoal will then move first in trick room uh yeah yeah now that being said i am also terra grass so when i go terra grass torkoal can't touch me um but it's yeah, just one of those things of like working my way around it, sort of, like around the matchup. But I gotta be honest, after today's stream, I don't know how high the confidence is going in the tournament. <laughs> this stream is supposed to be like, yeah, it'll be a fun little coaching session. We'll learn a bit, we'll play a bit. <laughs> but now, being four hours in, man, just got double killed twice. I kept getting freeze dried on my water type. I, I. Uh... Maybe we'll aim for two, top 200, huh? <laughs>
So yeah, honestly, like Di Diallo is still just a safe lead here. Like as as he said, he has no way to stop it from going up. Mm-hmm. God. So wait, why do you say that this team's like an advantage on his end? Uh, so it's an advantage on his because he has mons that thrive in Trick Room and out of Trick Room. So it's one of those things where I can't reliably go either way because I need to account for what's in the back. Mm. Um, and my team itself doesn't really have a hard Trick Room mode per se. It's what as it is soft Trick Room, so... Uh, let's see, what's this? Okay, this is a Tailwind, actually. I didn't even realize it's Tailwind. We could go for more of a Tailwind mode, honestly. Rather than Trick Room? Yeah, that could be a potential option to look into. <laughs> yeah, Bob, like, I, I... He literally just got double killed twice! <laughs> uh, Fire Farmer, that's actually so fucking true, though. Alright? And I don't know how crazy that this is to say, or how crazy I'm gonna sound, but... When I did the charity event... Uh... Last... Month... That felt like a completely different mental than just the casual Master Ball streams that we'll do every once in a while. Um, like, when we actually did that event, like, I minimized chat, and it was so much more, I felt just more locked in. Things were more, like, the stakes were higher, but I felt like I understood what plays I was making and what plays they were doing against me better than just, like, a casual stream like this. This is also excuses that I'm making here, <laughs> but... <laughs> I kind of feel like there's some kind of merit to what I'm saying. I'm going to undefin and actually like listen to him. Yo, good night, Grace. And I hope that you have the best birthday ever and eat a lot of sugar. Get it? Because of the nickname. Seriously, thank you for hanging and stuff and still popping in, even though I kind of left the channel for a month while moving. And also been doing other things that I never got to update you guys on yet either. So I got to do like a proper stream soon and I actually get to shoot the shit with you guys. But yeah, y'all are great. I'm going to unmute now because I need to learn things. <laughs> So I don't think I actually want to set Trick Room, so I'm going to just Helping Hand and if go for you... the Terra Grass Expanding Force. Wait, how can you Terra Grass against a Torkoal? Uh, because I have Flash Fire, so he can't hit me with Fire Right, 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 right. Damn it. Um, but the, yeah, the big thing here, um, the way I'm looking at it, as well, another range Terra Grass. Um, obviously, I resist Earth Power instead of being weak to it. Mm -hmm. But the crucial thing is, Lilligant, uh, Lilligant can't put me to sleep with Sleep Powder. Okay. Taco, I know we just went over this. That's this fucking game. You have to go over these things like eight times before you learn a concept. <laughs> yeah. You really so how you many freeze dries I'm gonna take on that Gastrodon at the tournament? Yo, I gotta retire. <laughs> I'll catch you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing my mom. I, I literally told him you protect the talk all turn one. No, but no, we gotta get punished seven more times before he'll get it. Yeah. I'm literally gonna. Yeah, I, I don't know how much confidence this has given me and Frank going into the event this weekend. <laughs> Uh, right. We're learning so much, but we're getting tossed around so much more. <laughs> Look, it's one of those things where sometimes you gotta get tossed around to learn. A bit. Exactly, exactly, and we're getting tossed around for fun. <laughs> Wait, Casey, uh, that's so actually he's probably, good idea. Actually, he's probably going to uh, Terra Flying Terra Blast here, so I'm going to go for the Follow Me just to just to be safe um, in the face of that Dragonite. So is that Lilligan yeah, just not a terror anymore? Uh, not to Armor Rouge, no. Nice. Like, it's still a threat in the form of it can, um... It still has the speed advantage while in Sun and can go for after you. So any move that he wants can just go first. Hmm. Um... But it's one of those things where I can just control where the direction is. So yeah, he went for the Sleep Powder there. That was the correct play from him. Um, he's yeah. now that indeed he's down. I don't, like, yeah, I've redirected this attack, but I don't redirect the next one. So, mm -hmm. realistically, I should have gone for Trick Room that turn instead of Expanding Force, but I just got free. Well, Expanding Force does so much damage in the terrain anyways. Yeah, but it's one of those things where if I'd gone for Trick Room, I'd have the speed control now as well, so I wouldn't have to worry as much about the fact that indeed he is now asleep, and I can't redirect the attack. Is Armourage just overall slow? 
What's its speed stat? Uh, it's like mid. It's like mid speed. I think it's like sixty or seventy ish, roughly. Oh, okay. 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 Um, Indeedy is just kind of dead weight at this point. How many turns of psychic terrain do I have? Three more turns. Okay, I can just you burn a turn of sleep here. Keep it in the socket. And I need. I need to switch. Um. I think I sack the tusk here. So I don't really need tusk for what's left here. Mm -hmm. Like my wind corner at this point is very much I need to um have some kind of speed control uh to be able to deal with this um dragonite. Because mm. one expanding force will kill the dragonite and the tusk from where they are now. But the problem is, he has full speed control over me. And this is, yeah, it all comes down to the fact that I didn't click Trick Room last turn. I needed to click Trick Room, but I just didn't. Okay, the fact that he's locked into Headlong Rush is good. That means that I am fine. Like, once Dragonite's dead, um, he cannot touch, uh, what's it called? He cannot touch um, Armor Ridge at all. Okay. Ooh. So we barely live, although we would have lived anyway because we're Sash on Tusk. Hmm. Uh, so what's, uh, okay, so we're Speed Proto. That's good. Speed Proto is what we want here. Um, I'm going to Moonblast into the Dragonite. Do I want to Moonblast the Dragonite? Because he could protect here. No, I feel, I feel like he's more good. likely to get... He's going to E-Speed instead. Um, I'm gonna protect uh, Tusk, expecting the E speed. Yeah, he's definitely gonna. No, that's a good predict. That that's the best play on his end. Uh, no, the best play on his end at this point is to um, what's it called? Uh, to... to Terra Blast into the Fluttermane. Well, that'd be knowing you. Yeah, so he didn't go for it. Yeah, he didn't go for the E speed there. Uh... But he didn't go for protect himself either. No, but it's one of those things where it doesn't matter because now his um his uh what's it called tusk is locked into headlong rush. Yep. Okay, he should if he should have headlong rushed the Fluttermane there, but it doesn't matter either which way. Um, it all came down to the fact that I protected there. Damn. Damn. So yeah, if it, <laughs> yeah, if he um. If he's gone for the, if he's taken out the flutter main, ultimately his win con was he needed to, um, he needed to get in a position where uh, Dragonite could deal with everything, mm. and he nearly had that. Um, but he forced me to make some like uncomfortable switches with like the task and everything. Um, but it came down to the fact that with Sun Up Proto Speed, I outsped everything. Um, so it was kind of like his own son came to bite him in the ass there. Because <laughs> uh, if he didn't have the son, didn't give me the proto speed buff. Um, what's it called? A tusk would have outsped. Tusk could have okoed the um, Flutterman, and I would have had no way to answer Dragonite in the end without speed control. Interesting. Ultimately, if I if I got that one turn where I went for the expanding force, if I'd gone for the trick room. It would have been a much easier end game for me because I would have had speed control over those last few turns. Uh, but because I didn't, it made it a lot more difficult to maneuver around. Hmm. Damn. <clears throat> e freak. No, that, that, that was a good match. Like you nearly had me there. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, it was a. Little, it was a little better. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Good game. I. Uh... <sighs> it is. Oh no! Yeah, it's just I feel like it's so it's so hard to play around with, um, especially I, especially because the psychic surge in the trick room messes me up because it's like now I can't use priority and but also that's the, thing, but the big thing with that is playing to your outs and the fact that you've got that's why King Gambit is so crucial uh, because King Gambit is slower than like every trick room one except for I think. The only slower ones that really uh, show up are Pattering and Torkoal. Um, uh huh. Hmm. So it becomes one of those things where Hatterene can't really do anything to King Gambit. Um, 
like the most it can do is like terrify or ter- uh, like mystical fire but then you yeah. just get the defiant buff um, and it doesn't even like come close to killing and you just poke it in return yeah uh, and the torkoal it's just one of those things you just terrify and play around the uh, torkoal in a sense but most of the ones at torkoal they require to be switched into torkoal like when it comes to just DD armor itself, King Gambit is slower than both of them, so you they don't want to set up Trick Room, and if they do set up Trick Room, they're dumb as fuck. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah, King Gambit is yeah slower than both, so you don't need to use Sucker Punch or anything. Kowtow Cleave just chunks everything, um, and even with Terra Grass, I don't think uh, Armor Rouge takes like two Kowtow Cleaves. Yeah, yeah. So okay. between yeah, getting your sleep powders off as well is like pretty crucial. Like you want that Indeedy asleep because the Indeedy will be a nuisance and just like disrupt the team massively. Um, yeah. As you saw, once once DD went to sleep, it was a non-issue, and I had to maneuver around the fact I can't redirect. Yeah. Yeah. Like you assess that threat <laughs> like real quick, or once you did, he had nothing yeah. else to do. With that indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I also I I completely with you tearing on that first turn, I was like, damn. Yeah, um, that's something you've got to respect. If you see the terra grass, you need to respect that they can go terra grass at any time to stop my sleep powder. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, that's nasty. That and, and that's the, the main fire purpose. too. That's Jesus. Yeah. Ninety percent ninety percent of armor roof will be terra grass for that reason. That's what the yeah. only way, the only reliable way to deal with it is what's it called? Um, Terra Flying uh, Dragonite. So maybe, because maybe, of... yeah. So maybe, maybe lead like Lilligant, Lilligant Dragonite or something like that. Uh, you could do that. Yeah, Lilligant Dragonite's pretty solidly because uh, with DD armor specifically, like Lilligant outspeeds both naturally and doesn't need some speed boost. So yeah. you go, yeah, Dragonite. That way it put, applies the pressure because they're forced to then follow me trip group in that scenario. You put the, you then, yeah, put the, what's it called, to sleep, the, um, indeed it's sleep, and just terrify and terror blast. Uh, yeah. Even if they read it, like, it's one of those things where um, you're still chunking indeed for half its health. It's then asleep, and even if, yeah, trick room goes up, you've got multi scale still, so you take an expanding force really well. Yeah, um, yeah. They like they can't terra flying, uh, that terra grass really. Um, so at that point, you then just uh, what's it called? You got sash on Lilligan. You can pincer them in that like similar to how I was saying I was pincering Brian in the matches, where it forces them to either terra or not terra, and either way it's going to be bad for them. In that situation, if they terra grass, uh, they're going to die to uh, what's it called the. Um, Terra Blast. The, uh, terra Blast. And if they don't Terra Grass, then they're going to get put to sleep by Lilligan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so then would that, so, is it smart Is it smart to then, like, do both? Or is just the or is just like the possibility yeah. that it could be no, both enough? You, you always do both, because it's one of those things where if you don't do both, and then they, you end up, they end up doing the one that is, like, works out well for them, it's going to put you further behind, and that, like, your pressure has just gone out the window. So say, for example, in that situation, you decide to go for the Terra Blast and, like, switch Lilligan into, uh, what's, let's say you switch Lilligan into uh, Fluttermane or something. Mm-hmm. Um, or Torkoal in this instance, because Trick Room is up. Like, say you switch into Torkoal, and he doesn't Terra, he lives the Terra Blast, hits Expanding Force, it knocks out your multi-scale and Oko's the Torkoal. Bob, I'm actually trying to take some mental notes of like, okay, what do I do with my team if I see that Armor Rouge and if it gets put into a situation where it could tear grass or not? And like, I'm really, really thinking about it. Like with my team, Dragonite's my check for that. Also, Casey. Yeah, Alaska, I got you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Matt, I have a question. Yep. Why does Iron Hands have Citrus Berry instead of Leftovers? So the citrus berry is good for specific calcs. Um, citrus berry makes it so that uh, with I believe without screen, uh, so I think it's yeah without screens, 
you take two moon blasts from Fluttermain. Cool. Oh, so it does nice. It does it it works out it does like, you know, fifty five to like sixty ish percent. But then Citrus gives you that instant healing back up yeah. so that that way you get that extra bit of health needed to live two hits. Nice. Nice. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then on top <clears throat> like there's a lot of like thought that goes into a lot of the calps and stuff like that on most higher level teams. Mm. So but do you think like throughout the week, should I play on showdown or should I play on like ranked battle ladder? I don't know if that's like a random question. Um, it's it's a tough one really because ranked battles will get you more used to like the endurance of like how long games last in game. Yeah, oh yeah, we have um, a timer too. Yeah. Uh, whereas showdown, you're more likely to see um, you get through matches faster, so you can get more experience in different matchups. Um, but it doesn't really help for like the endurance factor because you got to remember nine rounds on day one is a long time. Oh yeah. Like in nine rounds of best of three, you're going to be there for a good like, like, yeah, uh, ten to twelve out, ten to twelve hours. Like that's going to feel so much more sluggish than showdown. I mean, think about it from yeah. like team building perspective. Like, am I going to run into more bullshit ladder jank on showdown or on Scarlet Violet? Um, like, like, how do I recreate so a tournament matchup so the best that I can? So it's a tough one because in game, you're going to find overall is more consistent ladder jank. Mm. Um, but whereas showdown you'll find less, but it's more concentrated at the lower ranks. So what, like, on Showdown, if you can climb out of the lower ranks into like 1500 plus, you'll then face like legitimate players with like legitimate teams. Hmm. Um, as opposed to if you like, whereas low ladder, you're gonna just face jank that people are just throwing at the wall on Showdown. Gotcha. Um, Whereas in game, you've got like a 50 50 mix of like people using their fun gimmicky teams that they want to try and people trying out like rental teams from existing players and stuff like that. Mm. So it really comes down to personal preference. I think the big thing for in game is you want to get to Master Ball tier first. Like once you're at Master Ball tier, that's, make, that's where you're going to have a lot more reliable, like it's reliably more often to have legitimate teams than Jack. And also, like, I think, like, playing for the actual game endurance is definitely the best play, too. Yeah, exactly. Because it said, yeah, you got nine rounds, best of threes. Uh, and ev the way Swiss works, every round you're going to be facing off against someone who's on the same win loss record as you as well. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Yeah, okay. so the way Swiss works, yeah, you only ever face someone who's on the same win loss ratio unless there's, like, an odd number of people, in which case they might have like one win or one loss more than you. Hmm. But you will never like if you say you're at like zero and three, you will not face someone who's three and zero. Interesting. Okay, 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 okay. Damn. Okay, for oh, excited. God. <laughs> yeah, it'll be it'll be fun. As it'll I said, the the biggest like I reckon the big goal for you guys go in. Um, if you guys can get three wins, that should, like, aim for three wins on the day out of the nine rounds. That sounds very doable, honestly. Yeah. Wow, so, wait, so nine, so nine rounds you do... Or no, nine no, rounds sorry. best of... Sorry? Best of three. Yeah, that, nine best of three sets. Oh, so it's actually... Up, math. Yeah. Uh, up to so it works out. You're, you're going to be playing it. You're going to play a minimum of eighteen games with a maximum of twenty-seven. Twenty. Okay, yeah, that's not Damn. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't realize. I didn't realize it was that much. That's crazy. Um, I mean, it's one of those things where, granted, it, when it gets later on, if you're not feeling up to playing, like, still, you can drop out from the event if you want. Um, but it's one of those things where it's like if you get the full experience of the nine rounds, it's good fun. Yeah, yeah. And that's sweet. Like, yeah. When it, when it, when it, the table and go undefeated. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds like a plan, Bob. <laughs> yeah, no, no. The big, the big plan is just you guys are gonna go seven and two. You're gonna make day two. Let's get it. Yeah. 
Yeah, so as long so you're saying if we win three games, we go to day two. No. no seven oh. games and we'll win day two. Yeah. Oh, no. seven. I, I'm, seven. Saying, I'm saying like just as a personal <laughs> goal, like set it so that you try and aim for three wins. Yeah. If you want to make day two, you need to finish seven and two or higher. And then basically day two, it's another five rounds of uh, Swiss, which is just the best of three sets. Um, and from after the five rounds on day two, the top eight, they go to a single elimination bracket where it's basically they play a best of three set and knock each other out until they get to the finals. Damn. So, that, so then that, that'll be like, so like end of Sunday, like everything's yeah. done. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. yeah, Saturday is when the like everyone comes in and plays. Sunday is when the people who did really well come back to play for to see who fit, like wins overall. That's you, Frank. <laughs> Bro, if I make it, to, could you imagine I make it to day two? What are you? Wait, put a percentage on it. What are the odds I make it to day two? I mean, there's a chance. Um, how many people are there? Uh, I don't. I don't know. Uh, if you've got RK9 up, you should be able to see how many people are signed up. Really? Wait, wait, really? Wait, hold up, RK... Yep. What, what's Snoop? So, yeah, if you go to RK9 Labs, like, once you're logged in on your account... Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, so, so yeah, Charlotte... Need... Wait. Registration is open... Yeah, so you guys have already registered, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so go to your homepage. Like your player dashboard where it says at the top. Yeah. Oh my god. And so you can see the <laughs> under there how many registered how many registered players are there? Eight hundred and twenty six. Okay, eight hundred and twenty six is across all age divisions. Okay, so do we like split oh, okay. into thirds? Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, no, you don't split into threes because there's always much more masters than there are juniors and seniors. Uh, but you're probably looking you're probably looking and when you include like people who no show the event as well, um, you're probably going to be looking at around 650, 700 masters in total playing. The competition. And for reference, <laughs> masters, masters the age division. That's yeah, masters age division is everyone who is 16 or older. Gotcha. Okay. Oh God, Frank. <laughs> so, so okay, so we have to. We just have to be. Right. 600 six uh, I'll work out top cut calculator. So let's see. If we I work out nine. if we say Wait, that we... there's say that there's seven hundred and twenty five masters, there'll be nine rounds and um be probably about like pre top sixty four here, let's see. Just for example. Um Okay, so you need to effectively be in the um, in the top like 64, 65 players overall. To make so it, it works out that yeah, yeah. So out of like seven hundred and something people, roughly like the top sixty to sixty five people will make it to day two. Mm. Yeah, Frank, that's you. That's you. <laughs> and say so you, uh, you just gotta go. You just gotta get finished with seven wins and two losses, and you make it to day two. When you think about it that way, that actually sounds so much more doable than become the top sixty-five. <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, God, I, I would have to be playing out of my mind. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can always get good matchups as well. Exactly. Like I feel like, especially early yeah. game, it's gonna be so inevitable. Of like, I can either go against someone and dumpster them, or I could get dumpstered. <laughs> Yeah. Is dumpster or be dumpster? It is. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I mean, I, obviously there's gonna be. What if I round one? Like, one of... like literally, the odds are. There is a. There is a chance. Exactly. Like, yeah. Exactly. Like to put it in perspective, yeah. for, for me, for me at OCIC, round one, I got matched up against Calvin Foster, who was top eight at Worlds last year. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. I got. I got dumpstered that game. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. But, but then so it, it is it is kind of just luck depending on who you get matched up. Well, I mean it, it's not really luck, but it, it yeah. is kind of, like at least your initial start is like yeah. Yeah. But then you, after you that, the ne- the next round I got matched up against a um what's it called? An American guy who had the most ladder jank team inevitable like you can imagine. 
at the yeah. like, of all places too. <laughs> yeah, like he, he flew over from America to use Frostmoth Revver Vroom and like <laughs> Scott, like No no he was kicking into the bank. I kinda respect. I kinda respect. <laughs> <laughs> He flew over to use the rubber room. That's crazy. Yeah, like yeah, uh, that's commitment. <laughs> oh, yeah. So that's um, funny. Yeah, we we have to put more work in this, Frank. This week, huh? I'm literally. I mean, I I'm like actually. I'm like built. I'm trying to finish building my team. Like building the team tomorrow. Yeah. And then yeah. Thir Thursday. Or wait, what day is it? Uh, it's I think it's uh, Tuesday night for you guys. Yeah. Yeah, so you need to have your team uh, in-game ready to submit your team list. Um, I'd say have it done before Friday night. Okay. Yeah. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking, like, finish the team, building the team tomorrow, and then just Thursday, we'll, I'll just be battling all day, yeah. and then Friday yeah. we leave. Are we leaving Friday yeah. morning? Yeah, I was thinking we leave okay. early. Okay, okay. Because, like, if you, um... Wait, that gives us literally Matt, cause like the... Wednesday and Thursday, and then we're out. Oh, geez. No, liter <laughs> literally. Oh. Um, Matt, there's, like, so... Fri Friday, I think I, I saw they, like, they have it open. I mean, the tournament doesn't start, till Saturday, doesn't start till Saturday, but there's, like... You can, like, go and, like, walk around, I guess. Yeah, I think they probably do, like, a check-in thing on Friday. Um, with the bigger events, they usually do like check-ins on the Friday so that you can get like your, um, uh, like you get like a lanyard or something so that you can just go straight to the event and be ready to go. Yeah. Um, cause that was what we had at OCIC was, um, we rocked up on the Friday, got given our like competitor lanyard. Then on the Saturday we were able to just walk straight in cause like, and then everyone who had a lanyard just went straight in sort of thing. Okay. 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 Sweet. Whereas, like, with Perth Regionals, because it was a smaller event, there was, like, a big queue lineup, and everyone had to get their names crossed off a list before they went in, sort of thing. Mm. Gotcha. Are either of you making a video on this? Uh, <clears throat> Frank is definitely working on one. Honestly, I'm just going to wing it the weekend. Like, we might do a mobile stream <laughs> or some shit. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm, co I'm cooking some. We'll see. I'm helping him cook. I'm in the asteroid pit crew for this one, guys. <clears throat> <laughs> the bit of the crew of goes. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is um. It's also, any, anyone who's going to regionals this weekend, be sure to go up to them and say hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say hi. Please. I uh. Yeah. Just go say hi and remind fr remind Frank that you know flash fire is a thing. Don't click fire moves into it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> remind me. Just don't you... get freeze dried, and we'll probably be pretty good. I feel like. Remind, yeah. remind Frank never terror the Arcanine unless you see it, King Gambit. <laughs> Literally, just yeah, just walk up to us, give us like a fun tidbit about what we're gonna go up against, and then <laughs> it'll be great. Yeah. Literally, make the mistake anyways. <laughs> and then yeah, then and then just laugh really hard when we throw. <laughs> no, we're not That's gonna so throw. Funny. We have confidence, Frank. You're, you won you know, hundred Pokemon battles in one stream. All right, no one can just do that. <laughs> 90% of those were thrown. <laughs> <laughs> but 10% weren't. <laughs> you're right, exactly. you're right. And that 10% is all that matters. Yeah, you're the top exactly. 10%. That's what this means, huh? It's okay. Because that 10% that of matches, that's what, 10 matches there? That's just 10 matches tomorrow. You only got to do nine. There we go. Yeah, there I just go. I just got to... I've, I've, I've decided after, after hearing all these details, I've decided to set a new goal. Yep. I just want to make it to day two. So you gotta get seven and two. Do it. I'm I'm here to support. God, I, I could. It... We could do that. We yeah. got it. Yeah. What if you just go get seven schmucks? We're good. We got this. <laughs> just, <laughs> you got... What are the odds just, of that, just, Matt? Just curious. Just, <laughs> just, just, just think. Seven and two. You can afford to lose like twenty percent of your matches, <laughs> and you'll still true. be fine. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Are we getting raided? Yo. Barb, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, welcome, raiders. <sighs> there it is, the barbarian raid. Yes. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? We're actually wrapping up in a few minutes here, but but I appreciate it <laughs> a ton. <laughs> How was your stream? How are thank you doing, Barb? <laughs> the raid of barbarians. No, the, this is actually this is aggressive. There she is. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> there it is. You guys are freaking powerful. Metroid. Wait. Oh, is it the new one that 
or that was re-released, Metroid Prime, I think. Oh shit, this is so sick. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> you know, if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Ryan, and I do a lot of Pokemon content from streams to videos and, and all kinds of things in between. Uh, right now, I'm in a call with uh, my friend Frank and Matt, and we are learning about competitive Pokemon because me and Frank entered a tournament that we're going to be traveling and competing in this weekend. Is it going to be fun? Maybe. <laughs> it's going to be good. It's going to be good. <laughs> I, I said it'll be the, it'll the, be good it'll be good yeah yeah the tournament experience is just it's a the atmosphere is just really great it's a ton of fun yeah yeah <laughs> oh, yeah man. no I'm definitely I'm definitely excited for that it's gonna be yeah oh for sure it's uh yeah it'll be it'll be really fun but yeah yeah no I, I and then yeah like... if you if... <laughs> no, I was gonna say and then if you guys are staying for like the whole weekend there as well. Like, even if you don't make it to day two, you can still go down to the event venue and watch day two as well, anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, they should like, have... more like a convention yeah. than anything else, really. Yeah. And they'll have, like, a... Because uh, they'll have, like, the spectator area. They'll have, like, a stream set up with the, like, top table match that's going on where you can, like, sit down and watch the match going on. Nice. That's sick, so, yeah. Dude, I'm so excited. <laughs> so, you could, yeah. It, it's always a ton of fun going to the events. Hell yeah. Be up farm. I, I I hate to like end this stream shortly after your raid and everything, but you really didn't come in like as we were wrapping up though. But yeah, no, thank you, thank you. I appreciate the raid a ton. <laughs> oh man, and, yeah, like we're still time. gonna be doing yeah. streams of Scarlet Violet throughout the week. I guess tomorrow and Thursday <laughs> to keep prepping. Yeah. For <laughs> I keep talking like there's more days in the week before this event, but like we really only have two and a half days right now to prep. <laughs> yeah, that's not really left much time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I, and I literally don't have a team, <laughs> so <laughs> I got I got half a Torkoal, baby. Let's go. <laughs> half a Torkoal, baby. Oh, God. What were I we said, like, why did we end this? I right? said, <laughs> uh, let's take a look. Like, if tomorrow morning, if you guys are busy, hit me up. I'll help get the teams in game. I'll trade all of the mons over to you, Ryan. And then for Frank, we'll get you sorted with the team ready to go. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate. It. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to like. Um, I'm gonna try to do most of it myself. But I mean, if there's I something tell, that I, I can just... tell you right now, you're not gonna have enough time to get all the terror shards and stuff in time. Or at, really? at the very least, I, no. I also feel like actually doing battles is a better use of your time than. Yeah, you want to be getting practice with the team rather than spending all the time building it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's okay I'll, because uh... I can just jump in Discord. I can just like showcase like stream you know getting all of the stuff ready so you still got the footage of the training montage yeah yeah <laughs> yeah i'll, I'll definitely <laughs> he knows yeah, yeah. We, gotta, we, gotta, we gotta think of the content yeah for the people always gotta think about the content <laughs> uh yeah i'll definitely i'll definitely i'll definitely let you know hell yeah, but, yeah. Uh, here i'm gonna definitely discord and I'll, i'm gonna wrap up stream here yeah, okay. take it easy, easy enough all right, boys, <laughs> we're going to call it there because we're literally almost at the five hour mark. The stream has been going on forever. Uh, we'll be streaming again tomorrow and Thursday. So that's three streams this week. Nice little comeback week leading up to the event. Appreciate everybody who super chatted, who membered and donated and all the support in between and the raid and everything. It's crazy. <laughs> Y'all are great. It was a great stream back as well. We're going to keep this momentum going throughout the week and try to win a tournament this weekend. I think that we can do it. Only five hours. That was rookie numbers. Yeah, Bob. Honestly, we, we we gotta we gotta step up our game here. <laughs> we honestly just came back and just boom, sleep block, huh? <laughs> but anyways, though, uh, thank you for everything, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow with some more Wi-Fi battles, and then Thursday more Wi-Fi battles, <laughs> and then after that we'll actually play a new game on the stream too. So, uh, yeah, there's more things to update on with the channel and the content, but we'll go over that in the future stream when I'm not in a call with people and stuff. But, uh, yeah, appreciate you guys a ton. And thank you, everybody, who hung out the whole time because I know it was long. And, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll just keep trying our best again tomorrow, huh? <laughs> Love y'all a ton. See you guys again tomorrow. And peace, peace.